Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. Chapter, 55. When everyone returned to Dolua continent, they passed on all the heaven-covering methods. Those present almost represented the forces of the entire continent, except for the soul masters on the sea. After this time, no one would dare to stop the spread of the heaven-covering system, and no one dared to stop Bibi Dong. Then Shu Chen looked around and found the Silver Dragon King sleeping in the Star Do Great Forest. The Silver Dragon King was one split from the Dragon God of Dolua Continent, and the other was the Golden Dragon King, who is still alive. And the Silver Dragon King Gu Yuna is sleeping in the Star Do Great Forest, which even the Sky Blue Bull Python may not know. The Silver Dragon King was split from the Dragon God who provoked the Dragon God War in the God Realm hundreds of thousands of years ago. He was hunted down in the God Realm and sneaked into the turbulence of time and space to come to Dolua Continent, where he concentrated on retreat and healed his hidden injuries. The current Silver Dragon King is still in a dormant state, but was directly caught by Shurchen. Looking at the confused Silver Dragon King, Shurchen smiled. Little guy, I want you to temporarily protect Bibi Dong for a while. Don't worry, I won't let you work in vain. Who are you? When did a strong man like you appear in the God Realm? The Silver Dragon King himself was once split from the Dragon God, and the Dragon God is known as the strongest god. You can imagine how powerful the Silver Dragon King is. Even though the Silver Dragon King's old injuries have not healed, it is not something that ordinary gods can control at will. Shurchen didn't waste time talking to her, and directly transmitted the previous memories to her mind, then looked at her and smiled, can we have a good chat now? You say, I will definitely agree to the adult's orders. The Silver Dragon King could feel that the memory just now was not false, and the power of the five great gods could not be false. But what about the person in front of him? He actually killed the Shura King casually, which made her have to be timid. The Silver Dragon King was split from the Dragon God anyway. With her and Dolua Continent, basically no one could touch Bibi Dong, unless those gods came down, but they didn't dare to make trouble. You don't need to make a big sacrifice, you just need to protect Bibi Dong for a thousand years. As he said that, Shi Chen casually took out a drop of dragon blood from his body. This is the blood of the dragon clan at the level of the golden immortal of the great desolation. Although it has been diluted countless times by him, it is not comparable to the blood of the dragon god in this world. It's not that Shi Chen is reluctant to give up a drop of the golden immortal's blood. The main reason is that the Silver Dragon King can't bear such a powerful blood and will explode and die directly. Not only that, if a drop of the Golden Immortal's blood really drips into the Dolua continent, I'm afraid this world will be destroyed in an instant. This is a force from a high dimension, which is not something they can bear. What kind of blood is this? I clearly feel that it seems to be of the same origin as me, but it is countless times stronger than my own blood. As soon as this drop of dragon blood appeared, it directly attracted the attention of the Silver Dragon King, making her want to get it immediately. But after looking at Shi Chen, she didn't dare to act rashly, so she had to suppress her restless heart. This is a drop of dragon blood that I diluted countless times. You should be able to absorb it. Shi Chen flicked his finger, and the drop of dragon blood entered the body of the Silver Dragon King. With the help of Shi Chen, she absorbed it instantly. What a powerful blood! Not only have all my injuries recovered, but my strength has also improved. I feel that I can hopefully reach the level of the Dragon God. After absorbing it, the Silver Dragon King felt the surging power in her body, which made her excited. The original Dragon God was divided into two, turning into the Golden Dragon King and the Silver Dragon King. The Golden Dragon King inherited the most important bloodline and powerful body of the Dragon God while the Silver Dragon King inherited the elemental control ability of the Dragon God. The Dragon Clan belongs to soul beasts. For them, the most powerful abilities are bloodline and body, so the Silver Dragon King is not as good as the Golden Dragon King. Now with the blessing of this drop of dragon blood, she directly completed the powerful bloodline and body, making her more powerful than the original Dragon God bloodline. Thank you for your reward. I will definitely protect Miss Bibi Dong. 
the Silver Dragon King looked at Bibi Dong beside him and said respectfully to Shi Chen. Okay, I will help you change the Dolua system in your body to the heaven covering method, so that you can transform into a human form at any time. Shi Chen said, and directly changed the system of the Silver Dragon King, allowing her to practice the heaven covering method effortlessly. I will be called Gu Yuna in the future. Thank you for transforming for me. The Silver Dragon King, no, it was Gu Yuna who looked at Shi Chen and bowed respectfully to Shi Chen. You go and get familiar with it. I still have things to do. Shi Chen waved his hand and asked the other party to go and play with Bibi Dong. Boss, you said you could let me have a good fight, but in the end there was no chance. I only threw one punch and it was fine. At this time, Saitama came over and complained to Shi Chen. It's okay. When you break through to the sixth level, you can go and play with Hades. At that time, you just don't get beaten to death by the other party. Shi Chen smiled and said when he saw this. Well, I'll go back and practice hard. Saitama's eyes lit up when he heard this, and he quickly returned to his own world. Group leader, I'm also going to go back. The insights from this battle, plus my previous accumulation, are enough for me to break through the fourth level. Ban also came over and said to Shirchen. Shirchen nodded, and then Ban also teleported back to his own world. Looking at the Shingdo Great Forest, which was now deserted, Shirchen also walked out of the forest and came to the Wuhuan Hall. Xian Daolu saw Shirchen appear, and hurried to Shirchen and said respectfully, Sir, why are you here? Looking at the uneasy Qian Daolu, Shi Chen thought about it and decided to untie the knot in his heart. Then a memory was transmitted to Qian Daoliu's mind, which was the original fate of Bibi Dong. Now you know why Bibi Dong wanted to kill Qian Xuanji, right? I am not a person who cannot distinguish right from wrong, so I will let you untie this knot. Shi Chen waited for Qian Daolu to digest this memory before speaking. Alas, I was unwise. Thank you for clearing up my doubts. After a long time, Qian Daolu sighed and said slowly that he finally untied this knot. There was no way to not untie it. After all, the other party was stronger than him, and he could not resist. He could only let go of his hatred, and it was his son who was wrong first. Qian Daolu had to say that he not only valued promises, but also had a strong overall view. He would worry more about this when it came to strengthening the Wuhuan Hall. I'll give you a suggestion. Let the Wuhuan Hall be renamed the Zhetian Hall, Bibi Dong be the Pope, and you will still be the original great worshipper. In the future, the Zhetian Hall will unify the Dolua continent, and you will have a share of the credit. Shi Chen looked at Qian Daolu and made his decision. This. I agree. Qian Daolu hesitated for a moment, but still nodded in agreement. After all, if he didn't agree, the Wuhuan Hall would soon be replaced. Instead of doing so, it would be better to go with the flow and change the name to the Zhaitian Hall. After all, it's better to lean on a big tree to enjoy the shade. In this way, it's easy. As he said, Shuqin directly set up a Zhaitian Tower in the Wuhuan Hall, no, it should be the Zhaitian Hall. The Zhaitian Tower has seven floors. Anyone can enter the first floor and comprehend the skills and combat skills. What can be obtained depends on talent and luck. The second to seventh floors correspond to the six stages of the Wheel Sea Realm, the Dao Palace Realm, the Four Extremes, the Dragon, the Half-Step Great Power, and the Great Power. Everyone who reaches the corresponding realm can enter the tower. Everyone can enter the tower once a month. After success, the time will be recorded. The top 100 with the shortest time can enter the ranking list to motivate people who want to be famous. There is endless space in the Zhaitian Tower. Everyone who enters will not meet others. They will only conduct their own towers, and the test for each entry is different. After success, you will get various sky covering skills, combat skills, precious medicines, weapons, etc. Although Shi Chen is not good at the law of space, it is still very simple for him to use it. These things were made by Shi Chen casually, of course, they were made by the clones, and the original body could not make these. After all, any garbage of the original body is a supreme treasure here, and this world cannot bear it. Feeling that he had done it almost, 
he told Bibi Dong about what happened here and asked her to come here later. Chapter, 56 After all the preparations were completed, Shi Chen took back the spiritual clone. Everyone in the group had nothing to do and simply returned to the main body. Ancient times, Ping Lai Island, in the Vientian Palace. Shi Chen withdrew from the cultivation state, received the information brought by the spiritual clone, and then walked out of the hall. At this time, several Yuanhui had passed in the ancient land, and the three clans of Dragon, Phoenix, and Qilin had completed the final battle under Luo Hu's secret instigation. Living in the midst of a calamity, and the hatred between the three tribes becoming more and more profound, this battle was unavoidable. In the end, the three tribes all withdrew from the stage of the wild land. The Dragon Clan retreated to the Four Seas and suppressed the eyes of the world forever the Fong Clan retreated to the immortal volcanoes in the south and suppressed the volcanoes on the ancient land and the Chilin Clan suffered the most heavy casualties. So they swore an oath to the way of heaven. Chilin first transformed into Chilin Cliff. From then on, Chilin lived in seclusion on Chilin Cliff and turned into an auspicious beast in the wild land. It is said that when Chilin appears, there must be auspiciousness. After this battle, the three tribes withdrew from the stage of history one after another, and Rahu in the west also started trouble. Luo who wanted to refine the grievances and murderous intentions of the entire three clans and achieve enlightenment, but was finally stopped by Hong Jun and the ancestors of Qin Kuan, Yin Yang, and five elements. The five of them were all transformed by the chaos demon god in the chaos era, but they were not as good as Shi Chen, or even inferior to the ancestor Yang Mei who escaped from chaos. Several of them lost the chaos demon god's body and had to be reincarnated in the prehistoric world. Luo who set up the immortal killing sword formation near Lingshan Mountain in the west, and then Hong Jun and four others entered the formation, but Luo who eventually killed three of them, leaving only Hong Jun alone. Seeing that Hong Jun was about to fail and be killed, at the critical moment, three Taoists jumped out of his body. They were the three corpses created by his method of killing three corpses to prove Taoism. The three corpses cooperated with Hong Jun to destroy Luo Hu's immortal killing sword formation. However, after killing Luo Hu, they did not expect that the other party had already set up a large formation. Which instantly detonated the earth's veins in the entire west, and from then on laid the foundation for the two holy places in the west. Seed I, Luo Hu, swear to the heavens here that I am the ancestor of demons, and I am willing to transform into a demon. Monks in the ancient world will surely have inner demons if they break through in the future. From then on, the demons will rise and disappear, the demons will disappear, and the demons will never be extinguished. Rumble As demon ancestor Rahu made the oath, heaven felt that this move would be conducive to the perfection of the ancient world, and then the merits of heaven were sent down and integrated into the demon thoughts of the demon ancestors' incarnation. Hong Jun looked at the destroyed western land with a gloomy expression. He did not expect that demon ancestor Luahu would be so terrifying, and he had destroyed every spiritual vein in the entire western land. Because Luohu died, this powerful karma was directly transferred to Hong Jun, which made his face extremely gloomy. After briefly sorting out the spiritual veins of the west, Hong Jun flew all the way back to Yujing Mountain in Kunlun. This is his dojo, and he is ready to prove his Taoism here. Shortly after the battle between Hong Jun and Luahu, on the Lingshan Mountain in the west, a Bodhi tree of enlightenment took the lead in taking shape and was named Taoist Jiayin. After that, another seven treasures tree appeared and was named Xuanti Taoist. These two people took form and became known as brothers. They were the later two saints of the west. Then the two of them refined their respective bodies, turned them into their own innate spiritual treasures, and came out of the mountain together. Looking at the nearly destroyed western land, the two felt that the burden on their shoulders became heavier and heavier, and then walked towards the east. From then on, there were two more shameless monks in the ancient land. Because the two of them were bent on repairing the spiritual veins of the western land, they wanted to take the treasure into their own hands when they saw it, so they came up with the sentence, fellow Taoist, this thing is destined for me. Therefore, all monks in the east are despised. But the two of them were quite helpless. In order to try their best to repair the spiritual veins of the west, they had no choice but to shamelessly fight for opportunities in the ancient land. 
In this way, tens of thousands of years passed on the ancient land. On this day, on the Yujing mountain in Kunlun, boundless purple energy came from the east, flowers fell from the sky, and golden lotuses surged from the ground. The endless pressure of the saint spread throughout the prehistoric world, making all the creatures in the prehistoric land unable to help but kneel down. This was a tribute to the saint. Awe is also the influence of saints. As the saying goes, if you don't become a saint, you will eventually become an ant. If you don't become a saint, you can only wait to die in front of the saint. Although Hongjuan's saint pressure is strong, it cannot affect the Penglai immortal island where Shichen is located. Feeling the pressure of the saint from Hongjun, Shichen also knew that the other party had finally become enlightened and would then preach in the 33 outer heavens. Sure enough, Hongjun spoke directly next, and his voice spread across the entire prehistoric land. I, Taoist Master Hongjun, have now attained the status of a saint. Three thousand years from now, I will preach in the Zixiao Palace of the 33 Outer Heavens. Anyone who is destined can come and listen to the sermon. As Hongjun's voice spread throughout the ancient land, all the powerful people heard it, and they couldn't help but rush towards the 33 Outer Heavens. You know, it is extremely difficult for even Daoyuo Jingxian to rush from the primitive world to the 33 Outer Heavens. In the end, all those who can successfully enter the Zixiao Palace to listen to the sermon are Daoyuo Jingxian. Without the help of a strong person, Taiyi Jingxian will eventually be lost in the endless wind of the 33 Outer Heavens. At this time in the ancient land, after the three tribes of dragon, phoenix and unicorn withdrew from the stage of history, countless innate saints were born, and almost all of them broke through to the realm of the Luo Jingxian. At this time, those who can prove the existence of Daoyuo are all lucky ones who are born with the destiny of heaven and earth. Being able to achieve Daoyuo is also destined. This is that birth determines everything. Just like the western Junti Yingyin, the Sanchin on the Kunlun Mountains, and the Emperor Jun Tai on the Sun Star. Qiyang, Baiyue, come with me to Zixiao Palace, so that you can listen to the Taoism of fellow Daoist Hongjun. Shichen walked out of Wanxiang Palace and called the two boys who were still practicing. Yes, Master. The two boys hurried to receive the order after hearing the summons. Qiyang and Baiyue have been practicing since the time of the Beast Calamity. Now they have experienced the Dragon and Phoenix Calamity, and waited for Hongjun to prove the Tao. The two have become quasi-saints. In the prehistoric land, except for Shichen and Hongjun, these two can be called the strongest. However, the two have never left Penglai Fairy Island, so they don't know how strong they are, and they have never fought with others. Shichen does not have Hongjun's method of beheading the three corpses to achieve Taoism, but he can deduce it, but he did not do so. He passed on another method of achieving Taoism to the two boys, which is to achieve Taoism through laws. There are three methods of achieving Taoism in the prehistoric world, namely, to prove Taoism with force, to prove Taoism by beheading the three corpses, and to prove Taoism by merit. Among them, the strongest way to prove the Tao is by force, followed by the way to prove the Tao by killing the three corpses, and the worst is the way to prove the Tao by merit. However, among these three ways to prove the Tao, except for proving the Tao by force, the other two are ways to achieve saints. The way to prove the Tao by force is the Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian. Although the realm is the same as that of the saint, it is not as good as the saint in the prehistoric world, but stronger than the saint in the chaos. The saint is the fruit position, the Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian is the realm, and the realm is not the fruit position. The reason why the saint is immortal is that his Tao fruit is deposited in the heavenly way. The heavenly way is immortal and the saint is immortal. Therefore, the saint can use the power of the heavenly way to bless when fighting in the prehistoric land. The law that Shichen passed to the two boys to prove the Tao is to choose a law power that suits them best, constantly comprehend and practice. And finally cultivate a certain law power to perfection, and then they can achieve the Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian. When the law is cultivated to the perfect state, it can break through to the Tao fruit, which is the Hunyuan Wuji Daoyuo Jingxian Tao fruit, which can also be called the Tao fruit of the law of the heavenly way. After the great perfection of the law, after going through endless tribulations, one can finally successfully break through to the great Tao and control a great Tao, just like the current time. Although this method seems simple, 
it is very difficult to break through the law. Without the existence of a treasure containing the power of the law that suits oneself, it is difficult to comprehend it at all. The two boys were able to become quasi-saints with the help of time. Time can intercept the appropriate laws from the long river of time for them to practice. Otherwise, using the method of beheading the three corpses, I am afraid that they can now reach the peak of quasi-saints. Chapter, 57 Shurchen led the two boys out of Penglai Island and headed directly to the thirty-three outer heavens. You should listen carefully this time and learn from each other. The other party's Taoism is also helpful to you. Although you don't practice this Taoism, there are always references. Along the way, Shurchen warned the two boys. We will. The two boys nodded in response. The two boys had never seen Shurchen cast a spell, nor did they know Shurchen's realm, so they didn't know how strong Shurchen was. However, this time Hongjuan's attainment of the sainthood made them guess that maybe the master had already reached the sainthood, otherwise it would be impossible for him to call the other party a fellow Taoist. Shurchen's speed was very fast, and he arrived outside the Zixiao Palace in almost a few years. In fact, with his speed, he could arrive at the Zixiao Palace in an instant, but he also intended to let the two boys see other great powers in the prehistoric world. Along the way, he also saw many people who came to the Zixiao Palace to listen to the Taoism, but most of them were Tai Jinxian, mixed with some Daoyuo Jinxian. Nowadays, the powerful people in the prehistoric world have already gained some reputation. Many of them travel together, and many of them do not interfere with each other, fearing that they will be attacked by others. After all, few people who can travel in the prehistoric world have no enemies. Going forward, Shurchen was the first to arrive outside the Zixiao Palace. He did not go to knock on the door, but waited for the other party to come to greet him. He left Penglai Island without deliberately hiding himself, and the Heavenly Tao had already discovered him. I am afraid that the Heavenly Tao did not expect his arrival, so he could only greet him with trepidation. Hong Jun has not merged with the Tao now, but he has already established contact with the Heavenly Tao. If the Heavenly Tao knows about it, he will naturally tell Hong Jun. As soon as Shurchen landed, the gate of the Zixiao Palace opened. The two boys, one boy and one girl, opened the door. They were the future Jade Emperor Haotian and Queen Mother Yao Qi. This Queen Mother is not the Queen Mother of the West. The Queen Mother of the West is a powerful person living in West Kunlun. In the future, she and the King of the East will be named the head of male and female immortals by Hong Jun. Behind Hao Tian and Yao Qi, it was the Taoist Hong Jun who went out to greet them in person. Dao Yu have come from afar, and you have made my Zixiao Palace glorious. Hong Jun looked at Shi Chen at the door, and there was a look of shock in the corner of his eyes. Although he didn't know the other party's current realm, it was definitely higher than his own, so he had to let him come out to greet him in person. Moreover, Tian Dao had given him information before, asking him to serve this great god well. Tian Dao could feel a kind of oppression from the superior. Tian Dao had only felt this kind of oppression in one place, that is, at the beginning of the creation of Hong Huang, when he was just born, when the great Dao came to congratulate him. Although Tian Dao was unconscious, he also knew how to seek benefits and avoid harm. He knew that this was a big boss that he couldn't afford to offend, so he could only let Hong Jun treat him well. Although Hong Jun was far behind Shi Chen, after all, they were once the same chaos demon god. They were of the same origin, so it was not too much to call him Dao Yu. Dao Yu is now proving the Dao again, so of course I have to come to congratulate him. Shi Chen smiled. Then, Shi Chen casually took out two innate treasures and gave them to Hao Tian and Yao Qi at the door. One magic weapon is called Pan Long Zhen Wu Seal, and the other is called Liang Yi Jin Ling Hairpin. These were made by Shi Chen himself when he had time. Now that he has achieved the Great Tao, he can return to the innate state long ago. As long as the materials are sufficient, he can make it at will. He used to travel through the chaos and got countless materials, so he didn't need this. Thinking of this, he suddenly remembered that his two boys still had no magic weapons. The two boys have been practicing by his side and have never gone out, so he forgot to give the two boys a few magic weapons for self-defense. He thought about giving the two boys a few magic weapons for self-defense after returning. 
These thoughts only lasted for a moment, and Shurchen finished thinking. At this time, Hao Tian and Yao Qi were shocked. They didn't expect that this big man who came from nowhere would give two innate treasures at once. Although they both had a few magic weapons given by Hong Jun, they had never seen an innate treasure. After all, they were only responsible for opening and closing the door, and they didn't need very good magic weapons for the time being. It was already a reward from the master's good mood to have a top-grade innate spiritual treasure. It doesn't matter. Since Dao Yu gave it to you, you should accept it. Seeing the two people wanting but not daring to take it, Hong Jun felt helpless and had to let them accept it. Then, Hong Jun welcomed Shi Chen into the Zixiao Palace. After entering the Zixiao Palace, Shi Chen looked at the six cushions at the top below, smiled and didn't say anything. Hong Jun was slightly embarrassed when he saw this. He couldn't hide these little thoughts of himself and Tian Dao from Shi Chen. Just when he wanted to explain to Shi Chen, the other party shook his head and didn't care about it. Instead, the two of them sat down slowly on top. Hong Jun had already prepared two cushions. After all, he couldn't let others come to the door and bring their own cushions. Dao Yu, it's been a long time. I don't know how many Yuan Hui we haven't seen each other. Hong Jun looked at Shi Chen and said, with a flash of reminiscence in his eyes. The two of them were once chaos demon gods, so they had naturally met each other, but Shi Chen was one of the strongest demon gods at that time, and he could only be ranked in the middle and the bottom, and they had only met a few times. He seemed to be fine now, and the chaos demon god's body was still there. Looking at himself, he had reincarnated into the prehistoric world and became the first earth cricket in the world. Now he has just achieved the Tao of Saint. Although he has the Jade Disk of Creation, which was once the treasure of Pangu's Tao, it is only a broken one. Compared with him, there is a world of difference. Yes, when Pangu Daoist failed to prove his Tao, we were also one of the few who survived. I didn't expect that Daoist would prove his Tao again now. Shi Chen looked at Hong Jun and smiled. This time, in addition to congratulating Daoist Daoist on his attainment of the Tao, I also want these two boys to come and see the world, and discuss Daoist Daoist with Daoist Daoist. Shi Chen spoke again. Good. Hong Jun flicked his whisk and said with a smile. Shurchen's realm must be higher than his own. This time, being able to discuss Tao with him will benefit him in every way. What can he refuse? Not only that, this will make him more clear about his future path, and he will be able to stabilize his current realm faster. After the two exchanged ideas, Shurchen took the lead in speaking, and the four boys behind him also stopped quietly and listened attentively. For a while, various strange phenomena appeared but they only stayed in Zixiao Palace and did not spread outside Zixiao Palace. The two had almost no concept of time when they preached, and soon Shi Chen preached for 1,500 years. After that, Hong Jun was unwilling to lag behind and also preached for 1,500 years. Thus, the 3,000 years have come. After Hong Jun preached, the two opened their eyes at the same time, knowing that some people had come outside. Now that Hong Jun did not open the door, no one dared to go and knock on the door, so they had to wait outside the door honestly. Dao Yu, some people have come now. When do you plan to let them in? Shi Chen looked at the scene outside Zixiao Palace and smiled at Hong Jun. It doesn't matter. Now there are still some people missing. Dao Yu, please sit here for a while. I will also go to prepare. Hong Jun replied to Shi Chen, and then ordered Hao Tian and Yao Qi to entertain him well, and he disappeared directly from the spot. Shi Chen didn't care about it, and drank tea quietly here. Speaking of which, Hong Jun has a lot of good things here. This Xientian Enlightenment tea tastes good, and it is a top-grade Xientian spiritual root. This tea is useless to me, but I just drink it for a taste, but the two boys drink it with relish. The third-rank official serving the Prime Minister and the boy under Shi Chen's tutelage can naturally also drink this Enlightenment tea, because they have a good master. Chapter, 58 Soon, Hong Jun's voice came, ordering the two Taoist children to go and open the door. Hao Tian, Yao Qi, go and open the door of Zixiao Palace. The two received the order and then slowly opened the door of Zixiao Palace. 
When the people outside the door saw the movement in Zixiao Palace, they hurriedly gathered at the door. As the door opened, the first to come in were the three pure ones, who were known as the authentic Pangu. When the three saw Shirchen sitting above, they were stunned at first, thinking that this was Hong Jun, and then bowed to Shirchen. Seeing the six cushions in the front, Tai Ching Laozi's heart moved slightly and sat directly in the first seat. Yuan Chen and Tong Tian saw their eldest brother like this, and they followed him and sat in the back. Following closely behind was a pair of brothers and sisters, who were Fushi and Yuwa. When the two saw that the three pure ones occupied three cushions, they felt that there must be a mystery in these seats. They also bowed to Shirchen, and Fushi quickly let his sister occupy a seat. There were still two seats left, and Kuenpeng flashed and sat directly on the fifth cushion. Kuenpeng was also a congenital saint in the prehistoric world, and was later the master of the demon clan. His speed was the first under the prehistoric saints, so he could get a seat. At this time, Hong Yun, a good man in the prehistoric world, appeared, and beside him was his friend Zen Yuanzi. Both of them were famous great powers in the prehistoric world. Hong Yun saw that there was still one last seat and didn't think too much, so he sat down directly. Although Zen Yuanzi had some guesses, he had to stay by his friend's side since his friend sat down. When everyone was seated, other great powers in the prehistoric world also came in. Seeing that there were only six cushions, but they had been occupied, they wanted to grab them, but thinking that this was Hongjuan's territory, they didn't dare to be presumptuous anymore. When everyone was almost there, they didn't expect that the person above didn't speak, and everyone had never seen Hong Jun, thinking that the only person who could sit here must be Hong Jun, so they didn't guess too much. Seeing some discussions below, Shi Chen smiled and said, Please be quiet, I am not Hong Jun Daoist, there are still people who have not come, please wait a moment. When everyone heard Shi Chen's voice, they were silent for a moment. No one thought that the person above was not Hong Jun Patriarch, but he could sit at the top, and he must be an existence comparable to Hong Jun. At this time, Hao Tian and Yao Qi looked at the time, and thought that they had to close the gate of Zixiao Palace, so they went to close the door. Please wait a moment, we brothers are late. At this time, a voice came from the chaos, and then two Taoists with ragged clothes appeared, they were Zhuanti and Jane from the west. Brother, it's a good thing that we caught up, otherwise we would have missed this great opportunity. Zhuanti looked at Jane, walked toward Zixiao Palace, and said to Jane. Yes, junior brother, it's a pity that my spiritual veins in the west are dilapidated, and it's also extremely far away from the Zixiao Palace. My two brothers and I hurried and hurried, and finally got here. Jia Yin responded, and a few tears squeezed out of the corners of his eyes. Everyone looked at the two people like this, and felt surprised and funny in their hearts. These two people are indeed from the resource-scarce West. They are so ragged to listen to the saints preaching. A group of great powers in the prehistoric world looked at the two people's clumsy performances, with a smile on their lips, and a little mockery. Senior brother, it's a pity that my West is dilapidated and the journey is long. It's okay to be the last one to come to the saint's temple, but there is not even a seat. How can we meet all the sentient beings in the West? Zhuandi saw the cushions where the six people sat, and naturally knew that there was a lot of mystery in it, and hurriedly cried to Jia Yin. As for Shirchen above, when Shirchen spoke before, they were at the door, and naturally heard it. They knew that this person was not Hong Jun, but he must be a great power who could sit on an equal footing with the saint. Jia Yin heard Zhuandi talking. The two had known each other for many years, so he naturally knew what his junior brother meant and immediately cooperated. Yes, junior brother, we are already so miserable in the West, but we don't even have a seat here. In the end, we still lost the face of the West. How can we face all the sentient beings in the West in the future? Let me die here. Jia Yin was even more exaggerated. Not only did he cry more, but he also pretended to die in the saint's dojo. Shi Chen looked at the two people who were performing poorly below. Instead of being angry, he admired them quite a lot. Zhuanti and Jia Yin were able to achieve the status of saints in the end. Although it was because Hong Jun owed the West the cause and effect, it was also inseparable from the efforts of the two. Daozu Hong Jun and Mozu Luoho fought a great battle. 
In the end, Luoho detonated the spiritual veins of the prehistoric West. Because Mozu died, this great cause and effect was transferred to Hongjun, so that he promised to give the West two saints as compensation. Otherwise, he would not push the two important saints to the West. If Xuanti and Jane didn't have the audacity to make a scene in Zixiao Palace, they would not have the chance to get the final sainthood. Heaven would only compensate them in other ways. No matter how big the compensation is, it is not as good as two sainthoods. At this time, all the great people in the prehistoric world looked at the poor performance of the two people, thinking that Daozu might kick them out in a while, and all looked at them with sarcasm. Dao Yu, how about I give this seat to one of you? At this time, a voice that everyone didn't expect came. They didn't expect that there would be a fool to give up his seat. Sanqing and Fuxi brothers and sisters also looked at Hong Yun in disbelief. They all knew this famous good man in the prehistoric world, but they didn't expect that he was not only good, but also stupid. Zhen Yuanzi was right beside Hong Yun, and it was too late to speak out to stop him. Hong Yun stood up as he spoke. Zhuanti and Jian saw this and immediately stopped crying. Lianin stopped hitting the pillar and thanked Hong Yun profusely, which made Hong Yun smile. After the two thanked him, another problem arose, that is, there was only one position, but they had two people. Thinking of this, Zhuanti looked down from top to bottom. In the front were the three pure ones. These three people were transformed from the Yuanshan of the great god Pangu. Since they were born, they have always regarded themselves as the authentic Pangu, and the three of them have always advanced and retreated together. If the two dared to grab the position of any of the three pure ones, they would definitely not end well today. Then he looked down again, that was Niwa's position. Niwa was a woman, and the two of them were already embarrassed enough. If they tried to grab Niwa's position again, they would not be able to survive in the prehistoric world in the future. Moreover, the other party was not alone, and his brother Fushi was guarding beside him. Thinking of this, only Kuenpeng was left. Then Zhuandi walked in front of Kuenpeng, looked at Kuenpeng and angrily said, The saint's dojo, you are a beast with hair and horns, you can sit here, hurry up and give your seat to my two brothers. Jian also came over and looked at Kuenpeng, and the pressure of the two of them pressed towards Kuenpeng. That's right, you people with hair and horns, what qualifications do you have to sit here with us? Yuanshu also spoke at this time. He has always disliked creatures like Kuenpeng, so he directly mocked. Tong Tian pulled his brother when he saw this, just asking him not to say too much, but he did not dissuade him. Kuenpeng's face was extremely gloomy, thinking that although he was the first creature in the North Sea, the huge North Sea did not even have a decent magic weapon, otherwise even if he had a fight with the two, he would not be so resigned. Without saying much, Kuenpeng glared at Hong Yun angrily. If the other party had not given up his seat first, he would not have been humiliated in public by them. In order to avoid embarrassment, Kuenpeng, who had a gloomy face, got down from his seat and found a place to sit cross-legged, but the cause and effect between him and Hong Yun was thus established. After everyone was seated, the farce ended. At this time, a figure appeared beside Shirchen, nodded to Shirchen first, and then spoke to everyone. From today on, I will preach three times, each time for three thousand years. From now on, when you come to Zixiao Palace again, you will keep your current seat. After saying that, he started preaching directly. This preaching was different from the previous discussion with Shirchen. Here, it talked about the realm before the Daoyuo Jinxian. Although almost everyone present was a Daoyuo Jinxian, listening to the preaching of the Taoist ancestor was also very helpful for their own cultivation. Chapter 59 Hongjun preached to comply with the way of heaven. This action improved the path of cultivation for the cultivators, so the way of heaven asked him to preach three times. Soon, three thousand years passed, and Hongjun stopped preaching. When everyone in Zixiao Palace heard the end of the preaching, they opened their eyes and looked at Hongjun above. The first preaching is over, and the second preaching will start ten thousand years later. In addition, since the war between the three tribes of Dragon, Phoenix, and Unicorn, the tribes have disappeared and no one is managing the prehistoric world. Having said this, Hong Jun looked at the people below who were a little eager to move. Everyone present, one by one, is someone who can give up everything for cultivation. 
However, Dijuan and Taiyi are different. Since they were born on the Sun Star, they have wanted to unify the prehistoric world, so now that Hong Jun said this, they almost want to recommend themselves directly. Dong Wanggong and Shi Wangmu, come forward and listen to the order. Hong Jun's calm voice came, which shocked everyone present. These two people were just a little transparent in the scene, and they didn't expect to be favored by the saint. Before the two of them could think about it, they came to Hong Jun to listen to his orders. Today, I confer titles on you too. Dong Wanggong is the leader of the male immortals in the world, and Shi Wangmu is the leader of the female immortals in the world. I will give you the best innate spiritual treasures, the dragon head cane and the plain cloud flag of the West. As he said that, two best innate spiritual treasures fell into the hands of the two. Thank you, Saint, for conferring titles and treasures. The two of them thanked Hong Jun together and then retreated. You all retreat, and I will give the second sermon after ten thousand years. After conferring titles on the two, Hong Jun began to drive people away. Everyone bowed to Hong Jun and then slowly left Zixiao Palace. Brother, what should we do now? Tai looked at Dijuan outside Zixiao Palace and said. He was very unwilling in his heart. No matter what, his brothers should be the best candidates to rule the prehistoric world, but Hong Jun actually conferred titles on Dong Wang Gong, whom he had never met. It's okay. We'll go back first. This is the sage's dojo. Don't talk too much. Di Jun shook his head at Tai Yi, and then pulled him to fly quickly towards the Sun Star. In Zixiao Palace, Shi Chen looked at Hong Jun and said, Dao Yu, I should go back too. This time, I and the two boys have benefited a lot from listening to you preaching. I won't bother you anymore. Dao Yu, please go. I'll forgive you for not seeing you off. Hong Jun nodded and said, and then ordered Hao Tian and Yao Qi to see Shi Chen off. Shi Chen walked out of Zixiao Palace without hesitation. The next second, he appeared in his own dojo. Now that you have cultivated to the level of quasi-saints, I will give you two magic weapons for self-defense. Go and explore the prehistoric world by yourself. Remember, don't do anything that hurts the heaven and the earth. Shi Chen took the two back to the dojo and sent them away. As he said that, he threw a few innate treasures to each of them and let them go. The two bowed respectfully to Shi Chen, and then left Penglai Island together. The two boys were born on the island and have been practicing since the beast calamity. Now they are quasi-saints. If they are not allowed to go out for training, they will probably become stupid. After Shi Chen sent the two boys away, he did not practice on the island. Now many powerful people who are familiar to later generations have appeared in the prehistoric world. He must go out to see them and visit his old friends on Mount Bujo. Thinking of this, Shi Chen walked out of the East China Sea and randomly chose a direction to move forward. At this time, the prehistoric world was quiet. The powerful people from all sides were in seclusion, trying to digest the gains brought by this listening. Shi Chen came to Mount Bujo unknowingly. Suddenly, a light shone somewhere. This was a treasure. Anyway, Shi Chen had nothing to do, so he flew over directly. When he came here, he found that someone was waiting here. They were San Qin, Niuwa, Dijuan, Taiyi, and Hongyun. At this time, several people saw another person appear, and he was on par with Hongjun Patriarch in Zixiao Palace, and they couldn't help but get nervous. Don't worry, this thing is useless to me, and I won't steal your things. I just saw a treasure coming out, so I came to see it. Shi Chen saw the tension of the crowd and said with a smile. Everyone was relieved after hearing this. The other party was at the level of a saint, and he shouldn't go back on his word, but he was still on guard against others. I saw Tai Qing Laozi holding the Tindi Xianhuang Linglong Pagoda on his head, hanging down endless Xianhuang merits, facing everyone with Yuan Shi and Tong Tian. Others were not to be outdone. Di Juan held the Hichu Luo Shu, and Tai Yi took out the Chaos Bell, guarding against everyone. No one present was simple, and no one would believe it except their own brothers. Seeing that the battle was about to break out, the seven treasure gourds with brilliant light gradually converged, but they were already fully mature. Seeing this, everyone didn't care that they were about to fight. 
seeing that Shi Chen really had no intention of attacking, everyone was relieved. Seeing this, Laozi went forward and took down a purple gold gourd. It was the purple gold red gourd that later contained elixirs, and was taken away by Jin Jiao and Yin Jiao during the journey to the west, and was deceived by Sun Wukong. At this time, Yuan Shi also came forward and took away a chaos gourd, which was later handed over to Huang Longjinren. Tong Tian took a green skin gourd, which contained two water and fire unicorns, and refined it into a water and fire gourd, which was extremely powerful. Seeing this, Hong Yun took the red gourd, which was the later Jiujiu Sanpo red gourd. It can spray red smoke, and when it is stained with smoke, the soul will immediately disperse, and it is powerful. The green gourd was obtained by Niwa, and was eventually transformed into the demon flag for the demon clan. The demon clan soul imprint is stored here, and it can be resurrected after death at a cost. The yellow gourd was obtained by Di Jun, and was eventually transformed into the immortal slaying flying knife, which was given to his youngest son Lu Ya. During the conferred god war, Lu Ya's words of please turn around, baby scared many people to death. In the end, there was an underdeveloped black gourd left, and no one wanted it, so they planned to go back. Shi Chen saw that no one wanted the little black gourd, so he simply collected it himself and directly cast a spell to return to the origin. Transforming the spiritual energy in the world into the innate energy, and directly revived the immature black gourd. Everyone was shocked to see this, this person was too powerful, even this kind of congenitally underdeveloped spiritual root could be directly revived. Shi Chen looked at the remaining gourd vines and soil, and then called Nuwa. Senior, what do you want? Nuwa came to Shi Chen with some trepidation, not knowing why this senior called her. This gourd vine is destined for you. You will need it in the future. I'll give it to you. As he said this, he handed the gourd vine to Nuwa, along with the soil on it. This gourd vine was the magic weapon that Nuwa used to create humans. Later, because of its merit in creating humans, the heavenly Tao bestowed merit and became the acquired merit and treasure, the whip for creating humans. The soil was not ordinary, it was the nine heavens Shirang, which was also destined for Nuwa, so he simply gave it to Nuwa. Seeing this, Nuwa was overjoyed and hurriedly thanked, Nuwa thanks the senior. As he said this, he accepted the gourd vine and the nine heavens Shirang. Seeing that there was nothing, everyone dispersed. At this time, Shi Chen looked at the two leaves that fell to the side. Two leaves grew on this gourd vine, one yin and one yang, which were the fan that Taishan Lao Jun used to fan the air when refining the elixir, and the banana fan later. These two leaves are also treasures. Everyone knows this. Perhaps seeing Shi Chen here, they didn't dare to take all of them. Anyway, the most important gourd was taken away, so they just left these two leaves. Shi Chen smiled and then put the two leaves away. He looked at the direction and continued to move forward towards Bujo Mountain, hiding his figure at the same time. Chapter 60 After an unknown amount of time, Shi Chen once again came to the space inside Mount Bujo, where Pangu was. Dao Yu, you are here again. Pangu was just like before, sitting cross legged in the shadow of the chaos green lotus. Dao Yu, I didn't expect you to have reached the peak of Daoyuo. How will you go next? Shi Chen looked at Pangu, who had reached the peak of Daoyuo Jinxian, and asked. Of course I still have to prove the Dao with force. Although I failed once before, I will definitely succeed this time. Pangu responded with confidence. If you think about it carefully, it is right. If anyone in this world can succeed in proving the Dao with force, then Pangu is the most likely one. At the beginning, Pangu proved the great Tao. Although he failed, he was about to succeed. And Amir Hunyuan Daoyuo could not defeat him. That's right, Pangu proved the Hunyuan Daoyuo Jinxian, not the saint of the prehistoric world. Even so, he could not directly prove the Hunyuan Dao, and Pangu still needed a chance to be reborn. There is only one saint in the prehistoric world now, Hong Jun. If the heavenly Tao discovers Pangu, then it will definitely punish him. Maybe Pangu is exposed in the last second, and the Eye of Heavenly Tao appears here in the next second. Only when the six saints come out together in the future, will the Heavenly Tao not be afraid of Pangu, 
and then Pangu can negotiate with the Heavenly Tao without letting the other party destroy the world. After all, the prehistoric world was created by Pangu, and the whole world was transformed by his body, so if Pangu can refine the whole prehistoric world, it is possible to repeat the chaos and directly advance to the Great Tao. However, in this case, not to mention that the prehistoric Heavenly Tao and the innate saints here disagree, even Pangu himself will not agree, after all, this is equivalent to his child. If Pangu can prove the Tao of Hunyuan, then he will not be afraid of the Heavenly Tao in the prehistoric world, and the two sides can reach a delicate balance, which is good for everyone. It is strong to prove the Tao with force, but it is difficult. But for fellow Taoist Pangu, no one can stop you except the Great Tao. Shi Chen nodded. Why did you come here this time? Pangu was a little curious, not knowing what Shi Chen was doing here. Nothing, but Hong Jun became a saint recently, and I had nothing to do, so I went there to listen. This time I came out of retreat and thought of coming to see you. Shi Chen shook his head and said. I see, I didn't expect that little loach would be ahead of me. Pangu nodded and knew about Hong Jun. As a chaos demon god, Hong Jun was not even a rank in front of him. When he was enlightened, he killed so many chaos demon gods, and Hong Jun was just one of the fish that slipped through the net. Unexpectedly, it didn't take long for Hong Jun to become a saint again, and he had just been reborn. It was really fate. Dao Yu, I wonder what you think of the Three Pure Ones and the Witch Clan. Shi Chen thought of the Three Pure Ones in the Zixiao Palace, and Hudu, the only one of the Twelve Ancestral Witches who came to listen to the teachings, and wanted to hear Pangu's attitude. After all, they are my children. Although I am not walking in the prehistoric world, I know their behavior. If the Wu clan can give up everything for me, then the Three Pure Ones will definitely not do so. Yes, after all, they have left you. Shi Chen nodded. Dao Yu, I have an unwelcome request. Pangu looked at Shi Chen at this time, a little embarrassed. Dao Yu, you want me to take care of the Wu clan, don't worry, we can't just focus on the prehistoric world. If there is a chance, I will let the ancestor which survive. They will have a bigger stage outside the prehistoric world. Shi Chen smiled, implying something. The prehistoric world is just a top-level world. In the chaos outside the prehistoric world, there are countless worlds, and the Wu clan should not disappear. In this way, I am relieved. Panga nodded when he saw this. This is a body refining technique. Daoist friends can give it to the ancestor witch to practice. If the opportunity is enough, they can achieve the realm of heaven, and when they achieve the state of Hunyuan, they can also have the primordial spirit. At this time, Pangu pointed out and gave a technique to Shirchen, hoping that he could give it to the Ancestor Witch. No problem, I will give this technique to the Ancestor Witch after I leave Shirchen nodded and put away the technique. The name of the technique was simple and crude, Pangu Body Refining Technique. After chatting with Pangu casually for a few words, Shirchen left directly. At the foot of Bujo Mountain, there is a huge tribe, which is the ancestral land of the Ancestor Witch, and the Ancestor Witch Hall is here. The twelve ancestor witches were born in the ancestor witch hall, and then various great witches and other witch tribes were born. Now, because the pressure on Bujo Mountain is getting stronger and stronger, the ancestor witch put a group of witch tribes on the prehistoric land. The twelve ancestor witches each established a tribe and led their own people, but they usually practiced in the ancestor witch hall. Even the great witches in the ancestral witch hall can barely withstand the pressure of Mount Bujo, so usually only the twelve ancestral witches are here. Before Shirchen arrived at the ancestral witch hall, he was soon discovered by the twelve ancestral witches. Why are you here, fellow Taoist? This is the territory of my witch clan. Di Jiang appeared with the other eleven ancestral witches and stopped in front of Shirchen. Brother, don't be rude. Seeing this, Hudu hurriedly stopped Di Jiang and walked towards Shirchen. Ancestor witch Hudu, meet the senior. Hudu had met Shirchen in the Zixiao Palace. Only those who can be treated specially by the saints can be in the same realm. Although the twelve ancestral witches do not respect the sky or the earth, but only respect Pangu, when a possible saint appears, it is better to be respectful when the other party's intentions are unknown. Ho Tu then introduced it to the ancestral witches, 
and the other ancestral witches quickly did not dare to be arrogant. Although the ancestral witches are fearless, it does not mean that they are fools. The other party is stronger than them, and of course they cannot directly offend the other party. I am the ancestor of the chaos demon Godshire. When Pangu Taoist opened the sky, I witnessed it with my own eyes. After his death, he asked me to take care of Hong Huang Ili, so I came here to take a look. Shu Chen nodded, and then explained to the ancestor witches. Own origin. What? All the ancestral wizards were shocked and they heard this. No wonder it made Hong Jun respectful. It turned out that he was a figure of the same period as Father God, and he also experienced immortality. He was a true power of chaos. The ancestral witches did not dare to slack off and quickly invited Shi Chen into the ancestral witch palace. Shi Chen looked at the restless ancestral witches and smiled, You don't have to be afraid. I know that you ancestral witches do not respect heaven or earth, but only respect Pangu. I have no big enmity with fellow Taoist Pangu. I am just standing in for fellow Taoist Pangu. Look at you. I see, I wonder what the senior's orders are when he comes to my ancestral witch palace. Di Jiang breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this, and then looked at the time and asked. I know that you have the intention to strive for hegemony in the ancient world, but you will definitely fail in the end. Shi Chen did not answer directly, but first told the future outcome of the Wu clan. This is the ancestral witch palace, with the remaining pressure of Pangu, so Heavenly Tao cannot detect this place, so Shi Chen did not bother to use any means to prevent Heavenly Tao from detecting it. Senior, we don't know why you are here. The prehistoric world was opened up by Father God. Even if we die, we must protect this prehistoric world for Father God. Di Jiang was silent for a moment after hearing this, and then looked at the clock. Said firmly. I know that the most important reason why you want to unify the prehistoric world is to protect the world of fellow Taoist Pangu. However, you will inevitably fight with others in the future, which will only accelerate the destruction of the prehistoric world. Have you considered this? Shi Chen looked at the twelve ancestral witches in front of him. He wanted to see the determination of these ancestral witches. Senior, don't worry. If the day comes, we can only deal with the enemy and then go to Godfather to ask for forgiveness. The hot-tempered Zhu Rong spoke directly, and his loud voice made the other ancestral wizards smile. This was also the case for other ancestors. What the ancestral witch thought. It seems that fellow Taoist Pangu has indeed seen you right. It's just a pity that you won't be able to see your father god by then. Shi Chen was stunned when he heard this, and then said with a smile. Senior, what do you mean by this? Di Jiang was stunned when he heard this, then stared at the clock and asked. Chapter, 61 I promised Pang the Daoist that I would do my best to protect your Wu clan, and I can tell you that Pang the Daoist is not dead. Shi Chen knew that the ancestor which would not betray Pangu, so he told the news that Pangu was not dead. If he did not do so, it would not be good for the Wu clan to give up the fight for hegemony in the prehistoric world. What? You said that the Father God has not fallen. How is this possible? He has already transformed into the prehistoric world. The ancestor witches were very excited when they heard this, and looked at Shi Chen in disbelief and asked. If Pangu Daoist is really dead, why can the Pangu heart in your ancestral witch hall still maintain its vitality? Shi Chen said, pointing to a blood pool in the middle of the hall, where Pangu's heart is. Pangu Hall is also known as the Ancestral Witch Hall, and the blood pool here is the place where the Wu clan was born. Because of the Pangu heart inside, twelve drops of Pangu's blood appeared, and finally turned into the twelve ancestor witches, this is the origin of the twelve ancestor witches. The ancestor witches didn't have time to be surprised at why the other party knew that there was Pangu's heart here. They quickly looked at the Pangu's heart, which was still full of vitality, and believed most of what Shurchen said. Yes, if the Father God really died, then the Father God's heart would gradually dry up, and this heart has been beating for countless Yuanhui, and it is still full of vitality now. Senior, you tell us what we can do to help the Father God, we will never refuse. Di Jian came back to his senses and looked at Shi Chen seriously. Let me show you what the heavens and the worlds are. 
Shirchin did not answer them directly, but waved his hand, and countless pictures appeared, which were projections of the heavens and the worlds. The world is very big, and the future Pangu Daoyu will not be limited to a prehistoric world, so your battlefield is not here, but go to other worlds to fight. The heavens and the worlds. So this is outside the chaos. The ancestor witches looked at the various worlds in the picture, some of which were strong, some were weak, but the warlike genes in their bodies were stimulated. Senior, we understand. Since Father God doesn't want to dominate the prehistoric world, we promise you that we will no longer compete for the prehistoric world. The witches came back to their senses and looked at Shi Chen excitedly. That's good. This is the skill that Pangu asked me to give you. You witches can practice it. As for whether to give it to the great witch, it's up to you, but don't let the news that Pangu Daoyu is not dead be leaked. As he said, Shi Chen directly passed the Pangu body refining secret that Pangu gave him into the minds of the witches. Great, with Father God's skill, we will definitely become stronger. The witches took a general look at the content of the skill and almost jumped up with excitement. The witch clan only cultivates the body, not the soul, but this skill allows them to break through the Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian and have the soul, which is simply to make them another Pangu. Not only that, with this skill, they can also get rid of the invasion of the catastrophe as much as possible and break through the Hunyuan better. I have said what I should say, so I will go back directly. Shi Chen looked around and said to the group of ancestor witches. We will see you off. Di Jiang hurriedly said to Shi Chen, and a group of ancestor witches sent Shi Chen to the door of the hall. By the way, your witch tribe does not need to develop too fast. Too many people will easily cause conflicts with other races. It will be difficult for you to withdraw in the future. You should pay special attention to the monsters that will appear in the future. Shi Chen walked to the door and warned the group of ancestor witches. Some things are not something you can do without if you don't want to do them. When your tribe has conflicts with other tribes, if you, as the leader, don't want to avenge them, there will be others who will push you to avenge them. After a while, the blood feud was formed. After Shi Chen finished speaking, he left the ancestor which hauled directly. Di Jiang watched Shi Chen leave, and then summoned all the ancestor witches back to the ancestor witch hall. They had to replan the future development of the witch tribe. The senior is right. Now our witch tribe is developing too fast. There will definitely be conflicts with other races in the future. If we don't deal with it now, we will not be able to help the father god in the future. Di Jiang looked at the other ancestor witches and spoke first. Brother, you tell us what to do. We brothers and sisters will listen to you in everything. Huda looked at Di Jiang and said. That's right, brother. We brothers and sisters will all listen to you. I don't understand those tactics. I will just listen to you. Jerome also responded. Other ancestor witches had no objections. Gang Gang, Xian Ming, Zhu Jiuyin and other ancestor witches all looked at Di Jiang. Okay, then I will say it first. If the younger brothers and sisters have anything to add, please remind me. Di Jiang nodded and took the lead in speaking out his plan. Now our Wu tribe has hundreds of millions of people, but we have to curb the population. Next, we need to let each tribe do its best to limit the development of the tribe, and also do its best to shrink the tribe and gather near the ancestral Wu temple as soon as possible. As long as it is not affected by the pressure of the father god of Buzhou Mountain. Even though the Wu tribe is not good at reproduction, it has already had hundreds of millions of tribesmen after so many years of development. If we follow the original trajectory, when the Witch Lich War in the future comes, there will be hundreds of millions of Wu tribesmen, which will be terrible. Well, it's time to curb the tribesmen. Now our Wu tribe is developing too fast, and many races have complained. Ho Tu nodded when she heard it. She was born compassionate. Many tribesmen in her tribe often bullied other weak races, but because they were of the same race, she couldn't say anything. Now that the Wu clan has returned to Bujo Mountain, they can do less of this kind of thing, and curb the number of the clan members, which can reduce some troubles. Brother, why don't we just open up a small world for the clan members to live in? Xian Ming suddenly said at this time. The eyes of the ancestor witches lit up when they heard this. 
The prehistoric world has countless vassal small worlds, and they can also open up a small world by themselves when they reach the Daluo Jinxian. If this is really feasible, then there is no need to be so troublesome. No. Emperor Jiang shook his head when he heard this, which made the ancestor witches stunned. Have you ever thought about it? All of us Wu clan are warlike people. If we lock them up in a small world, they will definitely go crazy. Moreover, the laws of the small world are incomplete, the way of heaven is not obvious, and it is impossible to practice in it. With Emperor Zhang's explanation, the ancestor witches thought of this matter. Just now, everyone only thought about how to settle the Wu clan, but forgot that they could not practice and the tribe members were warlike. Although the Wu clan only cultivates the body and does not cultivate the soul, they do not need to comprehend the rules of heaven and earth. But physical cultivation also requires spiritual energy, and only in the prehistoric world can there be sufficient innate spiritual energy. Okay, in that case, let's follow my method just now. You pass the order to each tribe, and then start the transfer of the tribe, and then return to the ancestral witch hall to practice the skills passed down by the Father God together. If there is a better way in the future, you can make a decision again. Seeing that everyone had no objection, Di Jiang issued these instructions. Brother, I suddenly thought of a way to make our people less bored when they get together, and it can also improve their combat effectiveness, but it requires the Father God's skills. At this time, Ho Tu suddenly said. Hmm. Sister Ho Tu, if you have any ideas, just say it directly, there are no outsiders here. Hearing this, the ancestral witches stopped leaving and looked at Ho Tu. I think we can hold a selection meeting within the witch clan every thousand years, and the top ten can improve their bloodline and become great witches. A competition meeting between great witches will be held every ten thousand years, and the strongest can obtain the qualification to practice the Father God's skills. This can better appease all the clan members, let them practice harder, and no longer be so restless. Ho Tu slowly said her decision. This method is good, so that group of boys will have motivation. With the encouragement of the Father God's skills, no witch clan will not work hard to practice, and there will be no so many things. The ancestor witches were overjoyed when they heard this, and they all praised. Okay, in this case, let's add this method of Sister Ho Tu, and let's spread it now. Di Jiang made the decision and decided the direction of this matter. Chapter, 62 when Shu Chen left the ancestral witch hall, the long river of time flashed in his eyes, allowing him to see some different plots. He smiled in his heart and stopped paying attention. Shu Chen quickly returned to his Penglai fairy island. The two boys had not returned yet, and it was estimated that they would not return home for a few thousand years, so he did not pay attention to them. Nothing happened in the chat group these days, and there was his own clone, so he did not need to care about these. Back in the Wanxiang Palace, he closed his eyes, and five thousand years passed in a blink of an eye. At this time, the great powers of the prehistoric world had already come out of retreat and digested the experience of listening to the teachings. Today, the prehistoric land is in turmoil again, and the great powers from all sides have just finished retreating, so they are thinking about going out to find something to do. At this time, a voice spread throughout the prehistoric world, it was the voice of Di Jun and Tai Yi. God is above, I, Emperor Jun and Tai, will establish the demon clan here. All birds, beasts, and scales belong to our demon clan. I, Emperor Jun, will be the demon king, and Tai will be the eastern king. I will suppress the destiny with the Chaos Bell, the River Map, and the Luo Shu. The demon clan will be established. As the voices of Emperor Jun and Tai resounded throughout the prehistoric world, the demon clan was successfully established and attracted the attention of countless races. The two were not unprepared. After leaving the Zixiao Palace, they had secretly coerced or lured all races to join the demon clan. Now is the time to announce the existence of the demon clan to the entire prehistoric world. In an instant, the Heavenly Tao bestowed merits, which was beneficial to the prehistoric world. The boundless merits fell on the destiny of the demon clan and Emperor Jun Tai, causing the cultivation of the two to soar by a large margin in an instant, and directly reached the late stage of Daluo Jinxian. At this time, Dong Wang Gong, who was far away overseas, was very angry when he saw this. 
He was obviously the first male immortal in the world who was personally canonized by Hong Jun Saint, but Di Jun and Tai actually gathered the demons in the world and wanted to establish a big force. Since he came out of Zixiao Palace, Dong Wanggong has been gathering overseas monks to establish a big force. But he didn't expect that just after he gathered overseas monks, someone would intercept him and classify all the birds, beasts, and scales in the prehistoric world as demons, and gather them all under his command. At this time, the demon emperor Di Jun and Dong Huang Tai were commanding a group of demons to establish the demon court. Originally, they wanted to build the demon court on Buzhou Mountain. After all, it was the first sacred mountain in the prehistoric world. But now there is still the pressure left after Pangu created the world, so the demons can only come to the halfway point of the mountain at most. How can they build the demon court? So the two of them thought about it and found a sacred mountain to build the demon court again. Brother, now that we have formed the demon tribe and established the demon court, there are still many prehistoric races that are not subject to our deployment. I think we need to invite some prehistoric great powers to join us. In the demon court, Dong Huang Tai looked at Di Jun beside him and said. My dear brother, what you said makes sense. I am just thinking of inviting some prehistoric great powers to live in the demon tribe. It would be best if they were guests of Zixiao Palace. Di Jun nodded and said his plan. Who do you plan to invite to join our demon tribe? Tai looked at Di Jun and asked. In this way, I will invite Fushi and Niwa Taoists on Mount Bujo. We can give them two thrones, and their status can be equal to ours. Fushi Daoist is very good at deducing a Dao, which is very important to our demon tribe, and Niwa Daoist has a position in Zixiao Palace. There will definitely be differences in the future. Di Jun thought about it and said to Taiyi that he planned to invite Fushi and Niwa in person. Now that the demon tribe is just being established, it is the time to use people. With the joining of these two prehistoric great powers, things will go much more smoothly in the future. If it was an ordinary person, he could send his demon commanders and generals to win him over, but since they were both guests of Zixiao Palace, he had to go there in person to show his sincerity. Then, big brother, I will invite Kuenpeng from the North Sea to come over. After all, he has been a member of Zixiao Palace, and Kuenpeng's speed is said to be the fastest under the saints. He must have his own strengths. Why not let him be the teacher of the demon clan? Tai thought about it and told Di Jun about his plan. Okay, let's set off now without delay. Di Jun nodded, and then the two of them set off for their destination together. Di Jun walked quickly all the way and soon came to the outside of a Xientian Taoist temple. There were two figures with human heads and snake bodies practicing here. They were Fushi and Nuwa. The demon king of the demon clan, Di Jun, is here. Please ask Fushi and Niwa to open the Taoist temple. I have something important to discuss. Di Jun came to the outside of the Taoist temple of the two and shouted directly inside. Fushi and Niwa opened their eyes upon hearing this, and then looked at each other, not knowing why Di Jun came here. However, the other party was the demon king of the demon clan after all, and they were also guests of the Zixiao Palace. It was not easy for the two of them to refuse him, so they opened the Taoist temple directly. Daoist Fushi, Daoist Niwa, I came here uninvited today, I hope you can forgive me. Di Jun bowed to the two and smiled. Daoist Di Jun, please come in and have a chat. Fushi also returned the greeting, and then he and Niwa invited Di Jun into the Taoist temple together. Daoist friends, Di Jun came here today for nothing else, just to invite you two to join my demon clan. Di Jun sat down and said directly without beating around the bush. This. Fushi and Yuwa frowned upon hearing this, looked at each other, but were somewhat reluctant to be controlled by others. Di Jun saw the look on their faces and knew that the other party would not accept it so easily, and then he said his bargaining chip. Don't worry. Since I have come here in person to invite you two fellow Taoists, I will naturally not let you join my demon clan for nothing. I can confer upon you the titles of Shi Huang and Wa Huang, with the same status as Tai Yi and I. Since the demon king personally invited us, we will not refuse. Fushi was stunned when he heard this. He did not expect that the demon king Di Jun would be willing to make such a big investment, 
so he simply agreed. Fushi was good at deduction. His own Fushi Bagua was learned by countless later generations. He had previously deduced that he was vaguely involved with the demon clan. Now that Di Jun offered such a high price, he simply agreed directly. Niwa originally wanted to think about it again. She didn't really want to join the demon clan. After all, joining the demon clan was like having a concern, and everything in the future would be linked to the fortune of the demon clan. If the demon clan becomes strong in the future, it will be fine. If it eventually declines, it will have a great impact on herself. But now seeing that her brother has agreed, and Di Jun also promised her that they will each have a throne, she nodded and agreed. That's great. In that case, I won't bother you anymore. When the demon court is completely established, please invite Emperor Shi and Empress Wa to come over for a chat. Emperor Jun was overjoyed to see this. He said something to the two and left their dojo directly. After Emperor Jun left, Miwa looked at Fushi and asked, Brother, why did you agree to join the demon tribe just now? If we join the demon tribe, we will be bound by the demon tribe in the future. It's better to rise together and fall together. Although the demon tribe's luck bonus can make our practice smoother, if the demon tribe declines, we will also be implicated. Alas sister, how can I not know what you are thinking? I have deduced it a long time ago. The secret shows that my brother and sister must be involved with the demon tribe. Instead of making the relationship with Emperor Jun awkward, it is better to choose to join the demon tribe directly. The other party also promised to promise us two thrones, which is more beneficial to my brother and sister. Fushi sighed and explained. So that's how it is. Brother is really thoughtful. Niwa nodded when she heard this, and then she understood her brother's considerations. Chapter, 63 When the demon emperor Di Jun went to Buzhou Mountain to invite Fushi and Niwa, Dong Huang Tai also came to the sky above the North Sea. Daoist friend Kuenpeng, I am Dong Huang Tai, please come out and talk. Tai appeared in the sky above the North Sea, and he didn't know where Kuenpeng was. Anyway, as long as the other party was in the North Sea, he would definitely be able to hear what he said. Dong Huang Tai. What are you doing in my North Sea? There is no prehistoric race here that you can win over. At this time, a huge kun appeared from the bottom of the sea, and instantly jumped out of the water and turned into a big pine bird that covered the sky and the sun. There is a poem that says, There is a fish in the North Sea, its name is Kuan, Kuan is so big that no one knows how many thousands of miles it is it turns into a bird. Its name is Peng, Peng's back is so long that no one knows how many thousands of miles it is. It is talking about Kuanpeng. Daoist friend Kuanpeng, you should understand that my brother and I established the demon clan. I plan to invite you to join my demon clan and give you the name of demon master, which means the master of all demons. How about it? Dong Huang Tai smiled as he looked at the Kuanpeng that appeared. Demon master. Although it sounds good, I am used to being alone and never like being constrained by others, so please find someone else. Kuenpeng was stunned when he heard this, then shook his head and refused, and then planned to leave directly. Dao Yu, I am the Dong Huang of the Demon Clan. Since I have come to invite you personally, how can you refuse? Taiyi heard the smile on his face, and then a huge ancient bell appeared in his hand. It was the innate treasure chaos bell, and now it has another name, Dong Huang Bell. Dong Huang Bell, Pangu Banner in Yuan Shi's hand, and Taiji Diagram in Laozi's hand are all innate treasures. They are transformed from Pangu Axe, the chaos treasure used by Pangu when he created the world. The axe head turned into Taiji Diagram, the axe blade turned into Pangu Banner, and the axe handle turned into Chaos Bell. Tai, are you really going to turn against me like this? I am also a guest of Zixia Palace after all, how can you bully me at will? When Kuenpeng saw Dong Huang Tai take out the chaos bell, he immediately realized that this time he could not end it peacefully. While shouting at Tai, he was ready to run away. It's useless. I know you are very fast. When you just showed up, I had already set up a ban here. Dong Huang Tai looked at Kuenpeng's actions, how could he not understand his intentions, and then sneered. In this case, I will fight you. Seeing this, Kuenpeng no longer planned to escape. 
He flapped his huge wings directly, stirred up endless sea water, formed a huge wave and pounced on Dong Huang Tai. Humph, you still dare to resist. Dong Huang Tai snorted coldly, and then the Dong Huang bell in his hand shook, and a strong bell sound came out, instantly defeating the huge wave formed by Kuenpen. Seeing this, Kuenpen was not willing to be outdone, and instantly turned into a giant Kuen, and the law of water surged, turning into a stream of water arrows and shooting at Dong Huang Tai. Tai did not move when he saw this, but the Dong Huang bell in his hand was still vibrating, directly shattering all the water arrows. It must be said that Tai was invincible with the innate treasure Dong Huang Bell. Kuenpen was different. Although the Baiming Sea was huge, it was still a treasure that Kuenpen did not get. It could be said that he was the poorest among the great powers in the prehistoric world. Then, Tai threw the Dong Huang Bell directly at Kuenpen, instantly hitting Kuenpen's chest and knocking him directly into the sea, instantly dyeing the sea water blood red. Wait. Wait a minute, I. I am willing. Willing to join the demon clan. Seeing that Dong Huang Tai was still about to attack, Kuenpeng quickly surrendered to the other party. I thought that after all, we were both guests in Zixiao Palace, and we were both Daoyuo Jingxian. Even if I couldn't defeat him, I could at least have a chance to escape. But I didn't expect that the other party almost beat me to death in less than three rounds, which made me surrender. If I had known this, why did I do it in the first place? Dong Huang Tai put away the chaos bell and said to Kuenpeng in front of him. Don't worry, what I promised you before will not change. The position of demon master is still yours. After you recover from your injury, you can report directly to the demon court. Tai continued to say to him. Okay, I understand. I will go to recuperate first. Kuenpeng was relieved when he heard this. He didn't expect that he could still have the position of demon master, so he relaxed. Then his figure flashed and he dived into the water and disappeared. Dong Huang Tai saw that there was nothing else, and then he went directly to the demon court. Brother, Kuenpeng has agreed on my side. How is the situation on your side? In the demon court, Tai found Dijuan, told him the result on his side, and asked the other party at the same time. It's also going smoothly on my side. Fushi and Niwa, two Taoist friends, agreed directly. Dijuan nodded when he heard this, and also smiled at Tai. The two chatted briefly for a few words, and then left to deal with things. In the Penglai Fairy Island, Shurchen looked at the huge luck that appeared faintly in the sky, and knew that the demon clan was now in a state of great power. However, now that only the demon clan has appeared, without the participation of the witch clan, I am afraid that the heavenly Tao will not be too quiet. Without the participation of the witch clan, the demon clan can only be allowed to become stronger and stronger in the future, which is not a good thing for the prehistoric heavenly Tao. Today, the prehistoric heavenly Tao has only two ways, one is to continue to use the witch clan to restrain the demon clan, and the other is to support another race. Obviously, the heavenly Tao does not want to change another race now. What it wants is that the witch clan and the demon clan will both suffer losses. Now the demon clan will sooner or later dominate, and the witch clan is a group of barbarians who disrespect heaven and earth in the eyes of the heavenly Tao, so letting the two clans be destroyed is the best choice for the heavenly Tao. If you want the witches to enter and fight the monsters, you must get the consent of the ancestor witches. Without the consent of the twelve ancestor witches, other witches dare not start a war with the monsters at will. The heavenly Tao wants to plan the witch monster calamity, so it can use the power of the calamity to influence the witches, but it is a pity. Today's twelve ancestor witches not only do not want to participate in the calamity, but also practice the Pangu body refining technique given by Pangu. This body refining technique can make them unaffected by the calamity and keep their original heart, which is the most important for the witches. The original water ancestor which Gonggong and the fire ancestor which Zhurong fought, and finally Gonggong knocked down Mount Bujo. All this was because the heavenly Tao used the power of the calamity to influence them. Otherwise, with the relationship between the ancestor witches, how could a war happen? Mount Bujo, as Pangu's spine, is also the place with the most Pangu's pressure. As time passed, 
Panga's pressure on Mount Bujo became smaller and smaller, and finally almost disappeared, which is why he was knocked down by Gongong. Once Mount Bujo fell, the last symbol of Pangu on the prehistoric land was also successfully wiped out by the heavenly Tao. However, all this is just the original plot, and the twelve witch ancestors now have less trouble. At this time, the twelve witch ancestors are sitting together in the witch temple. After five thousand years of adjusting strategies and migrating people, the witches on the prehistoric land have now all returned to the foot of Mount Bujo. And the twelve witch ancestors are now discussing the first witch clan selection meeting. The first witch clan selection meeting did not include the previous great witches, because they were originally great witches, so they could only participate in the battle between great witches once every ten thousand years. Chapter, 64 At this time, five thousand years have passed again, and three thousand years ago, Qi Yang and Bai Yu had already returned. After so many years of training, the two have already gained a reputation in the prehistoric world. They are no longer as weak as before, and they also let the prehistoric world know that there are two powerful people, and they are the children of a more powerful boss. Gradually, in the prehistoric world, many people know about the names of Taoist Qi Yang and Fairy Baiyu. Shi Chen looked at the two of them with great satisfaction, and gave each of them a magic weapon, and then sent them to practice. Now it has been the ten thousandth year, and Shi Chen sent the two to listen to the teachings in Zixiao Palace, and he went to the chaos alone. At this time, Hong Jun was preaching for the second time in the Zixia Palace in the chaos, so a group of prehistoric great powers gathered again. And this time even the twelve ancestors of witches appeared, which surprised a group of prehistoric great powers. Everyone knows that the witch clan only cultivates the body, they have no soul, but they actually appeared in Zixia Palace to listen to the teachings. The twelve witch ancestors didn't care what they thought. They came here just to listen to the Tao Ancestors Tao, which would help them break through the primordial chaos and condense their souls in the future. The Pangu body refining art also mentioned that they could condense the embryonic form of their souls when they were quasi-saints. Seeing the twelve witch ancestors appear, Hong Jun didn't say much, just glanced at them and stopped paying attention. As for how the heavenly Tao viewed the twelve witch ancestors, that was none of his business. Anyway, he hadn't yet merged with the Tao, so he didn't want to care. If the sky fell, the heavenly Tao would die first. Shi Chen looked back at the Zixia Palace, and then walked into the rolling waves of chaos. Shi Chen. Why? Are you? Here. From the unknown depths of chaos, an unknown voice came, carrying endless chaos power and pressing towards Shi Chen. Nothing, you've crossed the line, chaos. Shi Chen's voice was calm, and he said to the unknown existence. Hong Wang shouldn't exist. I'm just following the Tao. You can't stop me. The voice came again, but the tone was obviously fluctuating. Humph, it's just a fallen avenue, and it's dreaming of destroying the world all day long. Shi Chen snorted coldly, and the voice in the chaos paused instantly. What do you want? The voice trembled, as if it had guessed something. The fallen avenue is like an evil god. What's the point of keeping it? You shouldn't appear in the prehistoric world again. As Shi Chen's voice fell, the long river of time emerged behind him, and then a huge wave appeared from the long river behind him, and then wiped out the existence in the chaos, as if it had never appeared. Shi Chen looked at the place where the other party disappeared, and couldn't help but fall into deep thought. This is a product of a fallen avenue, used to launch the destruction of the world of the great world and return it to chaos. After each world disappears, it will absorb the breath of destruction produced after their destruction. This is only produced after a world is destroyed. Even a very small wisp can make a middle thousand world instantly ruined, and then gradually decline within a hundred years. The fallen avenues are some avenues that have appeared since the birth of Hong Meng. They are extremely ancient avenues. After countless years of accumulation and development, they have absorbed the breath of destruction produced by the destruction of countless worlds. They inevitably fell and had the idea of destroying the world. The fallen avenues will unconsciously create some followers. These followers have a common name, called chaos, which means to return everything to chaos. The evil gods are another kind of existence. 
they are divided into the original evil gods and the acquired evil gods. The evil gods cannot be looked at directly. Any creature that does not reach the avenue realm will go crazy if they look at the original evil gods directly. The acquired evil gods are different. They range from the primordial realm to the heavenly realm. If they can devour the original evil gods, they can become the new original evil gods and become the existence of the avenue realm. For the existence of Shurchen who has cultivated to the avenue realm, the evil gods and the fallen avenues are uncontrollable threats. With the addition of a source beast ancestor, they will threaten all worlds and are enemies of all worlds and the existence of the avenue realm. The evil gods have no thoughts and can only act unconsciously. If a world is approached by them, it will be unlucky. The fallen avenue is even more dangerous. They will consciously launch the destruction of the world. The world they target is almost unsustainable. Unless there is a guardian of the avenue realm like Shurchen, it is possible that the world will not be destroyed. Now a fallen avenue has set its sights on the prehistoric world, which is very dangerous to the prehistoric world. Shurchen looked at the place where the chaos was destroyed by himself, and thought silently in his heart. After thinking about it, he decided to go and have a look. As Shurchen continued to rush forward, he gradually came to a void land where no rules existed. There is no up, down, left, right, time and space, and the laws of the world are not obvious. This is the void land. At the source of this void land, there is a group of gas-like things that are constantly changing. Shurchen, why are you here? At this time, the group of gas suddenly came with a voice, obviously recognizing Shurchen. I just came here to tell you not to plan to attack the prehistoric world again, otherwise your last void land will disappear. Shurchen said expressionlessly when he saw this. The ball of gas in front of him was the master of the chaos just now, a fallen avenue. Huh, when I was born, there was no chaos yet, and you dare to teach me a lesson? The avenue laughed in anger and couldn't help but say to Shurchen. The birth of every Tao realm will be known by other Daos, including these fallen Daos, so he knew the origin of Shurchen very well, so he couldn't help but sneer. You were indeed born earlier than me, but you are just a Tao that should have died long ago. Shurchen nodded and looked at the Tao. Oh, I really envy you Daos that have been cultivated from living beings. We have become Daos since the beginning of our birth, but we will inevitably absorb the breath of destruction. The Tao suddenly laughed at himself. However, it is also thanks to this that I have transformed into my current state. I feel very good now. The Tao suddenly changed his voice and a crazy voice came. Every fallen Tao will deny his past and think that his present is right. Just like a mental patient, they will only think that others are mentally ill and they are normal. Different Taoists cannot work together. You should take care of yourself, otherwise I will definitely destroy you. Shurchen shook his head and prepared to leave here. Now it is meaningless to fight with the other party, and it may even disturb the chaos and affect countless worlds in the chaos. The battle between the great ways is not that simple. If it is not handled properly, the chaos will be repeated and all the worlds will return to their origins. The fallen great way did not provoke Shurchen after hearing this, but let him go. He could not make a move at will, otherwise he would be noticed by other great ways and slowly wiped out, otherwise he would not let the chaos destroy the world. Shurchen could not interfere with the great ways. Each way had its own trajectory, unless he could kill the fallen great way together with other great ways, and this would also require a long time of planning. There are also differences between the great ways. For example, this kind of fallen great way is the natural great way. They were originally selfless great ways. But at the same time, there is also the danger of being invaded by the breath of annihilation. And the existence that has cultivated from the living beings to the great way realm has its own ideas and selfishness. They will not be affected by the breath of annihilation, just like Shurchen who has cultivated from the chaos demon god. Chapter, 65 After returning from the land of nothingness, Shurchen returned directly to the prehistoric world. At this time, Hong Jun had finished his second sermon, and there was only one last sermon left before the confluence of the Tao. 
At the same time, the demon tribes of Dijuan and Tai were growing stronger and stronger, almost becoming the largest tribe in the prehistoric world, which made all tribes feel terrified, fearing that they would find their own tribes next time. Group leader, I feel that I am about to break through the sixth level, but I always feel that I am still a little short. What should I do? At this time, there was movement in the chat group. It turned out that Chiyu was contacting Shirchen. What, how about I let the main body take you to the prehistoric world and let you break through there? After all, it is still difficult for your world to break through. Shirchen saw Chiyu talking and smiled when he heard it. I want to try it. Can the group leader find me a battle similar to mine? Chiyu was silent for a while, and then said to Shirchen. This is easy to do. I will take you there right away. Shirchen immediately agreed. Other people in the chat group also went online when they heard it, wanting to see Chiyu's battle. Boss Saitama, don't forget to start a live broadcast when the time comes. We want to watch it. Conan appeared and asked Saitama. No problem. I haven't experienced a real battle for a long time. Saitama nodded, then tidied his clothes and walked into the transmission channel in front of him. Saitama has not stopped training recently. Although he is strong, his fighting skills are very poor. He relies on himself to figure it out. Now he often learns martial arts skills from Xiaoyu, especially the skills of killing enemies, which is very helpful for his strength improvement. Saitama's training is not the kind of meditation upgrade like Xuxian, but a real physical training, just like Sun Wukong in Dragon Ball, who has been going further and further on the road of physical training. Saitama walked out of the transmission channel and appeared directly in the Wanxiang Palace. Looking at a vague figure sitting cross-legged not far away, Saitama knew that this was the real body of the group leader, and hurriedly bowed to Shirchen. Group leader, I'm here. Please take care of me. It's okay. I have erased the information of the outsiders for you and helped you cover up the secret. You can practice well here with me. Shirchen nodded and then pointed out a black figure in front of Saitama. Shi Chen looked at the black figure and said, This is an enemy copied using your physical fitness. He can do everything you can. As long as you can defeat it, then your breakthrough will be a matter of course. Your accumulation is enough. In addition, don't be afraid of death. Even if you die, I can go back in time and revive you. I understand, Daozuan. Saitama nodded and decided to have a good fight. Before the battle, Saitama directly turned on the live broadcast, and everyone rushed in in an instant. Wow, is this the residence of the group leader? It feels so grand. As soon as everyone came in, they immediately saw this gorgeous palace. Don't look at this place because it looks gorgeous. In fact, this is a magic weapon of the Chaos Spirit treasure level, which can be used to attack, defend, and suppress the enemy. There are countless folding spaces inside, which is equivalent to a middle thousand world. Even if you put all of your earths in it, it can only occupy a tiny part. And there are many powerful functions, so I won't tell you one by one. Shi Chen heard the chat group and explained to everyone. So that's it, look, Saitama has already started fighting. Conan nodded, and then reminded everyone that Saitama's fight had begun. At this time, Saitama looked at his opponent, his heart was extremely solemn, and his eyes became more and more serious. I don't know how long it has been, maybe a minute, or maybe just a few seconds, the two of them rushed to the opposite side in an instant. This is not in his original world, otherwise he can rely on his powerful speed to appear directly in front of the opponent. When the two collided, they directly punched and kicked. Saitama had encountered countless enemies before, and the damage caused to him was almost negligible, and he couldn't break his defense. But facing this shadow himself, he immediately felt pain. When the two of them first fought, Saitama was at a disadvantage. He was caught by a combination of punches and instantly vomited blood. Saitama is now at the peak of the fifth level, equivalent to the level of a true immortal. He has long been exposed to the power of the law, but he cannot use it. Everything he has is in his body. If he can know how to use his power of the law, he will have a chance to defeat the opponent. At this time, Shirchen suddenly spoke out. True immortals have already begun to have the power of the law, 
but they can only use it very weakly. But even if it is only a little bit, it is not something that other people without laws can fight against. Saitama thought of the fighting skills he had learned from Xiaoyu, and gradually applied them to actual combat. Unconsciously, he seemed to be able to keep up with the opponent's rhythm. The two sides fought hand to hand, and then they retreated at once. Shadow bent his knees again, then jumped toward Saitama, raised his right leg high, and swept directly toward Saitama. Saitama was shocked when he saw this, and quickly dodged backwards, and then did a backflip to avoid the opponent's attack. Then, Saitama's fists were as fast as the wind, and he rushed forward while the opponent just retracted his right leg. Seeing this, Shadow blocked with his arms, blocked Saitama's punch, and then grabbed Saitama's arm and threw him to the ground with an over-the-shoulder throw. Then, with a big foot stepping heavily on Saitama, Saitama's chest instantly dented and he died immediately. Then in less than a second, Saitama's time went back and he returned to his best condition. TSK TSK, Saitama is so miserable. This is the first time I've seen him so miserable. Conan looked at Saitama in the live broadcast and couldn't help but teasing him. Everyone laughed and looked at Saitama's fight again. As the two continued to fight, Saitama fell more and more times, and the time he took to fall was getting longer and longer. Saitama was making progress bit by bit, constantly exploring the opponent's fighting moves. At this time, the moves of the two had already begun to have the breath of the law. Although they didn't understand magic, Saitama's own body was the best weapon. He was like a witch in the prehistoric times. Boom! Finally, with a loud noise, Saitama punched the shadow out, and the shadow hit the pillar in the hall heavily, and then slowly slid down. If you look closely, you can also see the fist-sized dent on his chest, which is the power of Saitama's punch. This punch was Saitama gathering all his energy into his right fist, which burst out instantly and killed the opponent directly. As the shadow died, it was shattered on the spot, turned into a piece of powder and dissipated into nothingness. After Saitama won the battle, he stood on the spot, and then a crackling sound like frying beans came from his body, and the blood in his body flowed at a very fast speed. If you listen closely, you can hear the rolling blood, like the endless flow of the Yangtze River. This is Saitama's transformation, a transformation from the inside out. It is not just as simple as his breakthrough from the fifth level to the sixth level, he also directly broke through the original life limit and directly had a lifespan of thousands of years. Although in the prehistoric world, thousands of years is just a nap time for others, and which of the golden immortals in the prehistoric world does not have a lifespan of more than 10,000 years. But Saitama is different. After all, he is not a creature of this world, and his innate level is not as good as that of the prehistoric creatures. At this time, everyone also discovered that the level of Saitama's chat group had changed from LV5 to LV6, and he had officially entered the level of the 6th level Golden Immortal, the same level as Hades. Congratulations to Mr. Saitama for upgrading one level again and becoming a 6th level boss. Seeing this, all the group members congratulated him. Saitama was stunned when he heard this, and touched his head a little embarrassedly and said, Haha, huh, thank you everyone, this time I really feel like I'm going to die, thanks to the group leader I can break through so quickly. It's okay, Saitama, do you want to play in the prehistoric world? Shuchin smiled and asked Saitama. Well, I have disturbed the group leader this time, so I'd better go back directly. Saitama shook his head when he heard this, and directly stated that he would go back. Shuchin nodded, and then sent Saitama back directly. Chapter, 66 This happened just after Hongjuan's second sermon. Now without the constraints of the witch clan, the demon clan developed rapidly and is now the largest force in the prehistoric world. Below them, there are overseas forces headed by Dong Wanggong, which gradually developed towards the prehistoric continent. Because of the title of the world's first male immortal conferred by Hongjun himself, Dong Wanggong was very arrogant and believed that he must be the man of destiny. As Dong Wanggong's power continued to develop towards the continent, it continued to collide with the demon clan, and the conflicts between the two sides became more and more. Originally, Dong Wanggong wanted to invite Shi Wangmu, and the two of them became Taoist partners, and then managed the prehistoric world together. 
Unfortunately, Shi Wanmu did not have the mind to dominate the prehistoric world, and only wanted to stay in her own West Kunlun. Dong Wangong had no choice but to compete with the demon clan himself. Shi Chen looked and found that Dong Wangong's luck was much stronger. Originally, it was just a force that was easily destroyed by the demon clan, but now it has a tendency to grow and develop. Dong Wangong and Shi Wanmu were canonized as the heads of male and female immortals by Hong Jun. They were originally chess pieces abandoned by the Heavenly Tao, but now the Heavenly Tao seems to have another way. After the Wu clan withdrew from the battle for hegemony in the prehistoric world, the Heavenly Tao tried to persuade the ancestor witches several times but failed, and finally chose to give up and find another force to support. And Dong Wangong's force is undoubtedly the best one, and it is legitimate. Fortunately, I let Hong Jun choose such a discarded piece at the beginning. Now the discarded piece has become a chess piece, which is also something that the Heavenly Tao did not expect. Speaking of which, I also occupied the Penglai Ferry Island of this overseas cultivator. Although I don't care, I still give them some compensation. Looking at the Dong Wangong force, which is not as good as the demon clan now, he casually injected a trace of Tao merit into their luck. As an existence equal to the Tao, some Tao merit can still be created, but it is relatively small. After all, Tao merit is too precious. Even if it was just a trace of the merit of the great Tao, it would be enough to allow the power of the Duke of the East to continue for 10,000 years or even longer, and it would not be so easy to be destroyed by the demons. Although the Duke of the East was much inferior to the demons, if there was the support of the heavenly Tao behind him, the destruction of the demons was inevitable. In order for the human race to dominate the prehistoric world in the future, the heavenly Tao also took care of it. The power created by the Duke of the East was called the Ten Thousand Immortals Alliance, which was enough to show his ambition, and with the help of the Heavenly Tao, he also obtained the formation called the Ten Thousand Immortals Formation. Although this formation was not as good as the Twelve Dutian Gods and Evils formation of the Wu Clan and the Zhou Tian Star formation of the Demon Clan, it was also well known in the prehistoric world. At this time, Shi Chen noticed that there were two familiar people outside his fairy island. It turned out that the two people of Zhuanti Jian had found him here. As time passed in his eyes, he knew why the two knew where he was. It turned out that when Qi Yang and Bai Yue traveled in the prehistoric world, they were taken care of by Zhuanti Jian, so they revealed their whereabouts, which led to the two people visiting now. With the shrewdness of Zhuanti Jian, it was not difficult to guess the relationship between Qi Yang and Bai Yue and themselves when they saw their position in Zixiao Palace and the two boys behind them. The two of them later met the boys under their seats in the prehistoric world, and of course they wanted to make friends. With Junti Jian, two guys who never suffered losses, the two boys also learned a lot in the prehistoric world, and basically did not suffer any losses. Shi Chen himself did not dislike Junti Jian and the two, but admired them quite a lot, so he directly opened the formation and let the two in. Junti Jian and the two went all the way to the East China Sea, and followed the instructions of Qiang and Bai Yue at the beginning. Finally, they came to the vicinity of Penglai Ferry Island, but they never found Shirchen's dojo. Brother, we have come to the shore of the East China Sea according to the instructions of fellow Daoist Qiang at the beginning. Why haven't we found the dojo of the senior yet? Zhuanti looked at Jane and said. It doesn't matter. The senior's dojo must have many restrictions. It's not that easy to find. If the senior doesn't want us to find it, we won't be able to find it even if we look for another 10,000 years. Jie Yin was not in a hurry. He knew that the other party must have found the two of them. If he planned to let the two of them in, he would definitely open the formation. If he didn't want them to come in, the two of them would not be able to find it no matter how hard they looked. At this time, the two suddenly found that the sea water in front of them had changed, and then a huge island emerged. From the outside, one could only vaguely see clouds and mist rolling, cranes flying together, and apes offering fruits. Great, senior brother, it seems that the senior is willing to see us. Juanti was surprised to see this. Junior brother, pay attention, don't leave a bad impression on the senior. Jie Yin quickly reminded Juanti. Senior brother, we were like that in Zixiao Palace, what image do we still have? Juanti rolled his eyes and couldn't help complaining. 
This. Jie In was stunned by his junior brother's self-explosion. How could he forget that this senior was watching from above? Since you are here, come in and have a chat. At this time, Chu Chen's voice came, and the two did not dare to delay and flew into the fairy island. When the two entered the fairy island, they saw Qi Yang and Bai Yu standing in front of a huge palace. Two Taoist friends, the master is waiting for you in the palace, follow us in. Qi Yang smiled at the two people coming over and said to them. In this case, I will trouble you two Taoist friends to lead the way. Junti Jiayin bowed his head and said to the two people. Qi Yang and Bai Yu nodded, then pushed open the palace and led the way in front. Master, Taoist Junti Jiayin has been brought here. The two bowed to Shirchen and said. What do you two little guys want to do here, old ancestor? Shirchen waved his hand, signaling the two boys to leave, and then smiled at Junti Jiayin and the others. Hello, senior. Seeing this, the two bowed to Shirchen first, and then spoke. Senior, we met Taoist Qi Yang and got along well with each other in the prehistoric world. Now we come to visit and visit you by the way. Ha ha ha, you two don't have to be like this. I already know what you did, but thanks to you, the two little guys who have never left the fairy island don't suffer too much. Shirchen smiled when he heard this, but didn't blame them. Senior, please understand. My two brothers have been working hard for the development of the West, so their methods are a bit despicable. Please forgive me. Junti Jain saw that Shirchen didn't blame him, so he was relieved. Alas, I also know about the affairs of the West, but they were left by Hongjuan's battle with Luoho, so the Heavenly Tao will also compensate you. Shirchen sighed softly when he heard this. Compensation? Could it be? Juanti was stunned when he heard this, and then he seemed to think of something. Junior brother, don't talk nonsense. Jane interrupted Juanti's thoughts and asked him to be silent. This is a secret that cannot be spread in a prehistoric world at present, and it cannot be said casually. Although this place is not under the surveillance of the Heavenly Tao, it is not something they can speculate at present. Obviously, the two of them also vaguely guessed about the seats at the beginning, but they could not say it clearly. At the beginning, all the great powers in the prehistoric world had some vague guesses, but no one dared to bring it up. I am afraid that the two of them were able to get two seats at the beginning because of Hongjuan's tacit approval. Thinking of this, Juanti and Jiayin had thousands of thoughts in their minds. Have you ever thought about the outside of the prehistoric world in the future? Shu Chen suddenly spoke at this time. Beyond the great desolation? But that chaos? Junti Jiayin was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at Shirchen and asked. The Great Desolation is just one of the many great worlds. Outside of its chaos, there are countless other worlds. Shirchen explained. What do you mean, senior? Junti Jiayin looked at each other after hearing this, and then looked at Shirchen and said carefully. Chapter, 67 I want you to preach the truth in the heavens. Although the Great Desolation is huge, it is still very small compared to the entire chaos. You don't have to keep staring at the Great Desolation. In the future, I will let you see other worlds. The Great Desolation still needs your protection. Shirchen waved his hand, and countless worlds appeared on the screen, allowing the two to see countless wonderful worlds. Senior, do you mean that we will go to other worlds in the future? Junti Jane asked after hearing this. There are so many worlds, why should we stick to one great desolation? I just want the great desolation to have fewer disasters and calamities. Senior, we understand. The two nodded after hearing this. Then the two chatted with Shirchen for a while and proposed to leave. Take this with you. This is the Earth Vein Bead. It is a magic weapon I made for the broken western land. Although it is a great Tao merit treasure, it has no other abilities, only the ability to repair the world. With this treasure, within 100,000 years, the West will be as prosperous as the East today. Shi Chen threw out an object casually, but it was a great Tao merit treasure, which almost scared the two of them. Innate treasures are already extremely rare, and magic weapons with heavenly merits are even rarer, and this is actually a great Tao merit treasure. Although it only has the ability to repair the world, how big is the prehistoric world? 
Even if it is just a western land, it is infinitely large, larger than some weak worlds, which shows how powerful this treasure is. Thank you for your kindness, senior. On behalf of all sentient beings in the West, thank you for saving the suffering. Junti Jain bowed down directly when he saw this. He was shocked and ecstatic at the same time. Now the Western Earth veins can finally be saved. Go, I'm just for the West, not for you. Shuchen waved his hand. The two of them said no more and turned to leave the Wanxiang Palace. After saying hello to Qiyang and Baiyue, they left here directly and headed west. Everyone, the old Taoist has recently comprehended various Tai Chi techniques and has made some progress. He plans to create a martial arts flourishing era, unify the central plains, and prepare for the world promotion in the future. At this time, Zhang Sanfeng appeared in the chat group and said to everyone in surprise. Recently, Zhang Sanfeng has been comprehending the techniques in the chat group. He is a Taoist himself and has studied the yin and yang of Tai Chi. Now that he has made some progress, he plans to create his own martial arts and take the path of martial arts practice. Congratulations, old man, have you solved the Wudang issue? Tony appeared and asked Zhang Sanfeng. On my 100th birthday, I threatened all the major sects that came to ask me about the whereabouts of my disciples' dragon slaying sword, so that they would not dare to do it again. Not only that, I exchanged medicine in the chat group to cure my third disciple Yudayan, and also made my daughter-in-law and the third disciple reconcile. It is time for me to spread my teachings to the world. Zhang Sanfeng laughed when he heard it. You want the Ming dynasty to come out in advance, which is really a big deal. Zhang Sanfeng wanted to unify the Central Plains, so he must expel the Yuan people now. After all, he is a Central Plains person, and then he will support an emperor. And since history has proved it, just find Zhu Yuanzhang directly. How to operate it depends on what Zhang Sanfeng does. That's right, the old Taoist plans to accept Zhu Yuanzhang as a disciple, and then kill the emperor directly. After supporting Zhu Yuanzhang to the throne, the rest depends on them. The old Taoist only needs to be a guardian god, and there is no need to be the emperor himself. Zhang Sanfeng said his plan. So, old man, are you planning to kill your way into the palace with one sword? Tony was interested. Not only that, I will kill all the barbarians, and there will be no war outside the central plains from now on. Zhang Sanfeng said it firmly, letting everyone see his determination. By the way, I will start a live broadcast for you to see. Don't worry, we will watch it. Everyone responded. Then Zhang Sanfeng summoned the seven sons of Wudang and gathered all the Wudang disciples, planning to go out and clear out the Yuan soldiers. He had already taught his disciples a new skill, and re-strengthened the Wudang formation, the Zhenwu Seven Section Formation. This formation can be performed by at least seven people, exerting a powerful power, and both offensive and defensive. Today's martial arts world has three levels from low to high, third rate, second rate, first rate, master, and Grand Master. Zhang Sanfeng was at the Grand Master level at the beginning, but now he has made another breakthrough and successfully entered the next level. No one in the martial arts world has ever reached this realm, so Zhang Sanfeng gave it a name, the realm of the golden body of martial arts. Because Zhang Sanfeng created his own skills, the next realm of the Grand Master will condense a golden body behind him, so it is called the golden body of martial arts. After possessing the golden body, he can almost fight against 10,000 people and directly sweep away any ordinary soldier. Ordinary swords and weapons can no longer cause harm to him, and his lifespan will be directly increased by a hundred years. Zhang Sanfeng has promoted the new skills to his own Wudang. After unifying the Central Plains, he will spread the martial arts to the world so that everyone can learn it. After all, he always lets his family practice first, and he still knows the principle of one step ahead and all steps ahead. Afterwards, Zhang Sanfeng called all the leaders of the famous sects to Wudang Mountain and told everyone about his plan to unify the Central Plains. Everyone's first reaction was disbelief, thinking that Zhang Sanfeng was crazy. Although they knew that Zhang Sanfeng was powerful, they had never really seen him. Zhang Sanfeng called them here not to ask them to fight desperately with the Yuan soldiers, which was simply impossible. 
he planned to wait until he had dealt with all the Yuan soldiers' masters, and then let them take charge of other armies. Without Zhang Sanfeng's lead, others would not dare to fight against the Yuan soldiers. After talking to all the people from all the sects, he quietly waited for others to speak. Master Zhang, we have discussed it. If you can really defeat the Yuan army, our major sects will be responsible for cleaning up the mess. After all, we are also responsible for our disciples. Master Miju of the Ame sect came out and spoke to Zhang Sanfeng on behalf of the major sects. Because of Guixiang, the Ame sect and the Wudang sect have always had a good relationship, so everyone recommended Master Miju to discuss with Zhang Sanfeng. When Guixiang founded the Ame sect, Zhang Sanfeng was called Zhang Junbao before he became a monk. After that, he changed his name to Zhang Sanfeng after he became a Taoist priest. Guixiang had saved Zhang Sanfeng several times, so he fell in love with this woman, but it was a pity that the flower was willing but the water was ruthless. Guixiang likes Yang Guo. After meeting Yang Guo, she can't accommodate anyone else in her heart. As the saying goes, once you meet Yang Guo, you will be ruined for life. Zhang Sanfeng is the same. After meeting Guixiang, he can't accommodate anyone else in his heart. So after Guixiang established the Amei sect, he established the Wudang sect in Wudang Mountain, which faces Amei. At this time, Zhang Sanfeng saw Master Miju coming out. He has always taken good care of Amei, so he agreed to their plan. Moreover, he didn't expect other sects to make much effort, as long as they didn't hinder him. Chapter 68 Soon after, Zhang Sanfeng walked down Wudang Mountain with a sword and headed for the capital of the Yuan dynasty. His speed was very fast, even a thousand miles a day was considered slow. According to Zhang Sanfeng's idea, if he could break through the next realm, he could walk in the air and take off directly. Not long after, Zhang Sanfeng came all the way to the capital of the Yuan dynasty and was now at the gate of the palace. At this time, Zhang Sanfeng turned on the live broadcast so that everyone could see him. I saw an old man with white hair and immortal style, wearing a Taoist robe and holding a long sword, standing in front of the imperial city. Master, you really look like an old immortal. Everyone looked at Zhang Sanfeng, which fits the description of the immortal cultivator in the Chinese legend. Huh, the old Taoist will show you one today, slashing the imperial city with a sword. Zhang Sanfeng stroked his beard with his hand and smiled at everyone in the live broadcast room. Stop, the palace is a very important place, what are you doing here, a Taoist priest? The guards at the gate of the palace were not blind, and a group of people came over and surrounded Zhang Sanfeng. There was no way, whoever dared to come to the gate of the palace with a sword would be caught and interrogated. Zhang Sanfeng did not answer, and directly used the martial arts golden body. In an instant, a blurred image of a golden Taoist appeared behind him. The Taoist was like Zhang Sanfeng, with white hair and beard, wearing a Taoist robe, and holding a Tai Chi sword. Then Zhang Sanfeng raised his sword with his right hand, and the golden shadow behind him also raised his sword. As Zhang Sanfeng slashed the sword towards the imperial city, a huge golden sword light appeared, instantly cutting the entire imperial city in half. This, this, this. Spare my life, old immortal. Spare my life. Seeing this, the soldiers were so scared that they knelt down and begged for mercy. When had they ever seen such a terrible scene? If this wasn't a fairy descending to the earth, what else could it be? Zhang Sanfeng ignored the soldiers and flew to the emperor. At this time, the palace was in chaos, and all kinds of eunuchs and palace maids were running around, busy as hell. I am Wudang Zhang Sanfeng. I am here to kill the emperor. Anyone who doesn't want to die should leave on their own. From now on, there will be no Yuan dynasty in the world. Zhang Sanfeng used his power to raise his breath, and his voice spread throughout the palace. Seeing this, the guards in the palace quickly surrounded them, but looking at the huge gully that was three or four meters wide and hundreds of meters long, no one dared to step forward. Is the Yuan emperor here? Zhang Sanfeng asked the people who surrounded him. That. That. The emperor. Has been. Chopped to death by you with a sword. At this time, a person responded tremblingly. Ah. Uh. 
Jean Sanfong trembled when he heard this. He hadn't gone to kill the emperor yet, but he was chopped to death by his sword. In this case, Jean Sanfong didn't say anything more. He asked the guards in the palace to manage the eunuchs and palace maids, and waited for him to send someone to make arrangements, and then he went out directly. He was not afraid that they would not obey his orders. After seeing his sword, no one dared to disobey. After that, Jean Sanfong found the residences of various court officials and killed all the officials who were not Han Chinese. Those who could be high officials in this dynasty were basically impossible to be Han Chinese, and few Han Chinese would be fully trusted by them. So he only killed a few Mongolian officials, which had little impact on the rule below. When the officials returned to their positions, everything would be as it should be. After cleaning up all the Mongolian high officials, Zhang Sanfeng quickly came to Wudang Mountain and asked all Wudang disciples to help with temporary governance, and then slowly select officials later. After that, he sent letters to various major sects, asking them to send people to help manage the court and fight against various supporting troops. Of course, it could only be temporary, and he would not give others the opportunity to make trouble again. Now the most important thing is to go to the Mongolian camp outside the central plains, where there are more Mongolian soldiers. I need to eliminate them all, so that I won't have any worries. Although there are troops in the imperial city in major cities, there are also people from major sects, and my disciples are now very strong. Hundreds of people form a formation, which can completely fight against tens of thousands of troops. With the help of his own Wudang disciples, the major sects are simply killing gods when facing a group of troops. They have almost lost few people and have recovered the troops of all parties. At this time, Zhang Sanfeng has also come to the vast grassland. The major tribes on the grassland have also known the news that the emperor of the Yuan dynasty was killed. They are gathering troops and intend to launch an attack on the central plains. The major generals gathered 300,000 troops on the grassland and prepared to attack the central plains again, but they met an old Taoist priest with a Taoist bone on the way. It was Zhang Sanfeng who had already rushed to the grassland. The Mongolian generals present did not know Zhang Sanfeng, but some of them came from the capital, knowing that it was because of Zhang Sanfeng that the entire Yuan dynasty was in chaos. Following the leader's order, a group of Mongolian cavalry rushed towards Zhang Sanfeng. Even if the visitor talked about Zhang Sanfeng's great power, no one would believe it. How could someone's martial arts reach this level? They never believed in immortals and gods, only martial arts was everything. Zhang Sanfeng was not polite when he saw this. He used the martial arts golden body, and then used the earth-shaking sword, instantly splitting the entire Mongolian army in half, and all the war horses fell to the ground in shock. After that, Zhang Sanfeng did not stop, and directly raised his sword and went forward. One person and one sword, one person fell to the ground, but no one could hurt him at all. This battle lasted for several hours, killing the entire Mongolian army. No one dared to attack him anymore. His originally grey Taoist robe was stained with blood. Afterwards, Zhang Sanfeng moved deeper into the grassland again. Wherever he went, he killed all the young and strong men, leaving behind a group of old, weak, women and children to fend for themselves. For this kind of nomadic people, the old, weak, women and children can fight on horseback, but he couldn't commit genocide, so he left some of them. If he didn't kill them to the point of being scared, they might invade the central plains again in the future. He didn't want to come and kill them again. As Zhang Sanfeng walked out of the grassland, not only the Mongolian army, but also some surrounding races that intended to invade the central plains were cleared out by him. With Zhang Sanfeng's feet this time, the legend of this killing god has been circulating on the grassland, making countless races living here dare not invade the central plains for thousands of years. But they will have no chance in the future. Zhang Sanfeng will spread his military power throughout the world. As long as he is there, no one will dare to invade. The Taoist priest has made up his mind this time. His robe has turned red. Everyone looked at Zhang Sanfeng's robe, which was the most direct manifestation. After this incident, everyone also knew that this old Taoist priest also had murderous intentions and was not so kind. When Zhang Sanfeng returned to the central plains and summoned the major sects again, everyone looked at the robes that were not colored except blood. 
They were shocked at how many people he had killed, and they dared not think about anything else. Everyone present was Zhang Sanfeng's junior, so how could he not know their little intentions? The reason why Zhang Sanfeng summoned everyone without changing his clothes was to shock them. As Zhang Sanfeng's orders were passed down, everyone hurried down to execute them. After that, Zhang Sanfeng issued a shocking news to everyone, which was to appoint Zhu Yuanzhang as the new emperor and change the country's name to Ming. It was reasonable to change the country's name, but the appointment of a young man made everyone confused. Chapter 69 At this time, Zhu Yuanzhang was still very young. He had been begging for a living before. Not long ago, he was found by Zhang Sanfeng and accepted as a disciple. No one knew that it was this unattractive or somewhat ugly man who established the powerful Ming dynasty in the original history. Zhu Yuanzhang was the only founding emperor in history who came from a grassroots background and truly started from scratch. And the Ming dynasty's saying that the emperor guards the country and the king dies for the country made Zhang Sanfeng quite admired, so he directly appointed him to continue to be the emperor. Although there was less training, he believed that the other party could be a good emperor. After all, the future is a country of martial arts, and the significance of the emperor will become less and less. As long as he keeps creating, it will not be a problem to live for thousands of years in the future. With a country that he protects, he will definitely not be afraid of any enemies and unrest. He has this confidence. Not long after, after some preparation, Zhu Yuanzhang officially held the enthronement ceremony. After he ascended the throne, he immediately issued an imperial decree to confer Zhang Sanfeng as the national master of the country. Everyone saw Zhang Sanfeng as if they saw themselves in person. In fact, Zhang Sanfeng does not lack this title. It is obvious that everyone is more afraid of Zhang Sanfeng than the young emperor. However, with this title, Zhang Sanfeng can do anything legitimate in the future. Ding, welcome new members, the first emperor and Lufa, to join the chat group. Everyone originally saw Zhang Sanfeng successfully overthrow the Yuan dynasty and led Zhu Yuanzhang to establish the Ming dynasty, and wanted to congratulate him. At this time, there was a new member joining the group. Welcome newcomers, come and report your identity. Conan, who has been in the group for many years, appeared first and said to the two. The first emperor, where is this place? Why is there someone talking in my mind? Is it the legendary immortal? Lufa, chat group. Who else in the Milky Way can talk in my mind? King Pierre, it is impossible to find me so quickly. You too, you can take a look at the information in your mind first, and then come to talk to us. Someone reminded them that every time a new person joins the group, they must say something. Soon, both of them understood where they were. At this time, in a luxurious palace, a middle-aged man in a gorgeous dragon robe was reviewing memorials, and suddenly his eyes lit up. Is this a place that can connect the heavens and the worlds? My name is Ying Zheng, is there a way to make me immortal? Ying Zheng's eyes lit up at this time, looking at everyone in the group and asked. Ying Zheng. Isn't that the first emperor of the Qin dynasty? Zhang Sanfeng saw Ying Zheng talking, and he understood something in his heart. I know, this is the first emperor in Chinese history. Tony also suddenly appeared and said. Ding, group member Zhang Sanfeng uploaded the history of the Qin dynasty, and the destiny space has been generated, and the group points are rewarded with 1000 points. Originally, Tony was thinking about uploading the history, but he didn't expect to be preempted by Zhang Sanfeng. Zhang Sanfeng originally lived from the end of the Song dynasty to the beginning of the Ming dynasty, and he was also familiar with the Qin dynasty. For them, Taoists, it is very important to know history. At this time, Ying Zheng suddenly saw his own destiny, and hurriedly thanked everyone, and went directly to see his own destiny. Lu Fa has not spoken since receiving the message from the chat group. He has fought for many years and reached a high position, so he should be vigilant. At this time, he found that he could watch other people's destiny space, so he went in and took a look to understand everyone's personality characteristics so that he could plan for himself. Why doesn't the other newcomer speak? Do you know where he is from? Tony didn't grab Ying Zheng's destiny space, so he looked at Lufa and asked everyone. But it was obvious that everyone didn't know, so they had to turn their eyes to Shurchen. 
Ding, group leader Shurchen uploaded Armor Hero, and the Destiny space has been generated, and the group points are rewarded with 1000 points. At this time, Lufa also finished reading other people's Destiny spaces and had a general understanding of this place. He didn't expect that there would be such a powerful person here, and there were all kinds of weak existences, which opened his eyes. At this time, he saw the legendary group leader uploaded his own destiny space and looked over quickly. Armor hero, it sounds like a technological world, but I don't know which one is more powerful than my Iron Man suit. At this time, Tony was on the top floor of his building, holding a red wine in one hand while checking the content of the chat group. As for the two new people, he was not interested in one of the emperors, who was just a historical figure, but he was more interested in the other one who seemed to be related to technology. Soon, Lufa finished reading his own destiny, and he was a little helpless about his own ending in destiny. He once existed to protect the Milky Way, but he was framed by the villain King Pier, who sentenced him and his twenty-four subordinates to the three extreme crimes of greed, anger, and stupidity. He was greedy, angry, and stupid, which made him and his subordinates become the demon-faced demons and ghosts who are neither human nor ghost. At this time, he had just led his men to escape from Ares. They stole the Shura armor, the treasure of Ares, and the Ginchi Vajra, the highest technological crystal in the Milky Way. Originally, he planned to carry out the energy crystal seizure plan of the planet according to his destiny space, but now he does not need this plan that is doomed to fail. After seeing the fate of others, he also knew that everyone here was on the side of justice. He showed them the fate space and let them know that they were the ultimate villain. He was probably not going to have an easy time, but others would also know it. In order to personally avenge King Pier in the future, he decided to regain his justice. Thinking of this, he opened his destiny space to everyone. At this time, everyone had also read Ng Zhang's destiny space, and many people had some understanding of this, so there was nothing to see. Everyone was most looking forward to Lufa's destiny space. Everyone, I have read your destiny space and have some understanding of this place. I hope you will read my destiny space and don't have any targeting against me. That is just my future self. Lufa first explained to everyone a little bit, and then opened his destiny space. With his personality, he didn't really want to explain to everyone, but there were too many people here who were stronger than him, so he had to do it from his heart. Lufa's current realm is only the third level, but if he can summon armor, he can be promoted to the fourth level. He was the first summoner of Xingtian armor. Now he fled from Ares Star and only took Shura armor and Ginchi Vitra. Shura armor is different from other armor. Only when you have the strongest righteousness or the strongest evil can you use it. Everyone listened to Lufa's words and entered Lufa's destiny space with a hint of doubt. Soon, everyone finished reading Lufa's destiny. This is really a tragic character. Tony looked at Lufa and felt quite emotional. Although you are a villain, I feel that we have similarities. Now you can change your destiny. Achiha Madara appeared and said. Although he can be called a villain in his own world, he is not as vicious as Lufa in the end, but the initial dreams of the two are still similar. One is for the peace of the ninja world, and the other is to protect the peace of the Milky Way. However, the injustice Lufa suffered along the way forced him to become a big villain. Group leader, I hope you can help me and my subordinates to purify the three extreme sins of greed, anger and ignorance in us. If we keep carrying these three extreme sins, we will eventually be swallowed by evil. Lufa looked at Shurchen at this time, hoping that the other party could help him. Chapter, 70 This is very simple. Shurchen nodded when he heard it, and then Lufa, who was far away in countless worlds, discovered the changes in himself. The body that was originally a ghost demon gradually changed and gradually turned back to its original appearance close to humans. At this time, the subordinates on the Afas also discovered the changes in themselves, which surprised everyone and they hurriedly found Lufa. General, the three extreme sins on us seem to be gone. As the three captains under Lufa, Amis, Chao Shifei, and Kyufans found Lufa directly. I know about this. I know an adult who purified the three extreme sins that King Pier blessed us with. We don't have to be neither human nor ghost. Lufa smiled at the three people. 
the people present were all his most loyal subordinates, and Amos was his biological son, but no one knew it and just thought he was his adopted son. This matter must not be spread outside. You and the people below can just find a reason to explain it. Lufa thought about it and reminded the three people. Yes, General. The three nodded when they heard this. The General's affairs were not something they could speculate on. General, should we still follow the original plan to seize the planetary energy crystals? And Maisu suddenly asked at this time. And Maisu is different from Lufa. Even if he turns into a ghost demon, he is also kind hearted. In the original plot, he helped Li Haokin several times and became good friends with him. When Lufa decided to destroy the earth in the end, he stood up to stop him and was eventually killed by Emperor Yen. Looking at his son, Lufa was filled with emotion. Before, he was affected by the three sins of greed, anger, and ignorance, and his original heart of justice was gradually affected, while his son always maintained a kind heart and was always ignored by him. There are many ways to seek revenge on King Pier. The other party will be driven out of power for corruption in a thousand years. At that time, his revenge will be very simple, but he does not want to do this. He wants to take revenge himself. Originally, he planned to obtain more than half of the energy crystals in the entire Milky Way, and then he would be able to rule the Milky Way, but now he can't do this. More than a thousand years is not a long time for them. Now they can find a planet to practice for more than a thousand years, and then go to King Pier to seek revenge. Thinking of this, Lufa looked at Amos and said, No need, let's go directly to the solar system. Solar system? General, what are we going there for? Amos was puzzled. To find a planet called Blue and White Star Earth. Lufa said casually. Yes, General. The three of them didn't say much and turned around to go back. Wait a minute, let's go to Shadow Star first. Lufa thought about it and suddenly said. Shadow Star. Amos was puzzled when he heard it. It was an uninhabited planet before, but it was occupied by some guys from the Dark Universe, so it was named Shadow Star. The guys in the Dark Universe are not easy to provoke. Their leader, Shadow Emperor, and the leader of the Bright World of the Bright Universe, Emperor Xia, have been fighting each other for thousands of years, which shows how powerful they are. Although King Pier is the ruler of the Milky Way, he can only bow down when facing the Bright World. This is mainly because of the existence of the Emperor Armor, which represents the Heavenly Tao and can travel through other universes. It is the incarnation of the Heavenly Tao. The fact that the Shadow Emperor has been able to fight against it for so many years shows the strength of the other party. It is probably not a wise move for me and others to provoke them. It doesn't matter. The Shadow Star is just a transit station for them to attack the Blue and White Star. I am still looking forward to the legendary Heavenly Tao armor. We will have a chance to meet them in the future. Lufa knew that even if he and others had the Shura armor and the Ginchi Vitra, they could not fight against King Pierre. Amis and others have only heard of the supernatural beasts and have not fought with them, but the reputation of the Emperor armor has been heard in all universes. Lufa, who knows all the plots, is even more aware of its power. In fact, King Pierre is not that strong, but the seven legions under his command are too strong. Even if his netherworld legion defected, it would not be his opponent. What he wants now is to wash away his grievances. The stronger Shadow Emperor was not someone he could fight against at the moment, but since he had decided to join the light camp, he had to show his attitude and not be easily killed by the Emperor armor. Seeing that Lufa had made up his mind, the others stopped talking and returned to their respective teams after saluting. With the powerful ability of the Alpha's spacecraft, it would not take long to reach the Blue and White Star even if it was 70,000 light years away. And the Shadow Star was a planet not far from the Earth, and he and his companions would be able to reach it soon. After a while, Lufa's spacecraft arrived outside the Shadow Star. Looking at the gloomy planet, Lufa did not intend to go down. If he understood correctly, there should be no supernatural beasts on the Shadow Star at this time. They should have ambushed on the Earth at this time. Turning on the detection device on the spacecraft, he quickly found out the situation on the Shadow Star. There was not even a single supernatural beast here. 
he ordered his men to turn on the ion cannon and blast it directly at the shadow star below. In an instant, a planet turned into ashes, leaving only a planet energy crystal. Lufa put away the planet energy crystal and ordered his men to move towards the Earth. Although he no longer wanted to collect energy crystals, this thing was also a collection of energy from a planet, and it was a very precious thing. It was good to have it in his hands. Soon, a group of troops came to the sky above the Earth, and the Afas landed directly on the Earth, and then Lufa led everyone to hide. At this time, he came to the Earth a few hundred years earlier than the original plot. After all, he did not spend time collecting energy crystals, so he had not been discovered by King Pierre's men. General, what are we going to do next? The three captains came to Lufa again and asked him. You go find a place as our base. We will come out again after a thousand years. I will teach you a new method of cultivation. Then we will return to Ares together and overthrow King Pierre's rule. Lufa thought about it and said to everyone. He had his considerations for coming to the earth. After a thousand years, people from the dark universe will come here, and then he will want to collect the data of the emperor armor. For this legendary heavenly armor, he has longed for it for a long time. Although the Shura armor in his hand is very strong, it is not enough to face the emperor armor. He doesn't dare to ask for the real emperor armor at present, but if he can collect the data of emperor armor, he will have the hope to upgrade Shura armor. Shura armor is only the special armor of Emperor Yen. He can be defeated by the army led by himself, which is enough to prove that this armor is not the strongest. As for Xingtian armor, it is just a set of armor mass-produced on Ares. Although it can be upgraded, it is extremely difficult and it is still a little short of Shura armor. The upper limit of armor is actually similar. Everything depends on the summoner's will. In theory, even Xingtian armor can be upgraded to the level of Emperor armor. However, the lower limit of armor is different. As long as you can wear Emperor armor, even if it is the upgraded Xingtian armor, a novice Emperor armor summoner can also fight with the opponent on equal terms, but whether you can win depends on the will of both parties. At this time, while Lufa was looking for the location of the base, he began to look for a method suitable for his own cultivation in the chat group. He wanted to defeat King Pier after more than a thousand years. With his original resources, there was no way unless he collected planetary energy crystals. Now, he has the supply of the heavens and the worlds, and there is always a method suitable for him. And every new member who joins the group has a chance to choose a method for free, which is very powerful. Many things he has never heard of opened his eyes. Chapter 71 Lufa carefully looked at the exercises related to improving mental ability, which was the most important to him. Imagination can be understood as a kind of spiritual energy, just like the divine thoughts in the novels about cultivating immortals. The stronger the intention, the stronger the armor summoned. And with strong mental energy, you can achieve various incredible abilities, such as flying, escaping from the ground, teleportation, moving objects through the air, etc. Not only that, with Lufa's current willpower, he can transfer and hide his body into any object at will, even in the air mentioned by Gorfa in the original drama. The five elements heavenly evolution technique seems to be the most suitable method for me to practice my mental energy at present. It can absorb the five elements of energy in the universe. My current mental energy cultivation speed can be even faster if it is added to it. It enhances the energy of the mind and has the attributes of the five elements, transforming the righteousness of the summoned Shura armor into the energy of the five elements. Lu Fa quickly found a skill that gave him the power of the five elements. If my five elements intention can be improved to a strong enough level, I may even have the opportunity to use the emperor's armor. This is the main reason why Lufa decided to use this technique. He was obsessed with the emperor's armor. The Emperor's armor possesses the five elements of light energy, and this energy is later reflected in the blood of the five elements village. Therefore, in the end, the five armored warriors can merge into the Emperor's man. This is also related to their mutual trust and the strength of their willpower. At the same time, somewhere in the solar system not far from the Earth, three spacecraft teams are patrolling here. Today's Earth is under the rule of Ares and part of the Milky Way. In their eyes, it is called the blue and white star. At this time, 
the Shinkin team is patrolling the solar system, which is a task they often complete. The original plot was that when the Shinkian team was patrolling, they discovered that the life energy crystals of the nearby planets had disappeared. They finally found Lufa and fought on the Earth, and everyone died together. Captain, when we pass by the blue and white star later, can we stop by and eat the delicacies there? The delicacies of the alien planet make me miss it so much. On the Thunder Colt, the King Kong armor said to Xing Tian. A few people often patrol here, so they have come to Earth to eat many times. The other two are not interested in it, but King Kong likes the food here very much. We'll wait until we finish our patrol mission first. Blue and White Star is the last stop. If we have enough time after patrolling the solar system, we can allow you to eat some. The voice of Xingqian Armor Gorfa came from the fire horse, and his tone was quite for helplessness. The technology of the Ares planet is extremely advanced, so their communication is intentional, and they can hear each other even in a vacuum. Not only that, they can also recognize the languages of other planets and convert them directly into the language they understand. Captain, there seems to be something going on. There is a high-intensity unknown energy reaction on the blue and white star. At this time, Fei Ying's voice came, making Xingtian quickly look at the Earth. We rushed to the blue and white star as soon as possible. Considering the life science and technology there, there is a gap of more than 2,000 years from the energy reaction we detected. It is impossible for such a high energy reaction to occur. It seems that there is something we don't know about. It happened. After hearing this, Gorfa checked it and then ordered to the two of them. Receive. Fei Ying and King Kong responded immediately after hearing the words, and then drove the aircraft to the Earth together. Soon, the three of them landed near the energy reaction area. When they looked up, a huge spaceship appeared in front of them. It was Lufa's Alphas. Captain, this seems to be the Alpha spacecraft that General Lufa and the others robbed when they defected. So General Lufa is on the blue and white star. Fei Ying looked at the spaceship in the distance and said to Xing Tian. Yes, it seems that we need to be more careful. We don't know their purpose yet. We are mainly focusing on investigation at the moment and try not to confront them head on. If that doesn't work, we will call in other armor teams to arrest them. Looking at the huge spaceship, they were reminded to be careful. Let me see who this is. It turns out to be our Xingtian armor team. What, are you here to take us back? At this time, a voice came from behind the three of them, making the three of them immediately startled. Turning around, I didn't expect that it was Amishio, Kusi, and Xiao Shifei. At this time, the three of them were looking at Xingtian's team with a playful look on their faces. Although they no longer have armor, the current Xingtian team was also trained by them, and they are not afraid of the three members of the Xingtian team. Captain. Is it really you? King Kong was a little excited when he saw this. After all, they were his seniors. Three seniors, why did you come to Blue and White Star? This is not the place you should come to. Xing Tian is the captain after all, and he is relatively calm when facing the three of them. What happens to us is beyond your control. Why, you also want to reprimand us? Xiao Shifei smiled when he heard this, and then asked Xing Tian. I dare not, but three captains, your nether troops have been issued a second level seal arrest order by King Peel. We need to arrest you and bring you to justice. Xing Tian said firmly when he saw this. Even if the other party is his former senior, since he betrayed his motherland, he needs to accept legal sanctions. As members of the Xingtian team, they did not know what was going on between King Pierre and Lufa, but what they had to do was to faithfully execute King Pierre's orders and go all out to capture Lufa and others. It seems that you have really forgotten our teachings. You dare to talk to us like this. Let me teach you a lesson. Seeing this, Kofensi was furious and was about to go forward to fight with Xingtian and the others. Kufens, don't be impulsive. Don't forget what the general warned us. Since the three extreme sins on us have disappeared, sooner or later we will kill back. Don't ruin the general's plan. Seeing this, Amos grabbed Kofensi who wanted to fight and used the road method to suppress him. Damn it, if it weren't for the general, I would definitely teach you a lesson. 
Kofensi clenched his fist and said angrily to the three people. The development of this situation made the three people of Xingtian on the opposite side stunned. Why did they feel that they didn't shout and kill right away? It was a pity that they had been on guard for so long. Let's go. The general has something to find you. Amis calmed Kofensi, and then said to Xingtian and the other two. After that, he led the way directly in front. Kofensi and Xiao Shifei had no choice but to follow. General, looking for us? Xing Tian was stunned when he heard this. There was no other way at the moment, so he could only follow and see. Several people quickly came to where Lufa was, and then Amis and others stopped and waited quietly for Lufa to speak. General, why did you defect to Ares? Xing Tian's team saw Lufa appear and couldn't help asking him. This was something they had never known. As a great hero of Ares, Lufa has always been loved by the people, but this time, the news of their defection suddenly spread, making everyone guess. Gorfa, you are here. Lufa looked at the three people in front of him, feeling a little emotional. These three people used to be his subordinates, and they were even trained by his subordinates personally. Now he has become a stray dog, but they represent the law enforcement team. Chapter 72 Give me your armor data, and I won't pursue you. Lu Fa looked at the Xingtian team in front of him and said to the three people. Impossible, you are now a wanted criminal in the entire galaxy, and you are no longer qualified to wear armor. Even if we die for our country today, we will never give you the armor. Xingtian was shocked when he heard this, and said without thinking. The three extreme sins of greed, anger, and ignorance are gone now. Doesn't this explain the matter? Lufa smiled when he heard this, and asked the three people in return. General, what happened? King Kong couldn't help asking, he still didn't know why the general defected. Gorfa, you can use the armor to go back a thousand years later, I can let you see whether we are good or evil. Lufa thought about it, and still patiently said to Xingtian. This. Xingtian was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at his two teammates and nodded. Energy boost, target 1200 years later. As he said this, Xingtian directly used the armor summoner on his waist, and his mind energy instantly went to more than a thousand years later. The next second, Xing Tian returned directly to the present. Nodding to his two companions, Xing Tian looked at Lu Fei with complicated eyes. General, it seems that we misunderstood you. I have seen things more than a thousand years later. Our enemies are not you. Xing Tian said slowly to Lu Fa. Oh. What did you see? Lu Fa was stunned when he heard this. He didn't know what other enemies this guy saw. It's a group of guys from the Dark Universe, and other armor summoners. Xing Tian thought for a while and said. Interesting. Lu Fa nodded when he heard this. However, there is one thing I can't see at all. The things about General Lu Fei seem to be deliberately blocked by something. Xing Tian continued. Blocked, could it be? Lu Fei was stunned when he heard this, and then he seemed to think of something, that is, what happened to him recently. That being said, I saw the predecessors fighting against a group of evil enemies, and a pair of eyes found me when I traveled through time and space. Xing Tian's words shocked everyone. Someone can actually see the energy that came a thousand years ago, and the other party looked directly at him. Fortunately, the other party had no ill intentions, otherwise something unpredictable might happen. It must be a powerful existence in the universe. Xing Tian had never heard of such a powerful existence, but it made him feel familiar. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but look up at Lu Fei. So that's it, I understand. General, although I don't know what happened to you, I can trust you. I will transfer the armor data to you now. Xing Tian suddenly said at this time. Captain, what's going on? Fei Ying and King Kong were shocked and they heard the words. The captain was the most stable among the three of them, so they have always been very obedient to the captain's decision, but now they suddenly acted to help the enemy, which made them very confused. Brothers, do you believe me? If you believe me, give the armored data to the general. Xing Tian looked at the two of them and said seriously. I understand, we are a team. 
Without you, the captain, I'm afraid I would have died long ago. Fei Ying was stunned when he heard the words, and then smiled at Xing Tian. Alas, I'm stupid. Since you all said so, I have nothing to hesitate about. King Kong touched his head and said a little silly. He never likes to use his brain, just listen to his teammates, but he also has his own judgment. Since both of them choose to do this, they must have their reasons, so he doesn't need to be serious. Captain, we will transmit the armor data to you now. Xing Tian nodded and looked at Lu Fei. No problem, we didn't train you in vain. Lu Fei smiled and said. After a long time, Lu Fei collected all the armor data and looked at the Xing Tian team. I hope that we don't tell King Pierre about our affairs on the Blue and White Star. I can tell you clearly that he will be driven out of power in more than a thousand years. At this time, Lu Fei looked at the Xing Tian team and said. General, what do you mean by this? Are you going to overthrow King Pierre's rule? Fei Ying was shocked when he heard the words, and hurriedly asked Lu Fei. Ha, huh, if it were me, he would only die. Lu Fei sneered when he heard the words. We understand, don't worry, General, we won't leak your information. Xing Tian nodded when he heard the words, as if he understood something. Given Lu Fa's relationship with King Pier, something must have happened between them, but it's not something that a mere armor team can understand. General, we will leave a set of armor here, hoping to help you a thousand years later. Xing Tian said at this time. No, come again after a hundred years, and I will give you a new armor summoner. Then you can find suitable secret practitioners, hidden practitioners, and magic practitioners, and let them pass on the armor. Lufa shook his head when he heard this. He could use his own office spacecraft to produce it. After all, it's just a set of mass-produced armor, and his own spacecraft can be made by himself. Otherwise, what do you think such a large spacecraft is for? Can it only transform into a robot? I understand. In this case, General, we will come again in a hundred years. Xing Tian nodded when he heard this, and then prepared to leave. Gorfa, why did you come here without even saying hello to your senior sister? At this time, a woman came over, it was Kara. In the original plot, Kula possessed the body of Yuzu's ancestor, causing her family to suffer for a thousand years, but now the three extreme sins in her body have disappeared, so she has also restored her kind nature. Although not every former member of the Netherworld army was kind, they all obeyed orders. After being sentenced to the three sins of greed, anger, and ignorance, they only magnified the sins in their hearts infinitely, so they appeared directly as Netherworld demons. Sorry, senior sister, we just finished talking to the general and were about to continue patrolling. I forgot that senior sister was still here. Gorfa was stunned when he heard the words, and then saw Kula in front of him. When he joined Lufa's army, he was the worst among all people. No one was optimistic about him. Only Kula, as a senior sister, had been patiently teaching him, so that he could now be the captain of the Shintian team. So in the original plot, all the netherworld demons were destroyed, and only Kula was spared by him, which eventually led to a thousand years of suffering for the Tibetan cultivators. You are no longer the young boy you were before. You even dared to attack us. I will teach you a lesson next time you come. Kula even took out his weapon and gestured twice. That. Senior sister, we will leave first. We will come back in a hundred years. Seeing this, Xing Tian did not dare to stay and led the two of them to leave the earth directly. If they were still nether demons, he could issue a seal arrest order against them. But now the three extreme sins on Lufa's troops are gone, and they will be needed to fight against the darkness in the future. For the stability of the Milky Way, he had to choose to cooperate with Lufa. Kula, don't tease this kid anymore. You don't have armor now, and you can't get any benefits when facing them. Lufa shook his head and said to Kula. General, I just haven't seen them for a long time, so I'm a little happy. Next time, I won't dare to do it. Kula said hurriedly after hearing this. No need to do that, let's go, let's make the armor first. Lufa shook his head and took a few people to the location of the spaceship. Chapter, 73 100 years later, Xintian's team came back again, 
brought a set of armor summoners from Lufa, and found the inheritance of three people as secret cultivators, Tibetan cultivators, and magic cultivators. Although Lufa has been here for a long time, the chat group has not passed for a few days. Recently, Ying Zheng has been practicing the Luck Dynasty method that he got in the chat group. He plans to use his own great qin as the foundation to practice the Luck Dynasty, one step at a time one step leads to eternal life. As for the history he had seen before, he believed that as long as he was alive, Zhao Gao and Hu Hai would not dare to cause trouble. If he died unexpectedly one day, someone would secretly execute Zhao Gao. Without Zhao Gao's support, Hu Hai was not a threat. It was just that the young master Fusu was a bit too dull and had a study-obsessed temperament, which made him quite helpless. The first emperor is a bit fast. We have only been in the chat group for a few days, and you have already reached the peak of the first level. Conan couldn't help but sigh when he saw another person who was about to surpass him. Ying Zhang was originally just an ordinary person. He knew some self-defense skills, but he was not outstanding in other aspects. But now, not long after, he has reached the peak of the first level, and soon entered the second level and surpassed Conan. He should be the one with the slowest progress in cultivation. Everyone is joking. I only have the support of one country. Except for the remnants of the six countries, no one in the country will resist my will. With the power of one country to help me, my cultivation progress is still very good. Ying Zheng is not here. Dare to call yourself me, after all, anyone is better than me. After looking at the time for a while, he returned directly to his original body. At this time, Hong Jun was giving his third sermon in the wilderness. Shi Chen only went there once when Hong Jun preached for the first time, and his children went to listen to other sermons. After all, it was of no use to him. The third sermon was about the realm between a quasi-sage and a saint, and his method of killing three corpses to attain enlightenment was also spread throughout the prehistoric world. The so-called method of killing three corpses requires the use of three magic weapons, placing one's own three corpses on them, and then cutting out a clone. The three corpses are divided into the corpse of good thoughts, the corpse of evil thoughts and the corpse of the self. If the three corpses are successfully combined into one, one can achieve the pinnacle of quasi-sage, and then refine the foundation of the great road, the Hongmeng Purple Qi, and one can become a saint. It sounds wonderful, but it requires the most critical Hongmeng Purple Qi. Thousands of years later, Hong Jun finished his third sermon, and then accepted San Qing and Niuwa as his disciples. Zhuanti would definitely betray Taoism in the future, so he had to be accepted as a registered disciple. Then, he told everyone about the Hongmeng Purple Qi necessary for becoming a saint. After hearing this, everyone quickly asked Hong Jun, I hope the teacher will take pity on us and grant us Hongmeng Purple Qi. Seeing this, Hong Jun seemed to be thinking, and then directly handed three rays of Hongmeng Purple Qi to San Qing. The three pure ones are transformed by the Yuanchen of Pangu, and possess the merits of opening up the heavens, so they can obtain the Hongmeng Purple Qi. Thank you, teacher. Sanqing quickly put away the Hongmeng Purple Qi and thanked Hong Jun. When the remaining people saw that Hong Jun really had Hongmeng Purple Qi, they quickly looked at Hong Jun eagerly. Niu Hua will have great good fortune in the future, and she will receive a ray of Hongmeng Purple Qi. After saying this, she handed over a ray of Hongmeng Purple Qi to Niu Hua again. Thank you, teacher. Niu Hua was so excited when she saw this, she quickly thanked Hong Jun. Then, as if he didn't see anyone else, Hong Jun began to close his eyes and rest. Zhuanti was a little anxious when he saw this. How come they all have seats? Everyone else has Hongmeng Purple Qi, but they are the only two brothers who don't. Are they looking down on us in the West? Thinking of this, the two of them knelt down in front of Hong Jun and cried loudly, Please also ask the teacher to read me the Western Baroness and grant me the Hongmeng Purple Qi. Oh, that's all, I'll tell you about these two rays of Hongmeng Purple Qi. As if he felt a little sorry for them, Hong Jun sighed softly and handed the two rays of Hongmeng Purple Qi to Zhuanti. Seeing that he could still be like this, the others lost face for a moment and cried to Hong Jun. Okay, how can you behave like this? There is still one last burst of Hongmeng Purple Qi, let's give it to Hong Yun. With that said, 
he directly injected the Hongmeng purple qi into Hong Yin's body. Hong Yin was quite happy looking at the Hongmeng purple qi, but he didn't know that this was a matter of life and death for him. Seeing that there was no more Hongmeng purple qi, everyone unanimously looked at Hong Yin. This guy was not the disciple of Dao ancestor. If he was killed, would he be able to get the Hongmeng purple qi? Teacher, although we have the Hongmeng purple qi, we don't have a few magic weapons at our disposal. Please give me a few. Tai Ching suddenly requested at this time. Forget it, I'll leave this Tai Chi diagram to you. With that said, he handed the innate treasure Tai Chi diagram directly to Tai Ching. Later, Pangu Banner was given to Yuan Shi Tianzuan. When the master of Tong Tian came, he took out the four swords and formation of the demon ancestor Luahu. This was refined by the demon ancestor Rahu back then. Although it cannot suppress luck, once you become a saint and set up this sword array, it cannot be broken except by the power of the four saints. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. Although this formation was only a top quality innate spiritual treasure and could not suppress luck, it was so powerful that it could not be broken except by the power of the four saints. Then he gave Nuwa a red hydrangea and a map of mountains and rivers, and Zhuanti received the golden lotus of twelve grades of merit and the eight treasures merit pool. After distributing the good things to several of his disciples, he then said directly, There are some spiritual treasures that I have collected in the past on the Fenbao cliff outside Zixiao Palace. You all will depend on your chance. I will join the Tao here, from now on, Hongjun is the way of heaven, but the way of heaven is not Hongjun, and he will not be able to escape unless there is a great calamity of heaven and earth. After saying that, Hongjun closed his eyes directly, and everyone knew that he was going to drive people away. Without time to think, everyone rushed to the treasure dividing cliff. After a long time, Qi Yang and Bai Yu came out of Zixiao Palace and returned to Shi Chen. How is it, did you gain anything this time? Shi Chen closed his eyes, but a voice came to the two of them. Replying to the master, we have learned the method of beheading the three corpses to prove the truth, and we have a great understanding of proving the truth of Hun Yuan in the future. I am afraid that it will not take long for us to achieve Hun Yuan. At this time, the two of them have also reached the late stage of Quasi-Sage, and they will reach the peak in a short time. If they have the help of Shi Chen, they will soon achieve Hun Yuan. Go down and practice well. Shi Chen nodded. After hearing this, the two bowed to Shi Chen and left, and went directly back to their respective rooms to practice. After everyone returned to the prehistoric world, a wave of searching for innate spiritual treasures was set off, and those people or races who had good innate spiritual treasures were in trouble. After Hong Yun returned to the prehistoric world, he lived in Zhen Yuanzi's Taoist temple. Zhen Yuanzi was worried that his Hongmeng purple qi would attract the covetousness of others, so he let him stay in his Taoist temple. As the ancestor of earth immortals, Zhen Yuanzi also has the protection of the earth fetal membrane of the earth book, which can be said to be the top defensive treasure in the prehistoric world. In this way, Hong Yun practiced in Zhen Yuanzi's Taoist temple for 10,000 years, and gradually forgot that there were people in the outside world who coveted his Hongmeng purple qi. On this day, Zhen Yuanzi happened to be out for something, but Hong Yun had a whim. Thinking that it would be boring to stay here all the time, he planned to leave here and go for a walk. As soon as Hong Yun went out, he was noticed by countless prehistoric great powers who were paying attention to this place. As the saying goes, a single move can move the whole body. As soon as Hong Yun came out, he attracted countless sharks that smelled the fishy smell and rushed over. Chapter 74 Shi Chen didn't want to bother with their affairs, as long as they didn't knock down Mount Bujo, and then patch up the sky. Ding, the chat group of all heavens and worlds is being upgraded, and all group members are temporarily not allowed to use the chat group. At this time, the voice of the chat group came, and Shi Chen retracted his gaze from exploring the prehistoric world. Ding, the chat group of all heavens and worlds has been upgraded. This upgrade has added a chat group square. Please check the specific functions yourself. Before he could take a closer look, the chat group had been upgraded, and at the same time, a message appeared in Shirchen's mind. The newly appeared chat group square allows each group member to appear in a virtual square, but the spirit enters it, and will simulate his own appearance, and cannot use any power. 
Of course, this is invalid for Shurchen. This new chat group square is like a virtual world. You can only control yourself in the chat group, but you will still have all the perceptions of the outside world, and you will not be in danger without knowing it. After entering the square, you can check which group members are online. The avatar of each online group member will light up, and the square can be infinitely large. What equipment you need can appear only by imagination, and can be used with mental power. Hey, this square is interesting. It's like a place where we can meet offline at any time. A man wearing a blue suit, a red bow tie on his chest, and a pair of big glasses on his face appeared. It was Conan. After all, when he was in elementary school, and a high school detective went to elementary school, everything was easy, so even if he slept in school, no teacher would care about him. People who got full marks in every subject were privileged. In this way, the first person in the chat group appeared. Even the trace of mental power attached to the chat group by Shurchen was not as active as him. This is simply my top laboratory. It can help me complete any research, and there is no danger and I can have any materials. Although I can't take it out, for us scientific researchers, these experiences are the best. At this time, Tony, who was also in a suit, appeared. Pop. He snapped his fingers casually, and a glass of red wine appeared in his hand. At the same time, he sat down directly, and a huge sofa automatically appeared behind him. It seems that he really understood this function. This is simply heaven for him. Although everything is fake, I can still taste the taste of red wine. It's amazing. Tony smiled at everyone after taking a sip of red wine. Hey. Then can I drink apple cider until I vomit here? That's great. Wendy, who hasn't appeared for a long time, also came. This place is also a paradise for him. After all, he can taste it. Although anything can appear here, it will not have any power, and it must be something you have seen with your own eyes or owned by yourself, otherwise it cannot be materialized. Everyone, what kind of environment do you think you want to make here? Wu Yochi asked at this time. That makes sense. At present, this place is just a blank. It's time to make a background to fill it. Hades appeared and felt that this place was more boring than the Xianming coffin where he lived. Let's make the background here into countless worlds, with the meaning of the heavens and the worlds. Shu Chen suddenly said. This is a good idea. It depends on the group leader. We will all listen to the group leader's arrangements. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and then they thought that this was in line with the meaning of their chat group, and they could leave it to the group leader. So, let's do this. As Shurchin's voice fell, the originally white background around changed. Countless planets, galaxies, universes, etc. appeared around everyone. Although they were reduced, they could be directly pulled over and enlarged, just like playing an open-world online game. Because there is no specific world, there are still pieces of continents floating in it, and there are even some black holes. After watching for a while, everyone stopped paying attention. Now they can communicate and learn here. Everyone can directly imagine a house of their own to do their own things. We can go online here directly in the future, and we don't need to chat online. This way of chatting is very interesting. Saitama said, and everyone agreed that this is a very good way to get together. By the way, Wendy, have you returned to Mond? Tony looked at Wendy who was madly drinking cider on the side, and couldn't help asking. Well, of course I went back. After all, I am their wind god. Jean will give me this face no matter what. Besides, it has been so long, and her anger has long disappeared. Wendy stopped drinking crazily after hearing this. Is that so? Can you get me a few more gods' eyes of other attributes? I currently only have one with wind attribute, and I can't complete the elemental reaction experiment. Tony asked. Well. For the rock attribute, I can ask old man Morix for one, but it's hard to get other attributes. Especially the guy in from Inazuma country, he is now in seclusion and has implemented the eye hunting order to confiscate the god's eye. I'm afraid I'll be beaten if I go there. Wendy said, thinking of the guy who pursues eternity. Although Ing is not the original Thor, she is a companion of Thor, or she is the Thor in secret. 
the first generation Thor was really the open Thor. After Jen died, she decided to pursue eternity, so she created a puppet and the main body practiced in the pure land of one heart. Is that so? I know. I can only think of other ways. Tony nodded when he heard it. His new Iron Man suit incorporates the Eye of God of the Wind element, which can not only release wind magic, but also speed up many times. In his imagination, the wind element accelerates, the rock element defends, the fire element attacks, the water element conducts, the ice element controls, the thunder element paralyzes, and the grass element poisons. And when he integrates the power of the seven elements, the Iron Man suit will be extremely powerful. By the way, Lufa, can you let me study your armor summoner? I can give you my research records. Tony, who was unable to obtain the Eye of God, looked at Lufa who was practicing on the side. He found that he could also practice the power of the mind here, and it allowed him to practice multitasking, practicing here while observing the situation outside. You want to study our armor, okay, I'll give you a set of Xintian team armor later. As for your research, you don't have to do it. Your technology is still a little behind ours, but I'm interested in your infinity gems Lufa said, and directly sent Tony a set of Xintian team armor, including Xintian, Feiying, and King Kong. Thank you, I'll find you an infinity gem if I have a chance, but it seems that it can't be used outside our universe. Infinity gems are very precious to him at present, but he knows that there is another place where infinity gems are used as decorations. Loki was shocked to doubt his life when he saw it for the first time. Although those things can't be used, they are genuine infinity gems, at least the materials are the same. It's okay, I just study its composition. After all, it represents the materialization of the laws of a universe, which may allow my Shura armor to upgrade again. Lufa nodded when he heard it. He not only cultivated his willpower, but also had to use the Shura armor as soon as possible, and he could upgrade it. The current Shura armor can be upgraded once, but he can't do it yet, and to go any further he'll need some external help. Chapter, 75 It seems that some outsiders have appeared in my universe. I'm going to check it out. Hades said to everyone and then went offline. Everyone was shocked and they saw this, and then they thought of the source beast that appeared in the world of Wuliyuki. Could it be the same thing again this time? Although Hades was still in the coffin of Xianming, he could have come out long ago, but he didn't come out immediately to cover up his tracks. Even if the Lion King didn't steal the key for him in the original plot, he could still break the coffin of Xianming. After all, his current strength is much stronger than the original version. Lion King, come to see me. A voice came from the coffin of Xianming, which made the Lion King, who was still practicing, stunned. Then he thought of the owner of this voice, which was his leader, Hades. My lord, what do you want to tell your subordinates? At this time, 100,000 years of reincarnation had passed, and it was the time when the seal of the coffin of Xianming was the weakest. After the Lion King seized the key of Xianming, Hades was about to be resurrected. Where is the Super Beast team now? Hades' voice came from the coffin of Xianming. They are now about to come to our fifth parallel universe underworld. You should be fully resurrected soon, right? The Lion King replied. Don't bother with the Super Beast team anymore. We now have other enemies, and some small bugs have appeared. After understanding, Hades decided not to bother with them. In his opinion, the so-called Super Beast team is just a group of children playing house. If it was 100,000 years ago, it would be the same. Bugs? What else can you treat like this? The Lion King was puzzled. It doesn't matter. I'll come out right now. I'm just waiting for those super beast teams Hades said, and the Xianming coffin in front of the Lion King had a violent movement. At the same time, the energy value here increased dramatically, which shocked the Lion King. Warning, warning, an unknown high-intensity energy value appeared in the fifth parallel universe, suspected to be Hades. At this time, everyone on the Xuanwu spacecraft heard the prompt sound from the spacecraft, which shocked everyone. What's going on? We are about to reach the underworld. Is Pluto going to come out early? Miao Tiaojuan saw this and quickly controlled the spaceship, asking everyone in confusion. 
At this time, everyone had just finished fighting with Yi Lingyun, and the Xuanwu had been severely damaged. They had no choice but to rely on Yi Lingyun to go to the underworld. The reason why Yi Lingyun did this was that he received an order from Pluto to take the members of the Super Beast team to the underworld. No matter what, we must go there, Xiao Peng, speed up to enter the fifth parallel universe. Huo Linfei heard this and said to Miao Tiaojuan. Their Super Beast team came here to stop Pluto's resurrection. Now they are at the doorstep of Pluto's home, why are they retreating like this? Everyone rushed all the way and soon came to the palace where Pluto was. They pushed open the door and finally saw the legendary Pluto. You are here. Pluto sat high on the throne, with the Lion King standing beside him, looking at the Super Beast team members who appeared in front of him. Pluto, you are resurrected early, but we will definitely stop you. Huolin Fei saw this and stepped forward to Pluto and said. You are really a young and brave man. How are you going to stop me? Hades didn't care, just smiled at them. My daughter, you are here too. Hades stopped looking at Huolin Fei and then set his sights on Tianyu, with infinite tenderness in his tone. What? Hades is Tianyu's father. Everyone present was shocked and they heard this. They didn't expect things to develop like this. Even Tianyu felt incredible. As Hades narrated, everyone finally knew the origin of Tianyu. She was the princess of the Phoenix clan and the daughter of Hades. One hundred thousand years ago, because Hades was sealed in the Xianming black hole, he gave Tianyu to Xian Yitzi to raise before that, which led to the subsequent events. And Tianyu's supernatural lock was the relic left to her by her mother. Although she was extremely painful in her heart, between her father and her friend, Tianyu still chose to stand by her father. Yi Lingyun was originally one of the four guardians of Hades, and as expected, he also stood by Hades. Now, do you still want to stop me? Hades smiled at this time, making everyone a little desperate. At this time, Hades secretly turned on the live broadcast, letting everyone in the chat group know his current situation. Hades, you have a big bad taste. You obviously don't plan to do anything to them, but you still want your daughter to have a life and death separation with them, and you are still scaring them here. As a detective, Conan directly stated Hades' purpose. They all knew Hades' original past, and they also knew that Hades must have his own plans when he encountered alien creatures now. It is impossible for him to go to the Super Beast team at this juncture. Looking at Hades' appearance, Conan couldn't help but suspect that this old guy who had been lonely for 100,000 years also had some new bad tastes. Just teasing them, I already know all the truth and have let it go. As long as I kill Gigu, I won't care about the old woman Shuahuang. Anyway, she can't beat me now. Hades smiled when he saw this. As a person who values strength above all else, after seeing the wider world, his goal is not limited to the seven parallel universes. The so-called discord between him and the Snow Queen was also instigated by Gigu. Whether it was 100,000 years ago or now, 100,000 years later, it was Gigu, the villain, who was making trouble. He had no ill will towards the Super Beast team. At this time, in front of Hades, the people of the Super Beast team looked solemn, but they still planned to fight with Hades. Tianyu, if I ask you to fight with your former friends, will you fight with them? Hades looked at Tianyu and said. Since you are my father, then I will definitely obey your orders, but if you want to kill Huolin Fei and others, then my daughter will go with them. Tianyu said firmly after hearing this. Although Hades is his father, Huolin Fei and others are his best friends. Since friendship and family affection can only choose one side, then he will die with his friends. Ha ha ha, it's really your character, and it's really like your mother. Seeing this, Hades was not angry, but laughed. Everyone looked at Hades and was a little confused. They were all planning to fight him, but why didn't he look like he wanted to fight at all? Okay, I won't tease you anymore. Wait for me to bring an old friend here first. You wait here for a while. After laughing, Hades' face became serious. Then, he stood up from the throne and came to the opposite side of the Super Beast team. Metaverse Destruction Hades learned a lot of abilities suitable for him in the chat group. 
he can now directly open the metaverse, and his superpower value has reached an astonishing 30 black holes, as powerful as the ghost king who absorbed the cloud bat core at the end. His move is to open Xian Yitzi's metaverse space and rescue Xian Yitzi who is trapped inside. Xian Yitzi's metaverse, as long as it is sucked into it, the more powerful the existence, the more difficult it is to escape, so Hualinfei, who was still very weak at the time, was able to come out. At the beginning, he was able to escape with the help of Xian Yitzi and the Lion King fleet, but Xian Yitzi was too strong and it was impossible for him to escape from the metaverse he created. Hades directly learned a skill to break through space. As long as he is strong enough, he can directly break the blockade of space and find an entry point to break it at any time. As a crack opened in the meta space, an old man in the shape of a turtle stood up in front of everyone. His true form was a black tortoise, and he was Xian Yitzi, the master of Hulinfei, Miao Tiao Juan, and Tianyu. Chapter 76. Is this the underworld? Xian Yitzi walked out of the meta space and saw Huo Linfei and others and Hades around him. He knew his own meta space very well, but someone was able to open it from the outside. Could it be that during the time he was in there, some unknown accident occurred? Xian Yitzi has always been committed to maintaining the balance of the universe. No matter how fiercely the two sides fight, he will remain neutral and try his best to make the universe peaceful. Xian Yitzi, I haven't seen you for 100,000 years. Hades looked at the old man in front of him, with a sigh in his tone. Hades, it turns out that you rescued me from the metaspace. It seems that you have become unpredictable even to me. Although Hades rescued himself from the metaspace, he was not happy about it, because it meant that Hades became more powerful. Hades 100,000 years ago could only barely compete with the Snow Emperor. Now that the Snow Emperor is still in the Xianming black hole, he may not be his opponent. If Hades has any thoughts, no one will be his opponent. Don't make the atmosphere so heavy. I'll go and release an old friend. Seeing this, Hades waved his hand and thought about releasing that person. Hearing Hades say this, Xian Yitzi became even more confused. His tone seemed to be about releasing the Snow Queen. Sure enough, Hades opened the Xianming black hole directly the next second. Xianming black hole. As Hades Xianming black hole opened, countless people came out of it, and the last one was the Snow Queen who had fought with him for 100,000 years. Unlike Hades, the Snow Queen had been imprisoned in the Xianming black hole, and her cultivation had not progressed for 100,000 years, so Hades had long surpassed the Snow Queen, not to mention that now he has the help of the chat group. Hades, I didn't expect you to take the initiative to release us. The Snow Queen was still as cold as ever, and even if she was released by Hades, it did not cause her too much waves. I just think you are no threat to me, and I still have a score to settle. Hades smiled when he heard the words, and then looked at an old man next to the Snow Queen. You mean? Gigu? When this was said, everyone present was shocked, including the Snow Queen, who didn't know why the Hades would rather let herself out than find Gigu. What do you mean? The Snow Queen frowned and questioned the Hades. At the same time, the Snow Queen's soldiers were also on high alert, staring at the Hades opposite. No hurry, wait until I catch this guy, and then I'll explain it to you. The Hades ignored everyone and directly grabbed Gigu. As the Hades made his move, a huge nebula appeared behind him. A huge black giant palm appeared, and all those who blocked him were directly bounced away. The Snow Queen was shocked when she saw this. Although she didn't know why the Hades wanted to catch Gigu, the other party was an elder under her. If he was caught in front of her so easily, where would her face be? Then, the nebula behind the Snow Queen appeared and directly competed with the Hades. White Snow Holy Light Although the Snow Queen was very powerful, she still couldn't defeat the Hades even with her ultimate move and was forced back by him. Gui Gu was shocked when he saw this. He had understood when the Hades said he wanted to catch him. He was afraid that the Hades knew what he had done before, which led to the two sides fighting for so long. Seeing that even the Snow Queen couldn't stop the Hades, Gui Gu ran away directly and didn't dare to stand for long. Unfortunately, facing the Hades now, he didn't even have the ability to escape and was caught by him. 
Then the Hades controlled the giant hand to come in front of himself and the Snow Queen. He ignored the surprised eyes of the crowd and looked at the Snow Queen and said. Let me tell you a story of one hundred thousand years. As the Hades told the story, everyone knew a hidden truth. Back then, Xian Yitzi saved Tian Yu, so the Hades agreed that Xian Yitzi would represent the underworld to go to the seventh parallel universe to negotiate with the Snow Palace. In the end, the two sides did reach an agreement and both sides stopped fighting. But Gigu designed and built the Xianming coffin that could seal Hades, destroyed the Babu family, and put the blame on the underworld which made the Snow Queen disappointed with Hades and led the army to attack the underworld. Then the following events happened. Hades voluntarily died and entered the Xianming coffin and was sealed, and all the white tiger invaders, including the Snow Queen, were sucked into the Xianming black hole set up by Hades in advance, so the universe entered a 100,000-year cycle. Not only that, there are some other reasons, I can't say it clearly, so please die directly. The other reasons that Hades said were that Gigu would betray everyone and turn into a ghost king in the end. Because it hadn't happened yet, it was inconvenient to explain it to others. Just the previous actions were enough to make him die. As Hades' voice fell, the giant hand squeezed hard, and Gigu turned directly into countless flying ashes and completely dissipated in this world. The Snow Queen gently stretched out her hand to stop it, but still didn't do it, and she had no ability to stop Hades, so she could only watch Hades kill Gigu. King of Hell, since this matter is over, will you unify the seven parallel universes next? If you insist, I will stop you with the Snow Queen. Xian Yitzi saw King of Hell killing Gigu, but he did not stop him, but asked King of Hell instead. In Xian Yitzi's heart, he hated Gigu very much. If he hadn't instigated it, the seven parallel universes might have achieved peace 100,000 years ago. Ah, I don't have the heart to rule the seven parallel universes now. Now there is a situation in front of us. Everyone, follow me to see it. Hades simply answered Xian Yitzi, and then led everyone to a place in the underworld. This place was originally a wasteland, but there were some strange creatures, which were the source beasts that appeared in the world of Wu Liuqi. With the power of Hades now, his mind can instantly scan the entire underworld, so he was able to discover the source beasts at the first time. Of course, if it was another parallel universe, he would not know it in the underworld. Although the source beasts have not appeared for a long time, they have already taken shape. What are these things? Why do I feel disgusted? Seeing this, the Snow Queen asked Hades. The Snow Queen, who has always advocated love and peace, also showed her disgust when facing the source beasts. This is the source beast. Then, Hades explained the origin of the source beast to everyone, which shocked everyone. Everyone has always known that there are seven parallel universes, but they did not expect that there are other universes outside of them. The source beasts that appeared this time were not the small fights in the Wuliuki world, but a real disaster. Not only were their high-end combat power stronger, but their numbers were also in the tens of thousands. Everyone, don't let them have the opportunity to leave the underworld. I will block the entire space of the underworld and do my best to destroy them. Hades said to everyone seriously. Lion King, go and gather all the troops. Make sure to destroy them all. If one escapes, there may be unpredictable dangers in the future. As he said that, he directly ordered the Lion King to go and gather the fleet. Everyone, this is our first cooperation in 100,000 years. We can't let the people of the underworld beat us. The Snow Queen also gathered the troops and began the pre-war mobilization. Tianyu, go to your partner and pay attention to the danger. The Hades looked at Tianyu behind him and asked her to go to her companions. Only there could she exert her greatest strength. Understood, father. Tianyu was very happy to hear this. Not only did she not have to fight with her partners this time, they would also cooperate with her father, making her feel that it didn't matter that she was fooled by her father before. Things developed so quickly that the protagonist team became invisible. Now that they saw Tianyu coming, they were finally happy to prepare with Tianyu. Chapter, 77 Brother Pluto, do you want us to send some people to support you? Conan said to Pluto in the chat group. Will you come over? Pluto smiled. 
I would like to go, but I will be defeated if I go. I mean you can ask Brother Saitama. Conan said embarrassedly. Saitama, are you coming over? Pluto also remembered that there was another Saitama here. Although he was not as good as himself and Snow Queen, he was still far better than the individual members of the Super Beast team. Okay, I just solved a weirdo here, so I'll go to your place to help you. As a hero, Saitama still likes to help the weak, even though this Pluto is stronger than himself. When Pluto first entered the chat group, his strength was about the middle stage of the sixth level, but now he has reached the late stage. Snow Queen is about the same as him at the beginning, both of them are about the middle stage of the sixth level. And Saitama is now at the peak of the early sixth level, and is about to reach the level of Snow Queen. According to the strength classification of Pluto's world, he is also a strong man with a nebula body. There are only four people with nebula bodies in the entire Super Beast world, namely Pluto, Snow Queen, Gigu and Yuanzheng. Xian Yitzi does not have a nebula body, but he can compete with Snow Queen and others with his bare hands. So, it is so rare to have a strong man at the nebula level here. Then a portal appeared next to Pluto, and a man with a bald head and a cloak walked out of it, attracting everyone's attention. This person is Saitama. His name is Saitama, and he is also a powerful warrior. Come to help us. Pluto briefly introduced a Snow Queen and others, and then looked at Yi Lingyun. Yi Lingyun, go to the Super Beast team, that's where you are needed. Yi Lingyun nodded when he heard it, and then found the Super Beast team. Everyone looked at the space cracks where the Source Beasts had stopped emerging, and new Source Beasts appeared again. They decided not to wait any longer and launched an attack directly. The attack of the crowd attracted the attention of the Source Beasts, and then the two sides started a battle in this barren land. Destruction I made it up Hades took the lead and rushed directly to the front. The nebula body behind him emerged, and a giant energy bomb hit the Source Beast. Roar a shocking roar came from the Source Beast, and then a beast-shaped Source Beast that covered the sky and the sun appeared. This was the leader of this invasion of the world, and it was a peak of the sixth level. Such a being could not be defeated by Hades alone, and then the Snow Queen joined in. White Snow Holy Light Then the nebula body behind the Snow Queen emerged, and also a powerful attack hit the leader of the Source Beast. Although the combat power of the entire Super Beast armed world is almost here, there are more powerful Source Beasts on the opposite side, not to mention that there are tens of thousands of low-level Source Beasts. Even the low-level Source Beasts have the strength of the second level, not to mention that there are dozens of third and fourth level existences. As for the fifth level and ordinary sixth level, there are also so many. Whether it is high-end combat power or number of people, Hades has no advantage and the situation is a bit dangerous for a while. Snow Queen, the situation is very dangerous now. If we lose, all seven parallel universes will fall. Hades was forced to dodge the attack of the giant source beast again, and hurriedly said to the Snow Queen. What do you have in mind? Snow Queen looked at Hades upon hearing this. If my energy can be doubled, there will be hope of defeating the opponent, and there is only one way to temporarily increase my energy. Hades said, looking at the people in the Super Beast God Fusion not far away. Do we have to count on them? Seeing this, the Snow Queen also looked at the Super Beast God Fusion not far away. No, it's the Cloud Bat Army under Yi Lingyun, but they have all been wiped out now. Hades shook his head. You will definitely not say something useless at this time. Snow Queen was stunned upon hearing this, and then motioned for the other party to continue. That's right. I need your energy to collide with mine, so as to open the space-time black hole and let them go to 100,000 years ago to revive the Cloud Bat Core. Pluto knew the original plot. It was because of the collision of his energy with the Snow Queen that the space wormhole leading to 100,000 years ago was opened, allowing Hualin Fei and others to be sucked into it. Is the method you said really feasible? The Snow Queen hesitated after hearing this and couldn't help asking. How do you think the Lion King's energy lock came from? It was Hualin Fei who lent it to him 100,000 years ago, and that Hualin Fei came from now 100,000 years later. Pluto couldn't explain too much to her, so he could only use the Lion King as an example. 
Seeing this, the Snow Queen could only nod and prepare to cooperate with Pluto's actions. Chiyu, Xian Yitzi, you guys come to resist the other party first. The Snow Queen and I have something important to do. Pluto was also helpless. Everyone had opponents, but it could only be like this for the time being. Although Chiyu and Xian Yitzi didn't know what he wanted to do, out of trust in Pluto, they still held the giant source beast under pressure. You guys, the Snow Queen and I will open a time-space wormhole in a while, and you will be sucked in and come to 100,000 years ago. Then you need to convince Yi Lingyun in the past to give up being the leader and save the Cloud Bat Corps. Only then will we have a chance to win. Hades found the Super Beast team and quickly made a long story short so that everyone roughly understood what he meant. But how will we get back then? Huo Linfei hesitated after hearing this. It's not that he's afraid, although traveling back to 100,000 years ago sounds a bit mysterious, but since Hades said so, he can only listen to him. What he was really worried about was that he couldn't go back to the present time. It doesn't matter. This little fat guy is born with the ability to travel through time and space. I will increase his ability value, enough for him to go back 100,000 years ago to rescue you. As he said that, Hades pointed to Miao Jiaojuan who was watching the battle from a distance. Little fatty. Huo Linfei and others were stunned. They didn't expect that this little fat guy had such a supernatural ability. Everyone cut a long story short and started to act immediately. In fact, Hades was not very sure that he could let everyone go back 100,000 years ago. After all, he was much stronger than the original plot now, but now he could only try his best. As long as there is the increase in the Cloud Bat Core, although it is difficult to increase too much with his current strength, it should be possible to double it, and then there will be a chance to defeat the opponent. In the original plot, Gigu absorbed the energy of the entire Cloud Bat Core, allowing his ability value of 5. Zero black holes to soar directly to 30 black holes to become the Ghost King, which is his current strength. After all, the Cloud Bat Core is known as the First Legion of the Seven Parallel Universes, which shows how powerful it is. Everyone released the Super Beast God Fusion State, and stood in front of Hades and Snow Queen, waiting for their actions. Hades and Snow Queen nodded, and then launched their own energy to fight against it. Because he was afraid that he would directly overwhelm Snow Queen, Hades controlled his energy to an energy range similar to that of the other party, so that a space wormhole could be formed. The powerful energy collision between the two instantly attracted the attention of other uninformed people on the battlefield, wondering what was going on at this critical moment. As the two powerful energies collided, a dark wormhole appeared. Although Hua Linfei and others were mentally prepared, they were still sucked in directly. Seeing this, Hades directly collected his energy so that Snow Queen would not be injured by his energy. The energy between the two hit Hades and was directly offset by him. Then Hades found Miao Tiaojuan and temporarily increased his energy, allowing him to travel through time and space directly to 100,000 years ago. Then he did not dare to stay and joined the previous battle again. I hope those guys can hurry up, otherwise we will have a hard time. Hades looked at the giant source beast in front of him with some worries in his heart. In fact, he still has one last way, which is to seek help from the group leader, but this is the last method, and with his self-esteem, he does not want to do so. Chapter, 78 Xian Ming Black Hole Seeing that the leader of the other source beast was too powerful, Hades had to use the Xian Ming Black Hole in the hope of delaying the other party. Seeing that the strongest source beast was sucked into the Xianming black hole, Hades and Snow Queen couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But before they could rest assured, a crack suddenly appeared in the space in front of them, and then a huge claw appeared, tearing open the entire Xianming space. Source beasts are monsters that invade the world. Since they can break the barriers of the world, naturally when facing the weaker Hades, Hades' Xianming black hole will be ineffective against it. The two did not dare to hesitate and release their attacks to hit the source beast again, but were directly blocked by the opponent. Then a giant energy ball appeared in the mouth of the source beast, which directly blew the two out. Puff! What a terrifying monster! If they don't come back, or if we don't send them to the right time and space, then there is only the last resort. Hades spit out a mouthful of blood, 
then looked at the Snow Queen and said. The Snow Queen was also in a bad mood. Her strength was not as good as that of the Hades. The veil on her face was almost stained red with blood. Looking at the Hades, he seemed to have no despair at all, as if he had one. Although I don't know why, I think the backup plan he mentioned must be very powerful, the Snow Queen thought. Swish. At this moment, a space crack appeared not far away, which immediately attracted the attention of the two. Then the space crack became larger and larger, and several figures rushed out from it. They were Huolin Fei and others who had just left. Ha, huh, we are finally back. Xiao Pang looked at the people who were still fighting, and knew that he had not come at the wrong time. It seemed that they had just left not long ago. It seems that they really succeeded. Looking at the returning Super Beast team, the Snow Queen smiled at the Hades. To be precise, we succeeded. The real battle is just about to begin. The Hades said slowly when he saw this. Father, we succeeded. Tian Yu hurried over to help the Hades up and said. You guys retreat quickly, use the Super Beast God fusion to fight, this battlefield is not for you to come. Seeing this, Hades quickly pushed his daughter away and asked her to join his companions. A group of Super Beast warriors joined together, and then combined with the Super Beast God, and were about to attack the Source Beast. At this moment, a huge shadow flew over. A closer look showed that it was the resurrected Cloud Bat Core, and the leader was Yi Xiaozi who had died with the Cloud Bat Core before. Cloud Bat Core, everyone, join me in forming a giant Cloud Bat formation to deliver energy to Lord Hades. Yi Xiaozi came over and ordered directly. Then all the members of the Cloud Bat Core formed a square formation and began to transmit energy to Hades. Although Hades' energy has now reached 30 black holes, the Cloud Bat Core is also very optimistic about his increase, almost doubling his energy. Okay, kill them all in one go. Hades, who received a huge amount of energy, gained confidence. Destruction. A huge energy ball was condensed by him, and then instantly flew to the crystal on the forehead of the giant source beast. The huge force directly blew it away, and the indestructible crystal had several cracks. Damn low-level creatures, we came to your world, and we should be eaten by us. Why struggle so hard? The source beast cried out in pain, looking at the Hades and threatening. If you want to invade our world, come back after 100,000 years, the heavenly wolf halberd. The Hades clenched his right hand in the void, and then a halberd appeared in his hand. This is the 10,000 weapons art he learned before. When practicing to a certain level, you can condense your own life weapon. Now his energy just reached this standard, so he used this move directly. Heavenly Wolf Destruction Kill Then the Hades directly held the halberd with both hands and slashed a crescent-shaped attack towards the crystal of the Source Beast. He knew that his energy could not last long, so he could only kill the other party as soon as possible. Now the Hades and the Source Beast are both at the peak of the sixth level, but they are not as permanent as the other party. With this attack, a more obvious scar appeared on the Source Beast Crystal, which made it feel shocked and terrified. Claw of Return to the Origin Then a giant claw attacked, and Hades had to hold the halberd in front of his chest with both hands, and was instantly knocked hundreds of meters away. Super Beast God 7 combined. At this time, a voice came, and then a huge figure appeared. It was the Super Beast God 7 combined formed by Huolin Fei and others. It was the combination of the Super Beasts of 7 warriors and was their strongest combat power at present. Use your tricks together and gather them into one trick. Seeing this, Hades hurriedly shouted to them. As the seven super beast warriors used their own tricks, their beliefs merged into one, and a huge long sword appeared in their hands, which was the Tianyuan sword. The super beast world has two top weapons, one for attack and one for defense. The strongest shield is Yilinyun's cloud bat shield. And the sharpest weapon is the Tianyuan sword in their hands now. The super beast god of the seven people combined held a sword in one hand and a shield in the other, and directly killed the leader of the Source Beast. Although they are no match for the leader of the Source Beasts now, with the bonus of the Tianyuan Sword, their attack power definitely surpasses that of the Snow Queen. Because they knew the cause and effect of the matter long ago, 
they quickly dealt with the matter 100,000 years ago, and then practiced together for a period of time, and they are much stronger than when they left. Although the supernatural energy of each of them is less than five black holes summoning nebula bodies, it is very close, making their current combined power directly surpass the Snow Emperor. Born to fight, fight to the death. The seven people directly held the Tianyuan sword and slashed towards the origin beast. Ant, if you want to die, I will help you. Seeing that they dared to attack him first, the origin beast directly faced them. Seeing this, Pluto was not to be outdone, and rushed forward with the serious halberd in hand. Seeing that he couldn't intervene at all, the snow emperor hurried to the battlefield between Saitama and Xian Yitzi. There were several early in mid-level Sixth Order source beasts there, who were also formidable enemies. Pluto and the Super Beast Warriors repelled the leader of the Source Beast together, and then Pluto temporarily imprisoned the Source Beast. Super Beast Warrior, use this moment to attack the crystal on its forehead. Okay, Tianyuan Sword. The seven people responded at the same time after hearing the words. They held the swords in both hands and slashed directly at the Source Beast's crystal that was already full of cracks. In an instant it was split into two, and then the source beast leader turned into ashes and disappeared. Hu hu hu. Finally. I've solved this guy. Everyone was exhausted, and even the super beast combined state immediately exited. Although the super beast god fusion disappeared, Pluto was still there. He did not dare to be careless and rushed directly towards the other origin beasts. Pluto, who had the sixth level of peak strength, came to the rescue and quickly wiped out all the source beasts. It's so intense. This is definitely the most brutal battle I've ever seen. In the live broadcast room, Conan couldn't help but sigh as he looked at the scarred people. Of the many troops present, not a single one had been killed. Even the Lion King was almost seriously injured and about to die, let alone other cannon fodder levels. Snow Emperor struggled to stand up from the ground, looking at the troops with heavy casualties, he couldn't help feeling sad. But this is not the time to feel sad. We are about to quickly integrate the troops and count the casualties. As soon as Pluto let go of his hand, the serious halberd disappeared, and he couldn't help but collapse to the ground. The cloud bat legions above him fell down one after another, and they had been drained of their strength. Do you think this is the end? Chapter 79 At this time, a voice resounded throughout the battlefield, and then a huge shadow appeared followed by countless black energy gathering into it. Pluto took a closer look and found out that the phantom was the resentment of Gue Gu who was killed before, and the countless black energy was the remaining power of the source beast. After the source beasts were killed, their remaining power was not completely dissipated, and it directly found its way to the most evil person in the world. Although Gue Gu is dead, his resentment is still there, directly possessing Gue Gu's resentment. Immediately afterwards, a huge black shadow appeared on the battlefield, and Gue Gu directly transformed into the Ghost King. This is Ghost King. Pluto looked solemn. He didn't expect that after finally defeating the Source Beast, he would be tricked by this Ghost Valley. Pluto, what should we do now? All our troops have suffered heavy losses. What can you do? Snow Emperor and Xian Yitzi came to Pluto and stared at the Ghost King who appeared. Wait for me. Pluto knew that what happened this time was beyond his ability, so it seemed that he could only ask the group leader for help. Group leader, please help. He closed his eyes and went directly to the chat group square. In fact, there is no need for Pluto to ask for help. Everyone has already known what happened here through his live broadcast. Today's Ghost King has reached the seventh level of strength. Even if you have the previous state, you can't beat him. Now I can give you two plans. You can listen to it. Shuchin came out to explain. Group leader, please speak. Pluto nodded upon hearing this. One is that I went over to help you deal with him directly. The other is that I can temporarily increase your strength to his level, and you can do it yourself. Pluto's eyes lit up when he heard it, and he directly chose the latter. Being able to experience the power of the subsequent realm would also be of great help to the improvement of his strength. No problem, please pay attention to accept your power. 
Shi Chen nodded when he heard this. He also wanted Pluto to improve his strength quickly. Nowadays, apart from himself, Pluto is the strongest among the strong people in the group. No matter what, he must be asked to improve his strength quickly, so that he does not have to help them all day long. Shi Chen made moves on his hands, but he was thinking in his heart that after this Pluto incident is over. He would personally go to two high-level worlds to recruit people, at least those who are better than Pluto, Daluo Jinxian would be enough. Today's Ghost King is probably in the realm of Tai Golden Immortal. He can also promote Pluto to this realm, but if it is Daluo Golden Immortal, then Pluto's body will not be able to bear it at all, and he will directly explode and die. At this time, Pluto opened his eyes, and everyone quickly looked over. Although they don't know why Pluto closed his eyes at this moment, everyone can only wait quietly. At this time, everyone saw Pluto open his eyes, and just about to speak, they saw Pluto's aura surge. At this time, the nebula behind Pluto emerged, and then the nebula gradually began to evolve, gradually turning into a cosmic scene. Looking carefully, everyone discovered that it was the current fifth parallel universe, the underworld. Upon seeing this, Hades understood in his heart that this was the vision of his next realm. In the universe where he lives, strong men with nebula bodies are already sixth level existences. And if you want to go one step further and reach the seventh level, the nebula body behind you will directly transform into a universe. Because I am a person from the underworld, what appears above my head is the scene of the fifth parallel universe. Such a terrifying movement forced everyone to retreat several hundred meters away, and also attracted the Ghost King's gaze. At this time, the Ghost King has reached the final step of fusion, and it is difficult for him to take action. He can only wait for himself to fuse the Source Beast, and then take action to kill Hades. Finally, the cosmic scene above Pluto's head was completely calm, and with a thought, he directly became the size of the Ghost King and tens of meters high. The fusion of the Ghost King also ended at this time, and the two looked at each other at the same time. Although I don't know what kind of help you got, now I can penetrate the seven parallel universes at will, and all the universes can no longer stop me. The Ghost King's body stopped in mid-air, looking at the equally huge Pluto in front of him. Quite confident. He is very clear about the strength of the seven parallel universes, and he does not believe that there is any power that can defeat him. Unfortunately, he does not know that someone sends cheats to Pluto through all the worlds. You are too ignorant, Ghost King, are you ready to die? Pluto said, holding his right hand in the air, and a huge halberd appeared, which was the serious halberd before. Humph, bluff, all evil. The Ghost King snorted coldly, and countless skull-shaped ghosts appeared behind him, quickly attacking Pluto. Serious kills. Not to be outdone, Pluto held the halberd in both hands and slashed forward with force, instantly knocking away the Ghost King's attack. Seeing this, the Ghost King no longer looked down upon the other party, but directly stepped forward, and a huge black palm struck. Pluto also did not fall behind, stabbing forward with the halberd in his right hand. The huge air wave generated by the attack between the two directly blew away all the onlookers. This, what a terrifying attack! What state are the two of them in now? The supernatural energy is completely unpredictable. Huolin Fei and others looked at the two people attacking each other, and the shock in their hearts never stopped. Xian Yitzi, do you see the strength of the two of them? The Snow Emperor looked at Xian Yitzi at this time. Even she couldn't understand this old guy, so now she could only ask him. I don't know, but one thing is that their strength has surpassed the seven parallel universes. If the battle lasts too long, the seven parallel universes will be directly blown up, especially now that all the universes overlap. Xian Yitzi stroked his beard and said solemnly. The seven parallel universes will overlap once every 100,000 years, and each fusion will last for seven days. And now is the last day of the seven days. If they break through the underworld here, then other universes may also suffer a catastrophe, which Xian Yitzi cannot accept. What has happened will happen again what has been done will be done again. Whether this fateful reincarnation can be broken depends on whether Hades can succeed. Shaking his head, Xian Yitzi continued to look at the battle. How is it possible? Why are you so powerful too? 
the Ghost King became more and more frightened as he fought. Every move of Hades could trigger the power of heaven and earth, as if he was fighting against the entire universe. In Hades' world, if you reach the seventh level, you will merge with the universe you are in. Just like the saints in the prehistoric world, you can fight with the power of the prehistoric world. The Pluto is now similar to the saint, but not as powerful. Now, he fights with the help of the power of the entire universe, which makes him more energy saving. The Ghost King is the opposite of him. Because of the Source Beast, he will be rejected by the whole world, and the damage he suffers will be even greater. Although the Ghost King is not afraid of the universe, the universe and the Pluto are now mutually borrowing power, like two strong men attacking the Ghost King together, making his injuries more and more serious. You want to defeat me, wait another 100,000 years, and all the ghosts will be buried. The Ghost King roared, and then countless skeleton-like evil ghosts behind him exploded one after another, and the power of the explosion even buried himself. Ten thousand ghosts exploded one after another, triggering the Ghost King's self-explosion, and then a huge energy was slowly brewing. Not good, if this energy explodes, it will directly sweep across the seven parallel universes, and then this world will completely disappear. The Pluto was shocked when he saw this, and then burst out all his strength and flew towards the center of the explosion. Boom boom. After a long time, a huge explosion hit, and everything returned to calm. Chapter, 80 Ah! In a classroom somewhere, Huolin Fei woke up from his desk, attracting the attention of all his classmates. Huolin Fei, you are sleeping in class again. The teacher on the stage said angrily. What's going on? I remember that I seemed to be fighting with the Ghost King before. How come I am back to school? After school, Huolin Fei walked alone on the playground. A Fei! At this time, a voice came from behind. Huolin Fei turned around and saw that it was Xiao Pang Miao Jiao Juan. Xiao Pang, why are you here too? Do you remember that we were fighting with the Ghost King before? Huolin Fei finally saw an acquaintance and asked Xiao Pang quickly. He was afraid that everything he had experienced before was a dream. A Fei, I am also wondering. It seems that we returned to the campus directly after the explosion. It's like everything has started all over again. Miao Jiaojuan looked solemn when he heard this, and also expressed his doubts. So you have such memories too. I thought everything before was just a dream of mine. Huolin Fei was stunned and then surprised when he heard this. The two walked and chatted, and unknowingly came to a basketball court. Hey, you are finally here. At this time, a familiar voice came, and the two couldn't help but look up. There were several people standing in front of them, Jian Yu, Long Jian, Tai Lei and others were looking at them. Why did you come here? What happened? Huo Lin Fei was excited when he saw this, and hurriedly asked everyone. Let me tell you, the story is like this. Jian Yu stood up at this time and told the two the last thing. It turned out that after the Ghost King exploded, the Hades teleported everyone out of the fifth parallel universe in order to save everyone. After that, Huolin Fei and others returned to the time when everything started, and the White Tiger Clan including the Snow Queen also returned to the seventh parallel universe. After the Hades saved everyone, he was also seriously injured and had to retreat to the underworld to recuperate. Tian Yu also learned all this from the message left by the Hades. Now the channels between the seven parallel universes have been closed, and we can only stay in this universe. Tian Yu said at last. Everyone was moved when they heard this. They didn't expect this to be the ending, but fortunately they still won. It's good this way. We can go to school here together in the future and continue to be together. Huolin Fei didn't feel too disappointed when he heard this, but smiled at everyone. Everyone was stunned when they saw this, and then they also laughed. Although it was only a short seven days, the friendship between them was very deep, and the current situation was not unacceptable. Let's go, I'll treat everyone to a good meal. Huolin Fei waved his hand and walked out first. The other seven people shook their heads and followed together. Several people were talking and laughing as they passed a park. Suddenly, a black shadow pounced on Huolin Fei and others. Everyone's instinct as a warrior was still there, so they hid directly. When they looked closely, 
it turned out to be a deformed monster with four limbs on the ground. What the hell is this thing, that just now almost took my life? Huolin Fei stared at the monster, his tone a little surprised and doubtful. Before everyone could speak, more and more monsters of this kind appeared, gradually surrounding several people. Everyone, are your supernatural locks still there? Huolin Fei stood in front of everyone, staring at these monsters and said. No, we have tried it before, and the supernatural locks seem to have never existed for some reason. Long Jian shook his head and told them what they had done before. That's troublesome, it seems that we are doomed. Huolin Fei smiled bitterly, thinking that they could die on the same day of the same year. Father told me before that as long as our faith in our hearts is firm enough, we can make the supernatural lock appear again. At this time, Tian Yu stood up and said to everyone. Everyone was stunned when they heard the words, and then slowly closed their eyes. Arm. Then everyone opened their eyes at the same time, and the supernatural locks appeared on their wrists, and they turned back into super beast warriors again. Great, we can do a big fight this time. Huolin Fei tightened his wrists and said excitedly to everyone. After a long time, after everyone solved all the monsters, they disarmed. These are just some monsters stronger than humans, but after they are armed, they cannot pose a threat to them, so they don't need super beast weapons at all. What on earth are these monsters? They actually appeared in the first parallel universe. After dealing with all the monsters, Huolin Fei and others began to analyze. After these monsters are killed, they will directly turn into ashes, which reminds everyone of the monsters they encountered before. It seems that you have regained your strength, not bad. At this time, a voice came, and everyone looked over quickly. Master. Huolin Fei, Tian Yu and Miao Tiao Juan were very excited when they saw this. It was the disappeared Xian Yitzi. Master, what on earth are these monsters? Huolin Fei came to Xian Yitzi and asked hurriedly. Before, Hades sent me a message that although the Ghost King was defeated, the power of his energy explosion was too strong and directly affected the seven parallel universes. As a result, the source beast energy contained in his body spread to all universes. These energies will be attached to some humans or animals, and then they will become this kind of monster. They no longer have human consciousness, but are just zombies controlled by negative energy. Xian Yitzi slowly told the source of the change. It was the work of the dead ghost king. Hades discovered this and asked Xian Yitzi to notify the super beast warriors. Damn, this ghost king is so lingering. Everyone was angry when they heard it. Senior, can I go back to my universe? I'm worried about my people. Tai Lei suddenly said at this time. There are no super beast warriors in their universe now, and the situation may not be optimistic. No need to do this. The place with the most negative energy is in this first parallel universe. Although there are also some in other parallel universes, they can't become a big climate. Xian Yitzi explained after hearing this. After hearing what Xian Yitzi said, Tai Lei put down his worries, and he couldn't go back to his own universe for the time being. Super Beast Warriors, your new journey has begun. After Xian Yitzi finished speaking, he turned around and slowly left. In the underworld, in the palace where Hades was. Hades closed the image in front of him, which was about what Huolin Fei and others had just experienced. Since he temporarily broke through the seventh level, his spirit seemed to have broken through the limit, allowing him to go to other parallel universes. Even so, he couldn't watch other worlds at will. This time it was just because Tian Yu was there and had a blood connection, so he could directly see the images of Huolin Fei and others. It seems that everyone's fate has been changed. This is the best result. Hades was silent for a long time, and then slowly said. He still remembered the destiny space he saw at the beginning, the last super beast god seven combined to fight the ghost king. After the big explosion, it seemed to return to peace, but it was a new reincarnation. All time returned to the beginning, which was a new reincarnation, and then everyone would embark on the journey of becoming super beast warriors again. The ghost king failed, but he didn't fail completely. The super beast warrior succeeded, but not completely. Just as Xian Yitzi said at the end, what has happened will happen again what has been done will be done again. 
This is a new cycle, and Xian Yitzi, as a person who has been maintaining the stability of the universe, must have experienced many such things. Chapter, 81 The matter with Hades has come to an end for the time being. Now he is staying in his own territory, recovering from his injuries while experiencing the feeling of becoming a seventh-level player. In the chat group, Shu Chen thought of what he had considered before. He has been helping everyone all the time, and he is too diligent. He needs to have the status of a big boss. Although Shu Chen in the chat group is created according to the modern five good youth, he is inevitably a little irritated after doing it too many times. Thinking of his previous plan, he decided to pull a few powerful group members, at least stronger than Hades, so that he could solve most of the problems in the group. After making the decision, Shu Chen closed his eyes and directly used the power of the chat group to search for suitable targets in the heavens and the worlds. Very good, the first one is her. Shu Chen nodded slightly. After deciding on the first target, he turned around to look for the next person. The second one, let's find another one next, and then I can fish well. After a long time, Shu Chen found a person, and he had some connection with him, and then decided to pull another one in. Soon, the third target was found, and then several people were invited. In a certain world, a beautiful woman in white clothes and long flowing hair suddenly received a message. Ding, the owner of the chat group of all heavens and worlds, Shu Chen, invites you to join the chat group. Do you agree? Although the woman has a beautiful face, she is expressionless, but there is a suffocating sense of oppression around her. The message in her mind made her frown slightly. She couldn't think of anyone else in the world who could suddenly break into her mind without her knowing. With her courage, she would not be scared. Although she didn't know the origin of this chat group, it sounded like a mysterious organization. The woman hesitated a little and agreed to join directly, wanting to see what this place was. For so many years, there was almost nothing that could make her curious, except that she had been planning that similar flower. Now it seems that there is one more existence that makes her a little interested. On the other side, a voice also appeared in the mind of a young man with sword eyebrows and star eyes, but he was quite shocked. Ding, the owner of the chat group of all heavens and all worlds, Shu Chen, invites you to join the chat group. Do you agree? What shocked him was not the so-called chat group, but the name of the owner. He not only heard of it, but also saw it with his own eyes. Without hesitation, the young man chose to agree directly. At the same time, the last woman also received an invitation. A little girl who was a little cute heard something, but didn't think much about it. She just agreed directly and then continued her own business. But what she didn't know was that another consciousness was awake at this time, looking at this strange chat group. Ding, the owner of the chat group, Shi Chen, invites the ruthless emperor, Tong Tian Jiaozhu, and Tushan Hong Hong to join the chat group. New members are welcome to join. At this time, a voice resounded over the chat group square, making everyone look over, and even some offline people went online directly. This time was different from the past. In the past, the chat group always pulled people in, but this time it was the owner of the group who invited them personally. Everyone wanted to see who had this face. Shocked, the group owner actually invited people in person, I'm afraid I'm not dreaming. Wendy appeared, he didn't even drink his favorite cider, and directly expressed her shock to everyone. In fact, everyone was similar to him, and they didn't expect that someone would be worthy of the group owner's invitation. Not long after, three figures appeared in the chat group square, one man and two women. The man looked like a young man, wearing a Taoist robe, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes. One of the two women was dressed in white, with long hair fluttering, expressionless, but with a domineering look that looked down on everyone. The other person wore a red ancient skirt with a white long-sleeved robe, a golden orange hair, and a pair of cute animal ears on her head. Big brothers and sisters, the information about the chat group has been transmitted to your minds. You can read it before speaking. A cute elementary school student ran over, it was Conan who was playing an elementary school student again. None of them spoke, and then closed their eyes to digest the new information. Soon, several people opened their eyes, but they had the same look of shock. They all agreed to join the chat group for their own reasons, but they didn't expect that this was actually an existence that connected the heavens and the worlds. 
There were countless worlds outside their world. Junior Tong Tian, meet the Daozuan. Tong Tian had known Shi Chen for a long time, but he didn't know his origins. Now he really knew what kind of existence he was. The Chaos Demon God, who was born in the chaos with Pangu, has reached the realm of the Great Tao that Pangu could not reach. This person is really the top existence in the endless world, and he cannot tolerate disrespect. Not only that, Shi Chen is still in the prehistoric world. He and the other party are in the same world, and the pressure suddenly appeared. It doesn't matter. I am a trace of spiritual power separated from the main body. There are not so many details. You can call me the same as them. Shi Chen smiled when he heard it. May I ask, are you the legendary immortal? At this time, the ruthless emperor suddenly asked. I am not an immortal, but I am an existence that transcends immortals. Shi Chen knew the past of the ruthless man, so he answered directly. Then what is the purpose of your inviting me here? The ruthless man continued to ask. Alas, I let you in here just because I wanted to be lazy. You don't need to know now, but you will know it later, and I won't treat you unfairly. Shi Chen smiled when he heard this, and then told everyone their respective destinies. Ding, group leader Shi Chen uploaded Hong Huang This is Hong Huang without changing the plot, Shi Tian Trilogy, and Fox Demon Little Matchmaker, and the destiny space has been generated, and 3000 points have been obtained. As Shi Chen took action, several people knew that this was their respective destinies. Although they were very shocked, they did not hesitate and went directly into it to watch. Soon, Tong Tian Jiaozhu came out first. With his current strength as an early quasi-saint, he almost finished watching it in one glance, not to mention that there was no time passing in the destiny space. Is this really my destiny? Tong Tian Jiaozhu suffered a big blow, and there were two things that he could not let go of the most. One was that his three brothers, San Qin, would eventually split up because of the discord between their respective sects, and finally he left Kunlun Mountain and fled to Jinao Island in the East China Sea. The other is that the Jiajiao sect he founded later was actually sent to the conferred god list by his elder brother and second brother, along with outsiders. Although he had never seen the conferred god list, he had already known from the fate space what this heavenly book conferred god list was. What is the so-called immortality, immortality, is still subject to others, and cannot practice on their own, can only rely on merit to improve strength. Tong Tian, I don't care what choice you make in the future, whether you will let your disciples enter the conferred god list, but you can't tell Laozi and Yuancher everything about the chat group at present. Shi Chen reminded Tong Tian to come back to his senses. Dao Zun, Tong Tian knows. Nonsense, how could he not know, how dare he offend this big guy? Not to mention that he has not yet become a saint, even if he becomes a saint, he will just be crushed to death in front of this person, isn't this asking for trouble? Chapter, 82 Thank you for letting me see my destiny. I didn't expect that we would face so many crises in the future. The ruthless emperor also finished reading. She didn't expect that there were really immortals in the world, and if her future destiny was really as demonstrated in the destiny space, it would not be bad, but the future threats were too terrifying. If it weren't for Sher Hao's arbitrary sword, I'm afraid their current world would have been gone long ago. After reading it, did you have your own answer? Shi Chen asked at this time. For that Yi Hei, the ruthless person also understood that it was just a similar flower and could never be her brother. And she also had a new goal, to achieve the immortal emperor faster and help the emperor Huang Tian as soon as possible. Since he finally walked out of his own way, then it doesn't matter whether he is the person I am looking for or not. As long as I believe in my heart that he is, then he is. And I need to achieve the immortal emperor faster than before. The ruthless emperor was silent after hearing this, and then slowly said. In that case, what about you? Little fox. Shi Chen then looked at Tushan Hong Hong again. At this time, Tushan Hong Hong had already lost all her magic power and memory, and had become Tushan Susu. But now the situation has changed again. Shi Chen invited Tushan Hong Hong, but Hong Hong and Susu are actually the same person. They can be said to be two different personalities. Tushan Susu accepted the invitation, so she awakened Tushan Hong Hong's consciousness. 
Now Tushan Honghong has entered the chat group, but the consciousness of another Tushan Susu can also come in, but with her often confused personality, she may not know yet. Now it's very interesting. Suddenly, Tushan Honghong's consciousness has awakened. She can wake up in Tushan Susu's body at any time and regain her own magic power. The two of them are like sharing a body, but they are two personalities of one person. Thank you for letting me see my results. At least my reincarnation and continuation of fate have not failed. I am also very satisfied with the results now. Moreover, Bai Yuechu is not the person I know, and there is no need for me to appear again. Tushan Honghong didn't care too much. Although she has become such a silly little fox demon now, everything is going in a good direction. Should we call the other you in? You will meet here sooner or later. At this time, everyone had finished looking at their respective destiny spaces and suggested to Tushan Honghong. Well. Okay, she should know all this. Tushan Honghong thought about it and went offline directly. By the way, you can look at everyone's destiny space, and everyone can get to know each other. After several people had looked at their own destiny spaces, they opened their own destiny to everyone, and now they are also very interested in other people's worlds. Soon Tushan Honghong brought Tushan Susu. It was a bit rare that one person could have two characters here. They were originally one person, and it was impossible to favor one over the other. Each person represented a personality. The difference is that Tushan Honghong has powerful magic power, which she originally had. Although she once made a wish under the bitter love tree and finally lost her magic power and memory, her memory is back in this life, and she can regain her magic power. Hey, where is this place? I still have snacks to eat. Tushan Susu was still a little confused, and was directly pulled in by Hong Hong. Looking at this other self who couldn't figure it out, Tushan Hong Hong couldn't help but hold her forehead. Thinking that she was once the number one in the demon clan, she couldn't help but want to commit suicide. Finally, after a lot of words, Tushan Susu finally understood the current situation. So, big sister, you are me in my previous life. This is a place that connects to other worlds. Tushan Susu's confused little head finally sorted things out. That's roughly the situation. I've decided that I will teach you secretly in reality in the future. Tushan Hong Hong made a decision. In order not to embarrass herself too much, she decided to teach herself. Ah, that's great. With the help of my sister, I will definitely become a qualified fox demon. Tushan Susu was excited when she heard this. After seeing all the destinies, even if she was stupid, she knew how strong this person's previous life was. With her teaching herself, she would definitely be able to become a qualified red thread fairy. I've said it all, I'm you, you don't have to call me sister. Tushan Honghong had no choice but to accept this setting. If you want to have your own life again, I can reshape a body for you and separate your two consciousnesses, so that you will be two independent individuals. At this time, Churchin suddenly reminded. This. Forget it. For the time being, I still like this. At least when she is in danger, I can come out to protect her. Tu Shan Hong Hong felt a moment of joy in her heart, but still gave up a plan. After all, she couldn't bear to abandon Su Su. It's up to you, but I am also looking forward to your future development. Shi Chen smiled, as if he had the pleasure of chasing a drama. Speaking of which, I just know that the cultivation system that the group leader gave us at the beginning was actually the practice of the Great Emperor's world. At this time, Bibi Dong appeared. She had not seen her for a long time, and now she has completely established a foothold in Dolua continent. The cultivation system in your world was too deformed before. It is still okay now, but the world level is too low. The ruthless emperor said after hearing this. Are you willing to worship me as your master? At this time, the ruthless man suddenly said. With her cold temperament, she actually wanted to take on a disciple, which was considered a change. Is it really possible? Emperor. Bibi Dong was stunned when he heard this, and then said excitedly. The ruthless emperor nodded, having seen Bibi Dong's past destiny space, she also admired this girl quite a lot. Now that she knew everything about the future, she could also accept a disciple. 
In the future, they will have to face countless terrifying enemies, no matter how many helpers they have it just so happens that Yi Hei is coming to Beidou soon, so they can compete together. There is also an opponent on the Imperial Road. You can take some time to go to Zhijian World, and I will teach you in the ancient Forbidden Land. I will, Master. Bibi Dong nodded. Master, I wonder what the level of the Immortal Emperor is among the heavens and the worlds. The Ruthless Emperor is now taking the path of the mortal immortal. Although she has not become an immortal, she is still much stronger than the average emperor. In the chat group, her level is 6th level, which is equivalent to the realm of Golden Immortal, similar to Pluto Saitama, but she is about to break through 7th level. The level of Zhijian world is considered to be a middle to high level world, but even the great emperor will only have a lifespan of several thousand years if he cannot live out his second life. Although it is equivalent to a Golden Immortal, it only has combat power but no lifespan. If it were placed in the prehistoric times, Jinxian could easily live for 10,000 years. Nowadays, the level of ruthless people in the chat group is on the third level, while the quasi-sage cultivation of Master Tong Tian is on the ninth level, which is the second level. Hong Hong and Su Su are special cases. Tushan Hong Hong is the fourth level, and Tushan Su Su is the first level. Their mode is very strange. The immortal emperor in your world is only equivalent to the peak of Deluo, and is not too strong. Shi Chen smiled when he heard this. In Zhitian, there is a difference between the great emperor and the great emperor. A great emperor who has just become a Taoist is only equivalent to entering the golden immortal realm for the first time. While an emperor like Xiang Ruan who is walking on the path of mortal immortality is like a golden immortal reaching the realm of Taiyi. After becoming an immortal, you can enter the seventh level, just like the Taiyi Golden Immortal. True immortals and immortal kings are seventh level Taiyi Golden Immortals, while quasi immortal emperors are equivalent to quasi de Luo Golden Immortals. Although not as good as de Luo, they are stronger than ordinary Taiyi Golden Immortals. Once you enter the ranks of immortal emperors, you can become a great Luo Jinxian, cut off the past and future, and only have the present body. Because worlds are different from each other, so are their rules. The immortal Emperor Zhitian is immortal. Even if he is killed, as long as someone remembers his name, he can be resurrected and come back countless years later. The great Luo Jinxian among all the heavens and worlds has jumped out of the five elements and three realms the world is immortal and can be resurrected and come back after countless years. Regardless of the past or future, all timelines of oneself belong to the present. You can trace the long river of time to become the great Luo Jinxian. From this point of view, they are still similar. Chapter, 83 Now that he has invited a few more capable people to the chat group, he doesn't have to worry about it all the time. He always thinks about finding a world to play in. When in the chat group, he is not as stoic as the real person. He prefers to play around. As for practicing, isn't there a real body here? Thinking of this, Shi Chen picked it up directly. He planned to play in these worlds for a while. After searching for a while, I finally chose a world and went there without telling other group members. This time, unlike before, I went to help other group members in their world. I just wanted to take a stroll. And I am different from them. I don't need their consent to enter other people's world. I can come and leave whenever I want. Chat groups are easy to talk to, don't you believe it? Let it discuss with the main body. Shi Chen felt the time at this moment and knew what was going to happen here. He did not go to the group members here, but went to another interesting guy. Hey, classmate, I have a magic secret book from the magic association here. It only costs 99 yuan. If you want it, I will sell it to you. Shi Shi turned into a middle-aged man who was very similar to himself, dressed in modern casual clothes, and stopped a high school boy who was about to go home just after school. Uncle, if you want to deceive people, you can't use such unreliable methods. There is no magic in this world. But if you want to see a magic show, I can show it to you. The high school student stopped. Looked at Shir Shir with contempt. Well, you perform a magic trick for me, and I will give you this secret book. Shi Chen smiled when he heard this, and then said smoothly. Uh, uncle, do you want to watch a free magic show? Forget it, let me show you a show. The young man was stunned when he heard this, 
but then he didn't care. Look, my backpack is empty. He said, opening his school bag without a book and letting Shurchen take a look. After reading it, the other party closed his school bag directly. Next, please open your eyes wide. As he said that, he opened his backpack. In an instant, countless pigeons flew out of it, blocking his figure instantly. When the pigeons finally dispersed, I looked around and saw that this young man was still in front of me. He had obviously run away. Interesting. Shi Chen curled his lips, then turned and left. However, the secret book in his hand had long since disappeared. Phew, he finally came here. Where did this strange uncle come from? He couldn't be a terrorist or something. Kuroba Kaido breathed a sigh of relief when he returned home. The uncle before gave him a sense of danger, as if someone was pointing a gun at him, which made him shudder. For the sake of his own life, he suggested performing a magic trick, and then he ran away directly. Fortunately, I forgot to bring my books today, otherwise it would be really difficult to carry so many books on my back. As he said that, Kuroba Kaido patted his school bag, but was suddenly stunned. Huh. This is. Feeling that there seemed to be something inside his school bag, Kuroba Kaido quickly opened his school bag and saw a book lying squarely inside. It was exactly the secret book that the strange uncle had sold him before. Kuroba Kaido narrowed his eyes when he saw this. He felt that he had met his opponent this time. He didn't even notice how the book came in. He must be a master. I took out the book and looked at it carefully. I didn't find anything like a mechanism, so I temporarily relaxed and slowly opened the book. This is. The book Shi Chen gave him actually recorded some magic. The difference was that there were almost no attack spells, and many of them were used for auxiliary functions. For example, transformation, flying, armor hiding, healing, etc. There are also some weather spells that can temporarily control the weather in an area, such as direct rain, snow, wind, etc. Although his attack is insufficient, in terms of support, he can definitely become the top phantom thief. He is already a very powerful phantom thief, this time the main purpose is to allow him to have a friendly interaction with Conan, so that the little guy will not be in the group all day long. In fact, what Kaitu Kid said when he first met Conan, although it was suspected of flattering himself, was undoubtedly very accurate. If the Phantom Thief is a creative artist who steals treasures with gorgeous techniques, then the detective is just following the thief and criticizing, and is nothing more than a critic at best. It's a pity that he met Conan, and the two formed a bad relationship from then on, and were almost caught by Conan several times. Awesome, there really is magic. Is there really any magic association? But isn't magic the kind that destroys the world? Why is there no one attacking? Kuroba Kaido was at this moment. Looking at the secret book carefully, the magic recorded in it opened his eyes, but there was no attack magic, but he was not disappointed. He was not a phantom thief who liked to hurt people. That guy must know my identity, otherwise he wouldn't give me this. There happens to be an operation soon, and I need to learn some practical magic quickly. Kuroba Kaido started meditating according to the records in the book. As soon as he opened the book before, a piece of information appeared in his mind. He just found it in the book, a magic called information storage. You can save a piece of information in a magical way, and then set an opportunity to activate the magic, and the information will directly enter the mind of the person closest to you. After this magic at the beginning, he believed that there is really magic in the world, although he didn't know that it was not the magic of their world. According to the description in the book, if you want to learn magic, you need to meditate according to the method first, and then sense the magic elements in the air. Shi Chen opened a small plug-in for Kuroba Kaido, allowing him to sense all magic elements. Ordinary people can only sense one or two elements at most. In the future, Kaido Kid may be called a magician instead of a magician, or should he be called a full-time magician in the future. Not long after, Kuroba Kaido sensed all the magic elements. Only when he sensed the corresponding magic elements can he use the corresponding magic. Of course, there are some magic that does not require elements, such as transformation, flying, etc. Which only require magic power and knowledge of methods. At this time, 
He is learning a magic called storage space, which can use some materials to make magic props that can store items for people like him who need various props when taking action, it is simply the best gospel. Ah, I meditated all night and I'm still so energetic. It turns out that this can replace sleep. The next morning, Kuroba Kaido finished his meditation. I'm going to take action soon. This time I'm going to pick some magic that I can use first, and then I'll hurry up and learn these. At the table, Kuroba Kaido was eating breakfast while thinking about what magic he would use. This time he wanted to surprise everyone. It seems that I have to change my name to the magician under the moonlight. Well, this name is not bad. Kuroba Kaido thought narcissistically. Kaido, if you don't leave now, you will be late, you big fool. At this time, a female voice came. It was Nakamori Aoko who came over. Looking at the wretched Kuroba Kaido, she couldn't help but roared. Ah, I'm here. Kuroba Kaido didn't think about it anymore. He grabbed a piece of bread, put away the magic secret book, and ran out directly. Chapter, 84 A few days later, two young women came into the Maori detective agency where Conan worked. This was the famous stage actress Makiri. This time she came because of a letter of warning from the Kaido kid, saying that she was going to take the sapphire ring worn by Makiri on the stage, the gem of destiny. Seeing this, Conan knew about this incident and had to confront the pretentious Kaido again, but this time he was very sure to catch him. In fact, Conan and Kid were both enemies and friends. Conan wanted to catch him just to prove his ability, and would not really hand him over to the police, at least he didn't have such an idea now. Kid knew that Conan's real identity was Kudo Shinichi, and Conan now knew Kid's real identity, a high school student of the same year as himself, named Kuroba Kaido. To be honest, the two fathers still had some origins, which made him want to teach Kid a lesson even more. Finally, the time came to the afternoon of Kid's action. Conan and his group came to the Universe Theater where the performance was held, and everyone met Kid's old rival, Officer Nakamori. This theater is pretty good. I haven't been so relaxed in modern society for a long time. Shuchen also came here and was strolling behind the crowd. Because his appearance was slightly adjusted to his middle-aged appearance, and Conan's attention was on Kid, he didn't notice him. He probably didn't expect that such a powerful group leader would come here to hang out like this. Although Conan knew the plot a long time ago, he had prevented many tragedies from happening before, so he didn't know what changes would happen in the future. This is the butterfly effect. In view of this, Conan is still looking for Kid seriously, but he estimates that this guy will become his appearance. Sure enough, after meeting Officer Nakamori, he introduced a friend to everyone, Kudo Shinichi, who was pretended by Kid. This damn guy actually pretended to be me. This time I must make you look good. Although he had seen it in the destiny space a long time ago, this time it still made Conan angry and felt that his head was a little green. This guy is really bold. He just showed up like this and turned into your appearance. Hui Yuan, who was standing by, couldn't help but tease Conan when she saw his expression. Humph, I must beat that guy up this time. Conan snorted angrily when he saw that guy teasing Xiaolan all the time. At least you don't have to bother looking for him anymore, right? Hui Yuan laughed when he heard that. Conan didn't say anything, but quietly waited for the stage play to begin. Soon the night fell, and it was finally time for the stage play to begin. Sitting in the audience, Conan looked at Kid. He knew that the other party's target was not today, and that the ring was fake, so he didn't look at Kid here, and went directly to the rooftop. After a long time, a sound of footsteps came, and Conan finally waited for Kid to arrive. Oh, I didn't expect you to guess that I was here. Kid, dressed as a security guard, came to the rooftop and found Conan who was waiting for him. Kid, you can't escape this time. Conan turned around and looked at Kid and smiled. Oh. Really? Little brother. Seeing this, Kid no longer hid and changed back to his own appearance. Conan had long known Kid's methods, so he stopped talking nonsense with him and started to act directly. Although Conan is now at the second level, his physical fitness is only slightly better than others. In addition to some basic ninjutsu, he also has the terrifying aura of the god of death. 
This is a passive ability, with a certain probability of killing a stranger, but this kind of death will manifest in various unexpected situations, so he is quite distressed. Except for the passive ability that sounds powerful but is useless to Kid, Conan can only use ninjutsu. Thinking of this, Conan went straight to the action and made seals with both hands. Water Escape, Water Prison Technique As Conan finished the seal, a huge water ball immediately appeared under Kid's feet, instantly surrounding Kid. Damn, what the hell is this? After Kid was trapped, he immediately wanted to escape, but he couldn't break the water prison at all. Kid, stop struggling. You can't escape my water prison technique. Conan smiled and walked slowly to Kid. Is there really a magic association in this world? But this is very similar to the legendary ninjutsu. Kid didn't remember Conan knowing this. When did he learn it, Hawaii? After struggling many times without success, Kid stopped trying. Well, it seems that I still underestimated you. Looking at the arrogant Conan in front of him, Kid shrugged helplessly. What? Do you still think you can escape? He has been fighting wits and courage with Kid for so long, and he has let him escape every time. This time he will bet on his reputation as a detective and will not let Kid escape easily. Although Conan thought it through very well, he didn't know that someone secretly upgraded his copy level a few days ago. At this time, in the air not far from here, a figure was floating here under the night sky, watching the two people fighting wits and courage. I hope Conan will like the gift I gave him, but he probably won't care. As he said that, Shuchin secretly opened the live broadcast. However, unlike previous live broadcasts, this one is a private live broadcast, and only a password can be entered. After starting the live broadcast, he directly tagged everyone except Conan and sent the password to everyone. Where is this, group leader? I didn't expect you to start a live broadcast. As soon as everyone came in, they saw that it didn't seem to be the group leader's world, but a modern city. Hey, look, that seems to be Conan. Wendy suddenly reminded. Seeing this, everyone hurried over and saw Conan. There was a huge water ball in front of him, and it seemed that there was a person imprisoned in it. It's the water prison technique. It seems that Conan is catching someone. Uchiha Madara is very clear about ninjutsu. He saw at a glance that Conan was using the ninjutsu he taught him. Oh, who was it, it turned out to be Kaido Kid. Because of the samsara eye, his eyesight was not bad, and he could clearly see who was imprisoned in the water prison. Group leader, how did you come to Conan's world? Tony suddenly asked at this time. Nothing, just come here to play. The original body created me, and I have never played seriously. Shi Chen smiled and said. What else is there to see? Although the Kaido kid has many tricks, he will definitely fail this time against Conan who knows the plot and can do ninjutsu. Everyone expressed their opinions. This is an obvious fact. That's not necessarily true. You will know if you continue to watch. Shi Chen smiled mysteriously. Huh? Seeing Shi Chen say this, everyone couldn't help but become interested and hurriedly continued to watch. Henren and Tong Tian took a look and left directly. They were not interested in this. It was better to practice. Soon there was a new change in the field. It was Kaido Kid. Although I am surprised by your tricks, if you really think you can catch me like this, you are wrong. Kid smiled after saying this, and then pressed the brim of the white hat with one hand. Freezing. With a light snap of his fingers, the flowing water solidified at a speed visible to the naked eye and soon turned into a huge ice ball. Chapter 85 after the water froze, Kid took out his poker gun and smashed the ice directly. What? Conan was shocked when he saw this. Doesn't Kid know magic? Is this magic too? Little detective, I will withdraw first. With that said, Kid jumped directly from the rooftop. Stop, Kid. Conan immediately followed after seeing this, and at the same time, he aimed the anesthesia needle in his hand at Kid. Shwa. An anesthesia needle was shot, but Kid dodged it. Come on, little detective. Kid turned around, and a strong gust of wind hit him, sending Conan flying around. 
Conan struggled to control his parachute, and with a flick of his hand, several wooden darts appeared and were thrown at Kid instantly. This was specially prepared for Kid. Its lethality is limited, but it can prevent the opponent's actions. Let me go, you still have such a thing. Kid was shocked when he saw this. While controlling the hang glider, he raised the poker gun and shot down the dart. Then, Kid raised his poker gun and aimed it at the top of Conan's parachute. Look at the good things I have prepared for you, so that you will no longer follow me, the water mist technique. The playing cards exploded above Conan's head, and then turned into countless water mist, which not only blocked Conan's sight, but also caused his parachute absorbed water and became heavier, slowly descending downwards. Bye bye, little detective. Kid looked at the descending Conan and waved to him with a smile. Do you think you can escape now? Conan didn't panic when he saw this. He quickly formed seals with his hands, and then a strong hurricane came out of his mouth. Wind escape big breakthrough. Conan released his wind release directly downwards, and then used this momentum to continue rising, catching up with Kid again. Conan has tested his chakra attributes before and has two characteristics of feng shui, so he has learned these two ninjutsu very well. Immediately after forming seals quickly, a huge stream of water spit out from its mouth. Water release exploding water wave. The flow of water was so great that Kid couldn't dodge and was knocked down by the impact. The next second, it fell straight down. Fuck, where did you get all these weird tricks? Kid tried hard to control the glider, trying to get it back on track, but he couldn't. Seeing that he was about to fall to the ground, Kid teleported and immediately reached the ground. Kid released the hang glider on his back and planned to escape. This time he made some miscalculations. He didn't expect this guy to have so many strange tricks. Are there really ninjas in this world? This gave him a headache, and he was afraid that he would encounter it in the future. At this time, Conan also landed on the ground and took out a dart. Hey, are you serious? That thing hurts your body. Kid saw a pair of darts that Conan took out from somewhere, and immediately lost his composure and said to Conan quickly. Kid, don't worry, I won't hand you over to the police, but I will give you a good beating. Seeing that Kid had nowhere to escape, Conan's smile gradually became abnormal. He wanted to beat Kid. For a long time. I have been following this guy to get rid of the dust before, and I have never caught him. In addition, today I molested Xiaolan in front of him. New and old hatreds are added together. If he doesn't give him a good beating to vent his anger, but will be choked. Watching Conan slowly approach, Kid was not nervous. Swamp magic. As Conan walked forward, his feet fell directly into a swamp, and he was unable to move for a while. Hey, freezing technique. Then Kid directly used the freezing technique to freeze the swamp under Conan's feet, so that Conan could only stand in place. Hateful. Conan was a little careless and his feet were frozen, making him unable to escape for a while. Wind release, gale wind palm. He formed seals with his hands, and then slapped the ice blocks below, instantly shattering the ice blocks that froze his feet. Then, Conan was afraid of a long night and many dreams, so he directly bullied him. Water escape water body. In an instant, two more clones jumped out of Conan, and together with the main body, the three Conan ran towards Kid. Kid was shocked when he saw this and quickly released his magic. Bing you. As Kid's magic was released, bursts of extremely cold ice rain appeared, instantly freezing Conan's two water clones. Then, without hesitation, Kid released his magic again. Violent storm. Ice fog technique. The strong wind and heavy rain hit, and combined with Kid's ice fog, the rain turned into hail, and at the same time, with the help of the wind, it hit Conan. Water release, water formation wall. Seeing this, Conan quickly used defensive ninjutsu to block Kid's attack. Swish. At the same time, two water clones of Conan appeared behind Kid and threw wooden shurikens at Kid. I'm going, it hurts. Kid was suddenly attacked and turned around quickly. No, you have to leave quickly, or the police will come soon. Kid was thinking a lot in his mind. He dodged a few more water clone attacks, 
and then played the poker card blessed with freezing technology from the poker gun. Two water clones were hit instantly. In an instant, the two water avatars froze directly into ice cubes, and then Kid shot them twice, turning them into broken ice on the ground. At this time Conan rushed out of the ice rain and ran directly towards Kid. Bye, little detective, see you next time. A prop appeared in Kid's hand, and he pressed it directly. A sudden burst of bright light hit him, causing Conan to subconsciously close his eyes. Seeing that his goal was achieved, Kid directly took out a spare glider from the storage space. The difference is that there are two jet devices behind this hang glider, which can take off on the spot. After taking off, in order to prevent Conan from chasing after him again, he quickly released a lot of wind magic behind him to give himself some push. A few seconds later, when Conan opened his eyes, he only saw a distant black dot. Damn it, this guy escaped again, but I should give you a parting gift. Wind release, pressure. In an instant, a high-pressure wind ball appeared and flew towards Kid. At the same time, Kid Jian had thrown away Conan and was slowly rushing home. Oh, I'm really smart. This detective can only suffer from my behind. Kid was narcissistic when he suddenly felt a strong wind pressure coming from behind. I'm going to do what is that. The next second, a high-pressure wind ball hit Kid, causing him to accelerate uncontrollably and fly away into the distance. Damn it, I will definitely come back. As Kid screamed, he gradually disappeared into the night sky. Oh, if I let you brat play the piano and don't teach you a lesson, my work as a detective will be in vain. Conan clapped his hands and walked back slowly. Okay, that's it for today. I'll leave first. There's still a lot of food left to eat. When Shirchen saw that there was no excitement, he said hello to everyone, turned off the live broadcast and left. Ha! Huh. Could it be that I am also infected by Conan? Wherever I go, accidents happen, and it seems a bit serious this time. Just as Sher Chen was about to leave, he immediately looked in a certain direction, as if some unknown change was happening, which made him frown. Forget it, it's Conan's world after all, let him solve it by himself, but it seems that accidents have happened too frequently recently. Sher Chen thought about it and decided not to care about it for the time being, and some things were so unreasonable that he had to investigate. After all, this body is not the original body. It cannot be traced back to the origin and find the answer in the long river of time. Moreover, it is only a trivial matter to the original body, so there is no need to trouble the original body. Thinking of this, the hour disappeared into the thick night. Chapter 86 The next afternoon, Conan and his party accepted the invitation of the actresses and went to their celebration banquet together. On the plane, Conan recalled the Kaido kid he met yesterday. He was just a thief who played magic before, but this time he could use magic. This style is not right. At this time, he suddenly thought of something. Originally, there would be a murder on this plane. After thinking about it, although the actress had some problems with her character, it was not a reason for him not to save her, but he needed to find a suitable excuse. At this time, Conan saw the man named Shinjo Gong, and knew that this was Kaido Kid. He thought about confronting him directly. Thinking of this, Conan untied the seat belt and went over. Brother Shinjo, Brother Shinjo, you played Iplet Charol so well yesterday. Can I ask you a question? As he said that, he pulled him towards the toilet. Oh. I didn't expect that there was a little fan of mine here. Kid was shocked when he saw this, but he didn't show it. Instead, he went to the toilet with Conan. The two came to the toilet, and Conan closed the toilet. Kid, I didn't expect to meet you again. I really underestimated you. You found me so quickly. Are you following me? Kid no longer concealed it and admitted it directly. I'm not going to catch you this time, and you won't steal the ring again. Conan knew that Kid had checked the ring, so he just made it clear. Oh. How do you know I don't want the ring? Kid was shocked, but continued to ask calmly. Because it's a fake ring. You knew it when you kissed her hand just now. Conan looked at Kid and explained. Okay, okay, you know all this, that's right, then what do you, the great detective, want to do with me now? 
you don't want to show off your wisdom in front of me, do you? Kid said helplessly. Actually, I know that Miss McCurry was poisoned, on both sides of her nose. I want to ask you for help to prevent this tragedy from happening. Huh? Why poison there? So that's it, to let her eat it, what a good plan, but I'm curious, how did you know? Kid was shocked when he heard it, and then he reacted instantly. Poisoning on both sides of the other party's nose is to let the other party's fingers touch the poison unknowingly, and then give her something to eat, so that she can kill people unknowingly. And why she touches the poisonous part with her hands can only be when she is on the plane. Because the sound of the plane taking off will make many people feel tinnitus, the best way is to pinch the nose and blow hard, so that the poison will get into her hands without anyone noticing. And from the beginning of makeup to everything afterwards, you need to be familiar with her eating habits. The only one who wants to meet these two points is the makeup artist who has been with her. It must be said that Kid has a high IQ. As long as he is given the result, he can quickly deduce all this. While Kid was thinking, Conan did not answer his doubts. Don't worry about how I know. Now you need to play your role. After all, it is a life. As for the murderer, we can call her and Miss McCurry together and mediate between them. I have already investigated their conflicts. Since you have already planned it, I won't say much. Leave everything to me. Kid smiled and agreed directly. After the two chatted, they left here directly. After that, Kid went directly to the makeup artist Sakai Natsuki and lied that he smelled the almond smell on Makiri's face. He guessed that it was a cyanide poison. In addition, the other party's uncomfortable expression must be the result of the poison penetrating into the skin. Finally, he repeated the previous reasoning, which frightened Sakai Natsuki so much that she had to admit her criminal method. Now, before she is poisoned, you should confess your crime to everyone. At least your attempted murder will not be a big crime. Moreover, I also know why you want to kill her. I believe that after this time, even if you want to stay, she will not dare to leave a person who can kill her at any time. Kid looked at Makuri who was heading to the bathroom, and analyzed the current situation to Sakai Natsuki again. I know. Sakai Natsuki was silent for a long time, and finally made a decision. Everyone. I want to confess my crime to everyone. Sakai Natsuki's voice came, and everyone looked over. Crime. Miss Sakai, what did you do? Maori Kagoro said with a puzzled look. Actually, I wanted to kill Miss Makuri on this plane, and I was about to succeed. But Mr. Shinjo found out, so I can only confess my crime. After saying that, she collapsed on the ground. After that, she told everyone about her crime method, which made everyone shocked. It was so cleverly designed. After that, she talked about why she wanted to kill him. It was all because she wanted to quit her job and go abroad to realize her dream of becoming a top makeup artist, but she was always blocked by Maki Shuri. Maki Shuri was shocked when she heard this, and hurried to the bathroom to wash off all the makeup on her face. We will hand you over to the police after we get off the plane. Fortunately, Mr. Shinjo stopped you and no tragedy happened. You just attempted murder and won't be punished much. Mari Kagoro walked up to her, patted her on the shoulder and said. So, you hate me to this extent? Makashuri walked out of the bathroom and sighed at Sakai Natsuki. Don't worry, I will let you pursue your dream after I go back this time. After this incident, Makashuri didn't dare to use her anymore, so she let her do her own thing. No, go check on the captain and tell them not to eat. At this time, Conan suddenly thought of something and hurriedly asked the stewardess to go to the captain's room. Before, Makashuri went to the bathroom and went to the captain's room again, and the captain and the co-pilot kissed her hand by chance, and the stewardess just brought the food in. Everyone was shocked when they heard it, and hurriedly ran to the captain's room together. Damn it, I was so busy trying to stop her from killing people that I forgot about this. Fortunately, I learned it in Hawaii. Conan was furious and could only hope that they hadn't eaten yet this time. Unfortunately, when everyone went in, they found that the captain and the co-pilot were already unconscious. What happened afterwards was just like the original plot. A doctor was called to treat the two urgently, while Conan and Kid went to fly the plane. It's coming, Conan. 
At this time, Shuchen, who had disappeared for a day, appeared in the cockpit and said behind Conan. Conan was delighted to see this and hurriedly said to Shuchen, Boss, what's coming? After Shuchen's live broadcast before, Conan also knew it from other people in the chat group. He didn't expect that the group owner would come to his world to stroll. It was not surprising to see Shuchen at this time, but he was quite confused about what he said. Hey! Aren't you the uncle who sold me the secret book? At this time, Kid also turned around and saw Shuchen. He recognized that this was the uncle who sold him the secret book before, and he didn't expect that he knew Conan. Kid was full of thoughts for a while, thinking that Conan was also taught by him. Conan was not surprised by this. Since the group leader was here and Kid knew magic, it must be the group leader's bad taste. You guys handle it well. If it doesn't work, you can call some people. I won't intervene. After saying that, Shuchen went straight back to his seat. It turned out that he had been sitting in the cabin with Conan and the others, but he didn't want others to find him, so no one could find him. Chapter 87 When Conan and Kid were flying the plane, several figures appeared outside the plane. Is this the new world? It seems to be no different. It's just a low-level world that hasn't even flown out of the planet. The planet is ruled by humans, and the threat level is one star. There are five figures on the plane that is traveling at high speed, and they seem to be analyzing something at this time. Well, they are here. Although they are very weak, there is an interesting guy behind them. Forget it, just treat it as their training. Shuchen looked up, then chuckled and stopped paying attention. Originally, he didn't know what was coming, but he knew everything when the other party stepped into this world. Although he couldn't see everything from the long river of time, he knew everything by tracking the breath they carried. Uncle, you have been staring at it and laughing for no reason. What are you doing? And this doesn't seem to be your seat. At this time, a female voice came from the side. Shuchen turned around and saw that it was A.I. Huihara. Originally, this was Conan's seat, but he went to fly the plane, so the seat was empty. Shuchen didn't care about this before, so he sat here directly, but he didn't expect that when he looked at the people above, he was seen by Huihara. Oh, I forgot, she can see me now. Shuchen suddenly remembered that when he was chatting with Conan before, he cancelled the feature that no one noticed him. Little friend, you will know later. Shuchen smiled and touched Huihara's head. Ah. Huihara seemed to be stiff in an instant, making her feel like she was being stared at by the black organization, which made her almost think that the other party was a member of the black organization. When Shuchen's hand dropped from her head, the feeling disappeared, but it made her alert. Don't be afraid, I'm not a good person. Oh, no, I'm not a bad person. Shuchen smiled, then closed his eyes, quietly waiting for something. Hui Yuan was relieved when he saw that Shuchen did not move, but he still looked in Shuchen's direction from time to time, as if he was staring at a criminal suspect. Captain, we have already found out that the strongest person in this world is in this plane. His strength is okay, only at the level of the second order. At this time, a short-haired girl looked at the middle-aged man in the middle and said, the man was as strong as a bear, with a huge scar on his left face, which spread from the corner of his eye to his chin, and looked extremely ferocious. Very good, then our war will start from here. The man called the captain smiled when he heard the words, and then showed a ferocious smile, like a devil in this sky full of lightning and thunder. This is a five-man team, with a captain and a vice-captain in the team. Both of them are at the third order, and the captain's strength is at the peak of the third order. The remaining three people, two men and one woman, are all at the second order, but they are also at the peak of the second order. Huang Ming, make a hole in the plane, we are coming in. The captain said, and ordered a man to do it. Understood, captain. The young man named Huang Ming was about to do it. At this time, a flash of lightning flashed and hit the man instantly. Pa! The man who was standing here just now disappeared instantly. Several people looked down and saw a figure with thick black smoke falling down, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Four people. Captain. Captain, are we here at the wrong time? Brother Ming is dead. The short-haired woman said in horror. 
Pucci, this little guy's passive is quite interesting. It's also their bad luck that they were hit down directly. At this time, Shi Chen in the plane laughed out loud, and Hui Yuan on the side couldn't help but look at him again. Is this uncle mentally ill? Hui Yuan was helpless and had to pretend to continue reading. The captain didn't talk nonsense this time, and he did it himself, trying to make a hole in the plane. Boom! With a loud noise, the plane immediately fell down, and everyone in the plane was thrown upside down. What happened? In the cockpit, Kid and Conan were almost blown out of the air, and couldn't help shouting. It seems that someone is attacking the plane from outside. It seems that we are in trouble. Conan thought of Shurchin's words before, and hurriedly said to Kid. What did you say? Someone attacked the plane from outside. Are you sure it wasn't hit by a meteor? Kid was stunned when he heard the words, and then he couldn't believe it. You control the plane first, I'll take care of the outside. Conan said, and got down from the co-pilot's seat. Hey, are you sure you can do it? Kid was shocked when he heard the words, and hurriedly shouted to Conan. It's okay, I have other friends who can help. Conan waved his hand and said. Kid was stunned when he heard the words, and then thought of Shurchin. He thought Conan was talking about Shurchin, so he put down a little worry. Conan opened the door of the cab, and then went to the toilet at the back, and changed into Kudo Shinichi's appearance. In this situation, he couldn't use Conan's appearance to cause trouble. Although he didn't want to use his original appearance, he had to do so. At this time, everyone in the cabin also found four people coming in from above. These four people were wearing strange clothes and holding weapons in their hands. The strong man in the lead was about two meters tall. This was the captain. He carried a huge sword on his back, which was as tall as him. The other three were a thin man with two short swords on his waist, like an assassin in the game. This was their deputy captain. The other one was a man and a woman. The man looked quite handsome. He held a long spear in his hand and wore armor like an ancient soldier. The last woman was the short-haired woman before. She was wearing a loose wizard robe and a staff that looked like a plant branch in her hand. There was a fiery red gem on it that was as big as a child's fist. Okay, everyone, now is the killing time. Bring out the strongest among you. The captain said, and crushed the head of a man next to him, causing everyone to run around in fear, but they couldn't escape the plane at all. Xiaolan, take care of your mother, let's wait and see what happens. Seeing this, Mari Kagoro, who was not far away, quickly stood in front of Xiaolan in Kisaki Eri and told Xiaolan. Xiaolan nodded when she heard this, and then looked towards the direction of the cab with some concern. Conan was still inside. Don't touch them, I'm here. At this time, a voice came, and a handsome man came out. It was Conan who turned back into Kudo Shinichi. At this time, Conan was talking to several people in the group. He had contacted several people after he said it before, and now he can come to help at any time. So that's it, you are the strongest in this world. I'm not interested in a mere second level strength. The captain saw Conan and knew the other party's strength, and then said a little unlucky. Shinichi. At this time, Xiaolan also saw Kudo Shinichi, and her surprise was beyond words. Who are you and why are you here? Kudo Shinichi didn't look at Xiaolan, but walked towards them slowly, wanting to know their origins. Hee hee, although it's okay to tell you, but you are all going to die, why should I tell you? As he said that, the captain took out the giant sword behind him and walked towards Kudo Shinichi. Chapter 88 this is an organization called the Reincarnationists. At the top of them is a being in the heavenly Tao realm who controls everything. He controls the life and death of all the Reincarnationists and lets them go to various worlds to plunder resources for their own practice. At the same time, he will also give his subordinates the ability to become stronger, but as long as they fail, they will die, just like raising a goo. At this time, Shurchin's voice came, explaining the origin to everyone in the chat group. Let's go, you don't have the ability to kill me. At this time, Kudo Shinichi spoke, and then broke the window of the plane with a punch and jumped out directly. Captain. Seeing this, several reincarnationists hurriedly looked at the captain. 
Chase, since he dares to do this, he will definitely not die easily. He is not only the strongest, but also the son of luck in this world. The captain gave the order without thinking. Then everyone jumped out directly. In addition to the two captains and vice captains who flew directly, the other two opened a pair of gliders with jet capabilities behind them. Shinichi, what happened? Xiaolan watched Kudo Shinichi jump off the plane, and then ran to the window to look down, but only saw a few black spots. Ah, what a trouble, I came here to rest, but this guy wants me to clean up his mess. Shuchin stretched and muttered. He didn't care about Conan, anyway, he had already contacted people, it was not so easy to die, and let the god of death die, are you kidding? Okay, kid, see you again if we are lucky. Shuchin smiled at Huiyuan and walked to the cockpit. Ah, uncle, why are you here, what happened outside? Kid was still driving the plane with great effort, and he was contacting the tower to land. It's okay, I'll get everything back on track first. After Shuchin finished speaking, the plane seemed to stop descending, and then everyone fainted, and the plane was directly repaired. When Kid woke up, he found that he had landed on the ground. Others had just woken up, but they seemed to have no memory of what happened and continued to do their own things. Everyone got off the plane, and Kid went back directly. What happened today was too incredible. He observed carefully, and everyone had lost the previous memory, as if only he had not lost his memory. No, there is another person. Suddenly Kid thought of Conan, and then changed back into his own outfit, opened the glider behind him, and flew away. He knew that all this was done by that strange uncle. He gave his magic, Conan's ninjutsu he thought, and the passenger's collective amnesia was caused by him, which made him want to find out the truth. At the same time, Conan finally led the four people to a suburb, where there were few people, and it would not attract people's attention at night. At this time, Conan untied the glider he bought from the chat group. This was what he had planned before, and he bought it directly after jumping down, otherwise he would not have the ability to fly. Good boy, is this the place you chose for your own burial? The four of them landed right after him, looking at Conan and sneering. They were not afraid of an ambush, because they had already explored this world, and the strongest person was the man in front of them. Although there were various missiles or nuclear weapons in this world, no one dared to use them easily, and they were even less afraid of other guns and ammunition. Welcome to my territory, my friends, I have been waiting for you for a long time. Kudo Shinichi looked at the few people, and then changed back to Conan's appearance. After all, it was a bit exhausting to maintain that appearance. As soon as the voice fell, several light gates appeared from the space behind him, and then several people walked out. Wendy, Xiaoyu, Tony and Wu Liuqi walked out. No, we were ambushed, they are not from this world at all. The captain of the reincarnation was shocked when he saw this. He already knew that these people were not from this world at all. In fact, it was not his fault. Who would have thought that a person from a low-level world would actually know a group of people from other worlds, and they could come to help any time and anywhere? Although their levels were the same, their mission was definitely a failure. Thinking of the consequences of mission failure, several people had unstoppable fear in their eyes. There was only one person they were loyal to, and that was the Lord of Reincarnation. This Lord of Reincarnation was a strong man in the Heavenly Tao realm. He enslaved others to fight for resources for him, and every subordinate who failed would be punished. That was a hell more painful than death. And if someone died in the mission, their soul would be enslaved forever and could be purchased as a slave by others. Only when the soul was truly scattered could they completely escape from this hell, because they did not even have reincarnation. It must be said that they were all in great pain, but they had to do the mission. Thinking of this, several people directly entered the combat state and immediately entered a desperate battle. In every battle, they would take out 120,000 points of fighting strength, otherwise what awaited them would be worse than death. Injury is not terrible, as long as they can return to the reincarnation space, they can recover even if they still have a breath. Oh my god, are these people crazy? Why are they fighting so hard right away? Wendy also changed into a combat form and avoided the assassination of the deputy captain. It must be said that as a shooter, 
he was in great pain when he was approached by an assassin of the same level. Even so, he has recently gathered more and more faith power and has recovered to the peak strength of the third level. To practice his power of faith, he must first have believers, and this Mondstadt has all of them. Although it is not known how many there are, all the people in the world who use the wind gods I believe in him, which is a huge group of people. After that, he needs to collect the power of faith given to him by the believers, and then condense it into a drop of faith, enter his own godhood, nourish his godhood, and let it slowly ascend. Song of the High Sky Wendy held the bow with both hands and instantly shot the invisible reincarnation assassin. Hey, take my punch. On the other side, Xiao Yu was fighting with the captain of the reincarnation. Both of them were at the peak of the third level, and the battle almost plowed the nearby land. Humph, collapsed the mountains and cracked the earth. The captain of the reincarnation roared, then held the sword with both hands, jumped, and slashed at Xiao Yu. Oh my, so scary. Xiao Yu quickly dodged and then looked at the other party. I saw that the place where I stood just now directly cracked a huge gully, and at the same time, the surrounding land cracked like a spider web. I'll fight, I'll fight, I'll fight. Xiao Yu condensed balls of light with her hands and threw them at the opponent quickly, just like a human turret. At the same time, Tony faced the only girl on the other side, a person holding a staff. Wu Liuqi found the man holding a spear, and the two of them fought hand to hand, ping pong. Seeing that no one paid attention to him, Conan could only harass him from time to time and paddling. As the weakest second level, even Kid, who had just learned magic, could fight him for two moves, which shows how weak he is. Although Conan's combat power is weak, his most powerful weapon has never been ninjutsu, but the ubiquitous aura of the god of death. Because of his passiveness before, the opponent had just arrived and had lost a teammate, and he didn't know it. At this time, not far from the battlefield, Shurchen was looking here. He had no intention of helping, nor did he need to. The incident of the reincarnation was just a prelude. The serious matter he mentioned before was that there was an invisible black hand behind this series of events, which had spread to countless worlds. At this time, he suddenly thought of the fallen avenue he encountered at the beginning. It seemed that there was also its figure here, as if a strong darkness gradually covered him. It may be ten thousand years, or it may be tens of millions of years. All this will not be slow. Today, the Conan world and other worlds are just a tiny microcosm of them. Chapter, 89 At dawn, everyone finished the battle. Except for Wu Liuqi and Wendy who were injured, everyone else was fine. However, Tony was very uncomfortable with his Iron Man suit, which was almost destroyed, but his new suit was almost finished, which would be a brand new system. After everything was over, everyone went back, and Conan called Xiaolan. Originally, he wanted to report to Xiaolan that he was safe, but he didn't expect that the other party didn't remember the previous things at all. Then he realized that the group owner should have erased everyone's memory, which was good. Everything returned to normal for the time being, and everyone continued their own business. And Shuchen also returned to the chat group at this time. In the prehistoric world, time passed slowly, and now the conflict between the Demon Clan and the Ten Thousand Immortals League became more and more serious. Although the Ten Thousand Immortals League was not as powerful as the Demon Clan, it had the secret support of the Heavenly Tao, so it could barely fight against the Demon Clan. Now the great powers in the prehistoric world are almost all quasi-saints, and they are all working hard to kill the three corpses. Last time, outside of Zhen Yuanzi's Wuzhuang Temple, Hong Yun was chased by a group of demons and finally died at the hands of Kuanpeng, but no one got the primordial purple air. Zhen Yuanzi learned that his friend was dead after he returned, but he could not avenge his friend, so he could only stay in the Taoist temple to practice hard. The six people who were originally designated as saints by Daozu Hongjun, now several Yuanhui have passed, but they have not yet become saints, which makes them a little anxious. Tong Tian sect master will not be like this. He knows that if junior sister Nuwa does not become a saint, none of them can become a saint. Calculating the time, it is almost time now. Thinking of this, he silently glanced in the direction of his eldest brother and second brother, thinking about the friendship of the three brothers for countless Yuanhui, and finally they will go their separate ways. This is not unrelated to the way of heaven. 
After all, the three of them have the same roots, are brothers and saints, and it is difficult not to be targeted. Tong Tian doesn't have a good solution now. After all, they have a good relationship now. He can only think about moving out first in the future, so as not to let his brother's relationship be affected by this matter. Red flowers, white lotus roots, and green lotus leaves, the three pure ones were originally one family. Tong Tian sighed softly, and then stopped thinking about it and could only concentrate on cultivation. He got the method of breaking through the heavenly Tao realm from Shirchen, but if he became a saint, it would be difficult to break through the heavenly Tao realm. After all, there is already a heavenly Tao in the prehistoric world, that is, Hong Jun who has merged with the Tao with his body. If he wants to break through, he can only try to stay away from the chaos of the prehistoric world, so that the influence of the prehistoric world on him can be minimized. In the prehistoric world, it is still the same as before, fighting when it is time to fight, and practicing when it is time to practice, but at this time Yuwa came to the coast of the East China Sea. Are you here? But it will take thousands of years, no hurry. In Penglai Ferry Island, Churchin's body opened his eyes and looked at Niu Hua who came to the East China Sea. At this time, Niu Hua was originally practicing in her own dojo, but suddenly she felt that her chance seemed to be coming. This feeling was very clear, letting her know that this was a hint from the heavenly Tao. But it was very vague, because she didn't know where this chance came from, but it pointed to here. Niu Hua came to the coast of the East China Sea, and then found a place to sit down, and sat quietly for thousands of years. She had to look for her chance, which was the chance for her to become a saint. She had already felt it, because the Hongmeng purple qi in her body was trembling slightly. Thousands of years later, the Hongmeng purple qi in Niu Hua's body had been trembling violently, and it burst out with endless light. This made Niu Hua know that the time for her to become a saint had come, and then she opened her eyes. At this time, she was silently observing the time here, and suddenly came to the chat group. Niu Hua is going to become a saint, do you want to see it? I can let your spirit enter the prehistoric world, and it will not affect the body. Really? I want to go and see it. Everyone was shocked when they heard it, and then they all wanted to go and see it. After all, with the help of the big guys, this opportunity is very rare. Okay, prepare a safe place. Your consciousness will leave your body. If something goes wrong, it will be bad. Hearing Shirchen's words, everyone prepared a place to lie down, and then they closed their eyes and opened them again, and they had already arrived in the prehistoric world. Let's go. Shirchen waved his hand and took everyone directly to the coast of the East China Sea where Niuwa was, but she was not discovered by her. At this time, Niuwa woke up from her meditation. She looked into the sea and got a hint from it. Now she is not in the form of her original body, but a congenital body that is very close to that of humans. This body can be beneficial to cultivation, so all cultivators in the prehistoric world will transform into this form. She suddenly thought of the law of creation she cultivated, whether she could create a new race, just keeping the appearance of this congenital body. Thinking of this, she suddenly had some insights and took out the nine heavens Shiram that she had obtained at the beginning, which was given to her by Shirchen at the beginning. Thinking of this, she finally understood what Shirchen meant at the beginning. It seems that the other party knew that he would create humans a long time ago, and she couldn't help but sigh at the other party's strength. She then took seawater from the East China Sea and mixed it with the Nine Heaven soil, then molded it into the shape of a person, and then her own laws of creation surged, and the clay figure came to life in an instant. Seeing this, she had completely understood her path, and then she began to mold people again. After shaping a man and a woman, the two little people knelt down to Niuwa and said, Thank you, Goddess Niuwa, for giving us life. Niuwa waved her hand and continued to shape people. Soon, more than a dozen chattering little people appeared on the coast of the East China Sea. At this time, she suddenly had an idea. Thinking that this was too tiring, she took out the gourd vine and smeared some mud on it. With a wave of her hand, Countless muds fell on the ground and turned into countless little people. Finally, she created thousands of people, and then said to the people below, Your race will be called the human race. God is above. Now I, Nyuwa, feel that there are no acquired creatures in the world, so I specially created a race, named the human race, 
for acquired creatures. In today's prehistoric world, all creatures are born innately, even those born by reproduction are innate creatures. And the human race is the first race of acquired creatures, because he was created by Nuwa. As Nuwa finished speaking, the heavenly Tao bestowed countless merits, attracting all the great powers of the prehistoric world to look in the direction of Nuwa. This is, junior sister Nuwa, is she going to become a saint? Laozi looked in the direction of Nuwa, and his calm heart could not help but stir up waves. He had always thought that among the six people, he would be the first to become a saint, after all, he had already killed three corpses. While Nuwa was only at the level of killing two corpses, but he did not expect that Nuwa would be the first to become a saint. As countless merits descended, part of them entered Nuwa's body, and the other part gathered in the fate of the human race to escort the human race. Then, the gourd vine that Nuwa created the human race directly turned into a treasure of acquired merits, the whip of creation. Then, the primordial purple air in Nuwa's body completely merged with her, and endless pressure bloomed from her body. The purple air came from the east for 30,000 miles, and the auspicious images appeared all over the sky, as if celebrating the birth of a saint. Everyone in the prehistoric world was so shocked by the pressure that they had to kneel down, except for a few saints who had the purple chi of Hongmang in their bodies, so they could resist the pressure of the saints. Nuwa created humans and became a saint, so spectacular. People around Shurchen were not affected. After all, with such a great god, how could they be affected? Then all the human race respected Nuwa as the holy mother of the human race, after all, it was Nuwa who gave them life. You can develop peacefully on the coast of the East China Sea in the future. Nuwa explained to the human race, and then flew to the 33 outer heavens. After she became a saint, she had received an order from Hongjun to go to the 33 outer heavens to establish the Wa Palace, and she was not allowed to interfere in the affairs of the demon race from then on. Originally, she was very happy that she became a saint and could help her brother in the future, but now she didn't expect that she could no longer help the demon race, which hit her hard. And the demon race was still celebrating because they finally had a saint, but they didn't know that Nuwa couldn't help them for no reason. On the contrary, there was a gloomy atmosphere in the Ten Thousand Immortals Alliance, and the King of the East's brows were almost furrowed. Chapter 90 after everyone watched Nuwa create humans and become a saint, Shurchen sent everyone back. At this moment, countless blood and chi suddenly appeared from the sea of blood, and then a voice spread throughout the prehistoric world. God is above, I, Mingi, now create a race called Azura, to complete the operation of the heaven, I hope the heaven will see it. It turned out that Mingi saw Nuwa create humans and become a saint, and he also wanted to imitate it, and then he used the boundless evil spirits, turbid air, dirty blood, etc. in his own sea of blood to create the Azura race. Seeing this, a group of prehistoric great powers hurriedly looked over. They wanted to know if Mingi could become a saint without the primordial purple chi. At this time, the heaven really reacted and sent down countless merits, but after careful observation, it was much smaller than that of Nuwa. The merits were divided into two, one part fell into the fate of the Azura race, and the other part entered the body of Mingi, directly helping him to kill another corpse and become a strong man who killed two corpses. Seeing this, everyone also understood that Mingi could not become a saint, so they retracted their gazes. Mingi was also disappointed when he saw this, but although he did not become a saint, he was able to kill another corpse, which was also a gain. At the same time, after Nuwa became a saint, Several guests came to the Wahuang Palace, who were the three pure ones and Junti Jane. Junior sister, congratulations on your successful breakthrough to the saint. As the eldest brother, Laozi spoke first. They came here to congratulate, and the second was the main purpose, to get clues about sainthood from Nuwa. Hello, senior brothers. Nuwa did not dare to neglect it. Although she had become a saint, she was not the only one. These few were saints appointed by the Taoist ancestor, and they were destined to become saints in the future. It was just the order of time. Junior sister, we came here to know the opportunity for junior sister to become a saint. After all, we have been practicing for thousands of years, not just for this moment. Yuan Shi Tianzuan said in a somewhat anxious tone. 
As one of the three pure ones, he didn't take anyone seriously. Even his elder brother Laozi was born a little earlier than him. So in his mind, he and others must be the first to become saints, but now a woman has walked ahead of them, which makes him very uncomfortable. At this time, the three pure ones, except Laozi, had killed three corpses, and the others were still in the state of killing two corpses, so they were a little anxious. My sister didn't know it either, but she felt the hint of the way of heaven at that time. My chance was on the coast of the East China Sea. I sat there for thousands of years and finally woke up. So I became a saint in one fell swoop after creating humans, but it was only the lowest level of sainthood through merit. Niwa sighed in her heart. She didn't expect that she could only become a saint through merit, which made her fall far behind everyone else. Everyone nodded when they heard it, and they knew that they couldn't ask anything from Niwa, so they said goodbye and left. Everyone has different opportunities to become saints, because they walk different paths, and they can't be generalized. After the five people left, the demon emperor Di Jun and Dong Huang Tai also came together. Meet the Saint Niwa. Now that Niwa has become a saint, her status is naturally different, so the two of them can only bow helplessly. You don't have to be polite, Demon King, Dong Huang. Although I am now a saint, I am still the Niwa king of the demon clan. Niwa waved her hand after hearing this, and then said softly. After all, her brother Fushi is still in the demon clan, so she is polite to the two. Thank you, saint. The two nodded after hearing this. Niwa king, now that you are a saint, can my demon clan directly attack the Ten Thousand Immortals Alliance? Di Jun did not hide anything and asked directly. This. Please forgive me for not being able to help the demon king. Daozu has ordered that I shall not enter the prehistoric world casually in the future, let alone interfere in the affairs of the demon clan. Niwa shook her head after hearing this. It turns out to be like this. Di Jun was very disappointed after hearing this. He did not expect that the demon clan finally had a saint, but could not take action. This made them not only not stronger, but weaker. In that case, I won't disturb the saint's cultivation. After hearing this, Di Jun and Tai looked at each other and then said goodbye and left. Wait, although it is inconvenient for me to take action, if the demon clan encounters an unstoppable crisis, I can help a little. Niwa stopped the two and said, after all, she was also a demon clan member. In that case, thank you, saint. The two had no choice but to do so, and then left together. In Penglai Ferry Island, Shurchen looked at the direction where Tong Tian was, and had a plan in his mind. Tong Tian, come to my place. Shurchen directly tagged Tong Tian in the chat group. Hmm. Okay, Daozuan, I'll go there right away. Tong Tian was still practicing. He knew that he and his brothers would soon prove the truth, so he hurried to practice. At this time, he had to stop practicing after hearing Shurchen's words. Although he didn't know why he was called over, it would definitely not be aimless to call him at this critical moment. He looked at Kunlun Mountain. He had left Kunlun a few years ago. He wanted to go to the human race to observe why this race could make Niwa a saint. At this time, there were only himself and his second brother Yuanshir in Kunlun. He said hello to him and left directly. Tong Tian rushed all the way and soon arrived at Penglai Ferry Island. At this time, the defense of the fairy island was automatically opened, allowing Tong Tian to enter. Dao Yu, the master is waiting for you in the Wanxiang Palace. Please follow us. Qi Yang and Bai Yue saw Tong Tian coming in and said to him. In this case, thank you two Taoists. Tong Tian didn't dare to put on airs. The cultivation of these two was stronger than him, and now they had reached the peak of quasi-saints. What's more, they are still the children of time, and they will definitely achieve Hunyuan in the future. As Tong Tian entered the Vientian Palace, he finally saw the true nature of time. Tong Tian has met Tao Zun. After bowing to the hour, Tong Tian respectfully stayed aside and waited for instructions. No need to be polite, I asked you to come here this time just to help you kill three corpses as soon as possible, so that you can go further and further on the road of becoming a saint. Shurchen waved his hand and said. Thank you, Taoist Master. 
Tong Tian was very excited after hearing this. With the help of this big man, he will definitely be able to catch up with his elder brother. Go in, there is what you need here. Cultivation is your own business. I can't help you practice, but I can help you understand the rules. Shi Chen said, with a wave of his hand, a light door appeared. Seeing this, Tong Tian did not hesitate, bowed to the hour and entered directly. After Tong Tian entered, the light door disappeared directly. This is the long river of laws. Choose the laws you need and go upstream. The farther you go, the better. It can help you kill three corpses as quickly as possible. After Tong Tian entered, he saw a huge river flowing, and at the same time, the sound of the hour came. Come. Although they achieved enlightenment by killing three corpses, they still need to understand their own laws. What saints fight against is their own laws. When they practice their own magic power, they need to understand themselves clearly and integrate with their own laws, so that they can kill the three corpses. People with stronger laws have a stronger understanding of themselves, so they can kill the three corpses faster. The Hunyuan method that Shi Shi entrusted to his subordinates was straightforward and crude, as long as he continued to understand the rules. While understanding the law, you will entrust your own Tao and fruit to the Great Tao. Through such combination, you will eventually achieve Hunyuan. Chapter, 91 At this time, Tong Tian found his own law, which was a long river of swordsmanship. Tong Tian mainly practiced swordsmanship, which was the way of killing, so his attack was the best in the prehistoric world. Tong Tian was the first in the prehistoric swordsmanship, and Mingyi was the second. After all, he had two top-grade innate spiritual treasures, Yuan Tu and Abi. Tong Tian followed the long river of swordsmanship and went upstream all the way. He started very fast, and finally, he didn't know how long he had walked before he gradually slowed down. These long rivers of swordsmanship were condensed by endless swordsmanship laws, which were intercepted by Shi Chen from the long river of time. Every time he was washed by the long river of swordsmanship, his understanding of swordsmanship would be improved. It sounds easy, but if you don't have that understanding, you will die here directly. If Shi Chen is willing, there are only a dozen people in the whole prehistoric world who are qualified to walk here, which shows the danger. If you don't have the talent and understanding above hundreds of millions of people, you can only die in vain. At this time, Tong Tian was sitting cross-legged in the long river of swordsmanship, and the swordsmanship laws on his body surged and gradually blended with it. Dao Zun is really too powerful. He actually intercepted it directly from the long river of time. I'm afraid only the Dao realm can do this, and casually grasp the long river of laws. Tong Tian had a lot of thoughts in his mind, but they were only fleeting. He was still concentrating on comprehending the laws. I don't know how long it took, I saw a flash of light in his brow, and then he turned into a Taoist. Hello, Taoist. The Taoist bowed to Tong Tian. Dao Yu, return to your position quickly. Tong Tian nodded when he saw this, and then the Taoist returned to the depths of Tong Tian's brows, which was his self-corpse. Now Tong Tian has killed all three corpses and reached the level of Laozi. Only the three corpses are left to merge into one, and then he can achieve the peak of Quasi-Saint. As time passed, Tong Tian became more and more proficient in the swordsmanship laws in his body, and he was getting closer and closer to the final three corpses. To achieve this last step, one needs to integrate one's own laws with the three corpses and achieve the unity of the three corpses in one fell swoop. Calculate the time, it's almost time. Thousands of years later, Shi Chen looked towards the coast of the East China Sea. In addition to the human race living there, there is also an old man, Laozi. Laozi has lived in the tribe of the human race for thousands of years. The human race is now only acquired creatures, and they don't know how to practice, so they are very respectful to Laozi, who is obviously a cultivator. In the few years when the human race was just born, three famous human races appeared in the prehistoric world. Although they were very weak compared to other innate creatures, they also made all the prehistoric powers remember them. These three people are Yu Chao, Suiren, and Zi. The three were the first to be created by Nuwa. Because Yu Chao invented the house, the heavenly way gave him merits and made him directly achieve the golden immortal. 
the first house in the prehistoric world became an acquired merit spiritual treasure. Because Swearin discovered fire, which made humans no longer eat raw meat and drink blood, the heavenly Tao bestowed merits on him and made him a golden immortal. The torch also became a spiritual treasure of acquired merits. Z used the silk of the spiritual silkworm to make clothes, so that humans no longer had to cover their bodies with leaves, and received merits from the heavenly Tao. He also became a golden immortal. The clothes also became a spiritual treasure of acquired merits. All the great powers in the prehistoric world were confused. How could the human race get merits from the heavenly Tao just by making something casually? So some of them came to observe the human race, but they all went back after a few years. Only Laozi observed day after day for thousands of years. During this period, he often made elixirs here and taught the human race some useful gadgets. On this day, Tong Tian finally walked out of the long river of swordsmanship. He had completely integrated the three corpses, so he went back to the prehistoric world. Go, your chance to become a saint is coming. Shuchen nodded with satisfaction. Dao Zun, I'll take my leave now. Tong Tian bowed to Shuchen and rushed back to Kunlun Mountain. At the same time, Laozi, who had been sitting on a huge rock for a long time, finally waited for his chance to become a saint. Feeling the trembling primordial purple air in his body, countless insights surged into his mind in an instant, letting him know how he should prove the truth. Coming down from the huge rock, Laozi left the gathering place of the human race directly. As he left, his feet were shining step by step, golden lotuses emerged from the ground, flowers fell from the sky, and purple air came from the east for thirty thousand miles. The endless pressure of the saints appeared again, making the great powers of Hong Huang look towards the direction of the human race. The way of heaven is above, I, Tai Ching Laozi, now establish a sect in the human race, named Rinjiao, and I will be the teacher of the human race. I will suppress the destiny of Rinjiao with the innate treasure Taijitu, and Rinjiao will be established. Then endless merits of the way of heaven came, directly allowing Laozi's three corpses to merge into one and become a saint on the spot. Afterwards, Laozi accepted a disciple from the human race and named him Xuandu, who would become the great master Xuandu in the future. Then a green bull appeared under him and pulled him to the chaos. The place where he walked out of the human race was the later Hengu Pass. Laozi left Hengu Pass to the west and rode the green bull away. From then on, Laozi established the human religion and became a saint, and divided 10% of the human race's luck. As long as the human race does not die, the human religion will not be broken. After seeing Laozi become a saint, Yuan Shi also understood that the time for his own sainthood had come. The way of heaven is above, and I, Yuching Yuan Shi, now establish a religion, named the Chan religion. Chan means to clarify, and it is a religion that explains the great way. Use the innate treasure Pangu banner to suppress the luck, and the Chan religion will be established. As Yuanshu Tianzuan established the religion, the heavenly Tao bestowed endless merits to help him kill the third corpse and take a big step towards the unity of the three corpses. But it was still not as good as Laozi's unity of the three corpses. In the end, he became a saint under the regretful eyes of Yuanshu. The same familiar pressure of the saint, the purple air coming from the east for 30,000 miles, made the people in the prehistoric world feel the power of the saint again, and made them kneel again. Seeing Yuan Shi become a saint, Tong Tian finally waited for his chance to become a saint, and the primordial purple air in his body was constantly trembling. Heaven is above, I, Shangqing Tong Tian, now establish a religion, named Jijiao. There are fifty great ways, and forty-nine are derived from heaven, which is taken from intercepting a ray of life for all things. Anyone who has a heart for the Tao can join the religion, and there is no distinction in the religion. Use the top grade innate spiritual treasure Zhu Xian for swords and its formation diagram to suppress the fate, Jijiao, established. As Tong Tian's Jijiao was established, endless heavenly merits descended again, allowing it to completely merge with the Hongmeng purple qi in the body. Directly becoming a saint, and going a long way on the road to sainthood, going further than Laozi. Because of this, Laozi's heart was slightly unhappy with this third brother, who was actually surpassed by his third brother. And Yuan Shi was even more unbearable. Originally, he was behind Laozi, after all, he was his elder brother. 
Now it turned out that Tong Tian was better than him, which made his jealous heart beat again. In addition, Tong Tian's teaching without distinction also laid the groundwork for the future separation of the three pure ones. The people in the prehistoric world did not expect that the three pure ones would become saints on the same day. The shock in their hearts can be imagined. They thought that there would be no one else. At this moment, Juandi Jain, who was far away in the Lingshan Mountain in the west, smiled slightly when he saw this. Brother, now it is finally time for us to become saints. Juanti looked at Jain and smiled. Yes, let's start. Jain nodded when he heard it. Then the two stepped out together and swore to the Heavenly Tao. Heavenly Tao is above, now I, Juanti, Jain, will establish the Western religion here. As the two established the religion, the Heavenly Tao gave merits to help the two kill the three corpses, and then moved towards the saints. But at this moment, it suddenly stopped, it turned out that the merits were not enough. Brother, we don't have enough merits. Juanti looked at Jane with a bitter face. Junior brother, it seems that this is all we can do. Jane also smiled bitterly, and then the two spoke to the sky again. If I attain the supreme Bodhi and become a Buddha, I will live in the Buddha's land. The two of them made forty-eight great vows together, which was to borrow merits from heaven. Finally, heaven once again bestowed merits to help the two achieve the status of saints. In an instant, the saintly pressure of the two swept across the prehistoric world, making everyone numb. Within a day, the six saints appeared at the same time, and the prehistoric world entered an era of saints appearing at the same time. Chapter, 92 With the appearance of the six saints, the chaos in the prehistoric world became intense. And the people in the prehistoric world saw another good show, which was caused by the sticks. Seeing that they had established a religion and achieved sainthood, the sticks also planned to establish a religion. Then the sticks established the Azura religion in his own sea of blood. Although the merits from heaven were bestowed, he only allowed him to kill the three corpses, which was not enough for him to achieve sainthood, and he did not have the key Hongmeng purple chi. After the six saints came out, Churchin came to Bujo Mountain, where Pangu's pressure had almost dissipated. When he came to the interior of Bujo Mountain, he saw the strong man again, who was Pangu himself. Dao Yu, you are almost there. Shuchen was delighted when he saw Pangu. Now he was close to Hunyuan. It was estimated that in a few thousand years, he could achieve Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian. I have to thank you, Dao Yu, otherwise I would have completely dissipated long ago, and there would be nothing now. Pangu smiled when he heard the words. Since Dao Yu is almost there, I will lend a hand to Dao Yu. Shuchen smiled when he saw this. Then Shuchen waved his hand, and an endless river of time emerged. This was not the river of time in the prehistoric world, but in the chaos. This was much more powerful than the prehistoric world, and could observe everything in the chaos. Although there was no concept of time in the chaos, after he achieved the great Tao, he could turn nothing into something. Then, Shuchen sent Pangu to the depths of the river of time, and let him return to the time when the chaos was repeated. That was when Pangu created the world, and he could feel the law of force more clearly, allowing him to break through the primordial chaos in one fell swoop. Dao Yu, I'm waiting for you here. Shuchen said, looking at Pangu slowly sinking into the river of time. The prehistoric world itself is a part of Pangu's body, so it doesn't matter whether he breaks through in the prehistoric world or the chaos, and as long as he breaks through the primordial chaos, he doesn't have to care about the heavenly Tao. Time passed slowly, and thousands of years passed in the blink of an eye. Pangu finally returned from the ancient chaos. The laws around him were almost unable to suppress him, and it was obvious that he was on the verge of a breakthrough. Fellow Taoist, thank you very much. The day when I achieve Hunyuan is now. Pangu said, and his figure grew bigger. He didn't want to destroy Bujo Mountain, so he walked out of it directly, and a roar spread throughout the prehistoric world. I am Pangu, and I have returned again after countless Yuanhui, and I have reattained the Tao of Hunyuan. Pangu's voice shocked countless prehistoric powers. How could Pangu, the great god, be resurrected again after so many years of death? If you count carefully, all the prehistoric people are his children. They want Pangu to be resurrected, but they don't want him to be resurrected. 
Pangu gave them everything, but if he was resurrected, would he let the prehistoric world return to chaos? This is what they care about most. In the ancestral witch hall, the twelve ancestral witches heard Pangu's voice and felt the boiling blood of Pangu in their bodies, which made them excited. Great, the father god is really resurrected, and the senior did not lie to us. At this time, even Dijiang lost his previous calmness. This is a great joy for the entire witch clan. Quick, gather all the witches and go to welcome the return of the father god. Don't let anyone disturb the father god. Even if a saint comes, stop him at all costs. Di Jiang thought of something and quickly ordered all the ancestor witches. The ancestor witches didn't dare to delay and rushed outside. Pangu. How could he still be alive? In the Zixia Palace, Hong Jun couldn't help but open his eyes. Pangu's resurrection is the biggest threat to the heavenly Tao, and he is the second one. Now Hong Jun has merged with the Tao, and he is carrying out the purpose of taking over the heavenly Tao. If Pangu is resurrected, it may disrupt his plan. No, if there is a threat from Pangu, the heavenly Tao may focus on him, and I will have a chance to achieve my plan as soon as possible. Thinking of this, Hong Jun's eyes bloomed with endless light. At this time, a huge eye appeared in the sky above where Pangu was. It was the eye of Heavenly Tao, representing the embodiment of Heavenly Tao. Endless purple thunder was surging, as if it was about to fall at any time, but it didn't dare to act casually. Then, the eye of heaven disappeared, and an old man in a Taoist robe appeared instead. This person was Hong Jun. Hong Jun in front of him had no expression on his face. It was Hong Jun who was controlled by heaven, which meant that heaven was going to take action. After the appearance of Hong Jun, the heaven, all the saints could not sit still and hurriedly got up and came here. Teacher. When the six saints saw Hong Jun, they first bowed to Hong Jun, and then looked at Pangu in the earth. Pangu was ten thousand feet tall at this time, as if he was at the beginning of the world. Not only that, after Pangu appeared, the Taiji diagram, Pangu banner and chaos bell were constantly shaking, as if they were about to fly out of Pangu's hands and return to Pangu's hands, returning to the chaos supreme treasure Pangu axe. Laozi and Yuanshir were shocked and they saw this, and hurriedly suppressed their magic weapons, but Dong Huang Tai, who was far away in the demon court, was not feeling well. He was not a saint, so he could only suppress it reluctantly. At this time, Dong Huang Tai wished that Daozu would kill Pangu immediately. After all, if Pangu appeared, those crazy people of the Wu clan would follow Pangu. If Pangu wanted to dominate the prehistoric world, he would definitely fight with the demon clan for territory. Not only that, after Pangu died, his own chaos bell would not be afraid of being robbed by others. Heavenly Dao, you are here. At this time, Pangu spoke looking at Tiandao Hongjun. As for other saints, he did not look at them even once, even the three pure ones. The three pure ones have always regarded themselves as the authentic Pangu, but if they knew that they were resurrected, they would probably be the first to want me dead. If Tong Tian might hesitate, Laozi and Yuanchir would definitely not. Although Laozi advocates in action, he is the one with the deepest scheming, but he never shows it. As for Yuanchir Tianzuan, he will never let anyone threaten him, and will not give Pangu any chance at all. Pangu, you shouldn't be resurrected. Tian Dao Hongjuan's voice was emotionless, as if he was a machine. Ha ha ha, but you are still a step too late. I am about to prove the Dao of Hunyuan, and you can't stop me. Pangu laughed when he heard it. Tian Dao could no longer stop him. Pangu's existence is against the operation of Tian Dao, and he should be wiped out. Tiandao Hongjun's voice came, with a strong murderous tone. Then Tiandao Hongjun appeared in front of Pangu in an instant and slapped Pangu with one palm. Come on, the law of power, the fist breaks the heavens. Pangu laughed and then punched him. Boom boom. Pangu was directly knocked out, and instantly smashed the sacred mountains. Ahem. Pangu climbed up from the ruins, and a trace of blood appeared at the corner of his mouth. Now he is not Hunyuan, and is not enough to fight against Tiandao. It is already his strength to be able to do this. Afterwards, Pangu no longer hesitated, and the endless law of power appeared. 
His momentum instantly broke through the peak and broke through the realm of Hunyuan in one fell swoop. After achieving Hunyuan, Pangu's body grew again, and almost a move would break the prehistoric world. Looking at the land under his feet, Pangu came directly to the chaos. Tian Dao followed closely behind and appeared in the chaos in an instant. Seeing that they could not stop it, the saints could only follow behind. After the witches had just gathered, they did not expect that they had all arrived in the chaos. There was no way, so they could only wait here. Since Pangu broke through Hunyuan, they were no longer worried. Heavenly Dao, do you still want to stop me? I don't want to destroy the prehistoric world. After all, I created it, and even you are my child. In the chaos, Pangu looked at Tian Dao and smiled. Heavenly Dao has decreed that Pangu be named the true lord of the creation of the prehistoric world, and enjoy the treatment of a saint. All living beings must pay respect to him. Seeing that things had come to this, Tian Dao had no choice but to give in to Pangu and conferred him a dispensable honorific title. In fact, the moment Pangu came out, Tian Dao had already lost, after all, he was on the verge of a breakthrough at any time. Chapter, 93 Dao Yu, congratulations on achieving the Hunyuan Dao Yuo Jinxian. Not long after, a guest came into Shurchen's Penglai Ferry Island. Hey, this is all thanks to Dao Yu's help. Pangu waved his hand and sat down in front of Shurchen. Dao Yu, what are your plans for the future? Shurchen poured a cup of tea for each of them and asked. I plan to go to chaos first. The affairs of the prehistoric world will be managed by the heavenly Tao. After all, it no longer belongs to me. Pangu said slowly after hearing this. What do you think about the Wu clan and the three pure ones? I will go to meet with the Wu clan and decide what to do later. As for the three pure ones. It's a bit troublesome. Pangu shook his head after hearing this. Are you not going to take back your axe? Shurchen smiled and said after hearing this. The three pure ones are of the same blood and are both saints, and the chaos bell in Dong Huang Tai's hand is useless to me. Pangu said helplessly. Although he was resurrected, everything was gone. The jade disc of creation was with Hong Jun. Pangu's axe was divided into three parts, two of which were taken by the saint. The chaos green lotus turned into four lotus platforms, and each of them had its own owner. If he wanted to take everything back, he would be an enemy of the entire prehistoric world. Although he could ask for help from Shurchen, with his face, he only wanted someone to save him once. He really couldn't bring himself to ask for treasures. Dao Yu, you don't have to do this. You have the chaos green lotus phantom. As long as you find the lotus seeds of other lotus platforms, you can restore it. Shurchen suddenly said at this time. Yes, this is something I didn't expect. I will go find those lotus seeds right now. With my face, I should be able to ask for one. Panga's eyes lit up when he heard this. Although he didn't know how many years it would take to reach the level of chaos green lotus again, there was always hope. There is no time to lose. I'll go now. Pangu hurried over as soon as he thought of it. Wait a minute, fellow Daoist, I have a little gadget here. You can play with it when you have time. Shurchen suddenly called Pangu. What's the matter, fellow Daoist? Pangu was stunned when he heard this, and then looked at Shurchen. Ding, Shurchen, the group leader of the All Heavens and All Worlds chat group, invites you to join the chat group. Do you agree? A voice sounded in Pangu's mind, which made him stunned, and then he clicked to agree. Ding, the group leader Shi Chen invited Pangu, the golden immortal of the great primordial Daoyuo, to join the chat group. All group members please come to congratulate. As expected of a top boss, there are special cares for joining the group, and the chat group actively invites everyone to come and congratulate. Oh my god, is this the appearance of a boss? A group of group members appeared and congratulated Pangu. Is it true that the great god was resurrected because of the Taoist master? Tong Tian has seen the great god. Tong Tian Jiaozhu also appeared, and his identity was a bit embarrassing. In principle, he is Pangu's child. Although the three pure ones have always regarded themselves as the authentic Pangu, unlike the Wu clan, they have no intention of devoting themselves to Pangu. 
Even so, we are all in the same group from now on, and since I don't have the fragments of Panga's axe in my hand, I will try my best to build a good relationship with my old father. Tong Tian, don't be so restrained, I don't blame you, or rather, I admire you. Panga smiled when he saw this. Thank you. Father God. After a moment of silence, Tong Tian still called Father God, which was a recognition of Pangu and his own identity. No need to do that, you should still call me Taoist friend, now I am just at the same realm as you. Pangu smiled when he heard it. Don't do that, I will still call you Great God from now on. Tong Tian was a little frightened, and still didn't dare to call him Taoist friend, because the other person's former realm was there, and he didn't have that ability. It's up to you. Panga nodded indifferently. Since everyone has met, let's do it this way first, Taoist Pangu, go and do your own thing. Shi Chen saw that everyone had met each other, and then came out to send everyone away. Panga nodded, and then he also separated a trace of his spirit to stay here, and his main body went directly to the Wu clan. For him, it is better to explain the Wu clan first. These guys worship him so much, so they must give a response. In a flash, Pangu came directly to the front of the ancestral witch hall and saw the huge Wu clan. This is Father God, it is the Father God who came to us, all the Wu clan come with me to pay homage to the Father God. At this time, the ancestor witches who were practicing in the ancestral witch hall suddenly felt a throbbing from the blood, and Dijiang reacted instantly. It was Pangu who came. Before he finished speaking, Di Jiang rushed out of the ancestral witch hall and saw the burly man in an instant. The other ancestor witches reacted quickly and followed closely. Twelve ancestor witches, pay homage to the Father God. All the ancestor witches knelt together, and their voices spread throughout the Wu clan territory, making all the Wu clan excited. Get up, my children. Pangu smiled when he saw this, and then helped everyone up. Father God, please go to the ancestral witch hall. We will report the situation of our witch clan to you. Di Jiang was excited and immediately took Pangu to the ancestral witch hall. Chang Wuyang, go and comfort the men of my witch clan and tell them not to disturb Father God. Then, Di Jiang instructed Chang Wuyang again. Okay, big brother, I'll go right away. Chang Wuyang nodded and immediately notified the various great witches to watch their people and not disturb Father God. The ancestral witches followed Pangu to the hall and sat down in turn. Father God, my Wu clan has followed the instructions of Senior Shirchen. Now we are developing peacefully under Mount Buzhou and can fight with you at any time. Di Jiang spoke first. There is no rush for this matter. I am going to find the lotus platform that was formed when the Chaos Green Lotus was broken. I will get a lotus seed from there and revive my magic weapon. Panga shook his head when he heard this. What instructions does Father God have for us to do? The other ancestor witches asked when they heard this. No need to do this. We will leave the prehistoric world eventually. The real battlefield is in the heavens and the worlds. You just need to practice well. Panga shook his head when he saw this. Now he doesn't need the help of the Wu clan. The twelve ancestor witches now are basically in the late stage of quasi-saints, which can be said to be a very powerful group. But because they basically don't leave Mount Buzhou, few people in the prehistoric world know their strength, so no one can imagine that the twelve ancestor witches are so strong. Even the demon clan is only three in the late stage of quasi-saints, namely Dijuan, Taiyi and Fushi. Ho Tu, if you have a disaster in the future, you can come to the ancestral witch hall and use my heart to tell me. Pangu looked at Ho Tian at this time. He knew the original development of the prehistoric world, and he naturally had to take care of his descendants. Although the witch clan is not competing for hegemony now, it may eventually go to reincarnation due to the influence of the way of heaven. Although this move is beneficial to the prehistoric world, it is too cruel for Ho Tu and the twelve ancestral witches. In fact, reincarnation does not necessarily require Ho Tu, as long as there are people or magic weapons that can be replaced, reincarnation can also be achieved. Ho Tu was stunned when she heard this, then nodded and put it in her heart. Now she knows that it will only add to her troubles, and she doesn't need to know so much, just listen to the Father God. 
After chatting with the ancestral witches for a while, Hanga got up and left. He was going to find those lotus seeds. Chapter, 94 Seeing that nothing would happen in the prehistoric world for the time being, and with Panga here, Shurchen went straight into cultivation. In the chat group, Shurchen's clone became active again. Some time ago, he went to the Conan world, but he didn't expect to run into the Samsara team, which made him lose interest. Everyone, are you interested in watching me ascend to the world? After so much time, I have almost done it. At this time, Xiaoyu appeared. After so much preparation, she can definitely ascend to the world. Okay, we will go to help you. Everyone responded after hearing this. At this time, Xiaoyu's world, she has prepared everything, just waiting to ascend to the world tomorrow. Now her name is the loudest in the whole world, and the news of her ascending to the world has spread throughout the world. When this happened, the whole world was in a carnival, because only by raising the world level can they break through to a stronger realm. Uncle Long, tell Dad that I have a few friends coming over tomorrow, and get everything ready. It will be very dangerous tomorrow. Xiaoyu found Jackie Chan and told him, so that outsiders would think Xiaoyu was an elder. Okay, I know. We are all ready. I hope it will succeed. Jackie Chan smiled when he heard this. As a martial artist, he also wanted to break through himself. In this changed history, the method of promotion in this world has been passed down since ancient times, so they will not have any questions about it. Everything is done by Xiaoyu. The next morning, Xiaoyu and others dressed in tight clothes and went to Mount Tai. This is the place where China has offered sacrifices to the sky since ancient times. It is most appropriate to promote the world here. At this time, the eyes of the whole world are gathered here. Countless TV stations came to Mount Tai early just to broadcast this grand event. After Xiaoyu and others came here, they turned on the live broadcast. The time of offering sacrifices to the sky is at 3.30 noon, which is the best time, so it is still early. Everyone, you can come over. Turning on the live broadcast, Xiaoyu shouted in the chat group. Let's go, let's go. Uchiha Madara smiled when he saw this. Last time he came here to help fight against the Holy Lord, and now he has reached the fourth level, so he came again. Not only that, there are Tushan Hong Hong and Lufa, both of whom are fourth level beings, and it should be enough to have them. This world can only accept the fourth level at the highest, so the higher ones can't come, and the lower ones don't need to. The familiar portal opened again, and three people came out. Madara in a black suit, Lufa in a black robe, and a little lowly Tushan Susu. Generally, Susu is outside, and Hong Hong will only come out at critical moments, after all, this body is still Susu's. Brother Madara, Brother Lufa, and Susu, you are here. Xiaoyu said happily when she saw the few people. Okay, you are the protagonist today, we are just here to help. Madara smiled when he saw this. That's right, and I have been looking forward to your world promotion for a long time. Although I am still a long way from this step, it is still good to know it early. Lufa nodded when he heard it. Now that Lu Fa is wearing the Shura armor, his strength is enough to reach the middle stage of the fourth stage, which is quite good. The strength of several people is about the same, all of them are around the early to middle stage of the fourth stage. After all, it has not been long since Madara was promoted to the fourth stage, so he is slightly weaker, but his fighting style is the most destructive among all people. After simply greeting a few people, Xiaoyu hurried out. She was going to check the various offerings and preparations again. Time passed slowly, and everyone finally waited until noon, and everything was about to begin. Xiaoyu brought Jackie Chan and Dad, and the two stood on the left and right sides, and came to the top of Mount Tai together. A huge table has been prepared here, and various offerings have been placed on it. In the middle is an incense burner, which is used for burning incense. The three came here, bowed to the heaven and earth, and then took out three incense sticks, lit them and inserted them into the incense burner. Then, Xiaoyu began to recite the sacrificial text, which is a very important part, used to communicate the consciousness of the world. The first step in world promotion is to awaken the world consciousness. Although they are just ordinary heavenly ways to maintain the operation of the world, they are conscious. 
World promotion is beneficial to heaven and earth, so there is nothing wrong with the comparison of world consciousness, just like humans become stronger through cultivation, and the same is true for world promotion. Is this the feeling of the soul leaving the body? Why is it similar to the feeling of the sheep spell? As the sacrificial text was read, Xiaoyu's body remained in place, but her consciousness and soul had left the body, and she was going to communicate with the world consciousness. As her body continued to rise, she saw a ball of golden light in the sky, like a constantly changing stream. World Consciousness Xiaoyu, I want to help you upgrade the world level, which is good for all of us. Xiaoyu, don't worry, I am absolutely sure. Didn't you feel those other worlds? They are all my friends who come to help us. Xiaoyu, okay, everything depends on me. Xiaoyu nodded, and then left the world consciousness directly. Only she could hear this, so no one knew that the world consciousness could still speak. World consciousness is not in this space, it exists in another space, and this is the only way to contact it. After communicating with the world consciousness, Xiaoyu's consciousness quickly returned to her body. The reason why the world promotion needs to communicate with the world consciousness is just to let the other party understand what happened. Otherwise, if the world is promoted casually, it may cause an overreaction in the world. After all, if the world fails to be promoted, it will disappear. If you are well prepared and the lineup is strong enough, it will give the world consciousness confidence, and it will easily agree. After all, it will definitely not refuse to improve itself. After communicating with the world consciousness, Xiaoyu did not stop and continued to recite the sacrificial text to let it communicate with the upper world. The so-called upper world is the master of the world, and he will decide whether to agree to your promotion to the world. As the sacrificial text was recited, an invisible consciousness wave came out and headed towards the dark place. Come to me, no need to be so troublesome. At this time, Shurchin in the chat group saw this and directly intercepted the message, and at the same time used this to directly cut off its connection with the upper world, so that it belonged directly to himself. This method can only be done when the world is promoted, or obtained from the upper realm, but only those at the heavenly Tao realm and above can intercept it directly. When the owner of the world is intercepted, although he will be very angry, he is generally helpless. That's it. The world of my group members can no longer be with you. Shi Chen looked at the golden light ball in his hand. It was a beacon belonging to the origin of the world. Having this means that he is its owner. He put it away casually, put his own mark on it, and then continued to look at Xiaoyu's world. Somewhere in the world, in a deep hall, a voice resounded through the sky. Roar, who is it? How dare you intercept my world? Although it was just an insignificant world to him, it was a provocation to him. After a long time, after the investigation was fruitless, the owner of this voice had to stop with anger. Chapter, 95 as Shi Chen intercepted the world, the spiritual energy in the world began to rise. At the same time, a dark cloud appeared in the sky, emitting a strange breath. It's about to start, Xiaoyu, get ready for the battle. Ban said to Xiaoyu, looking at the breath that was constantly gathering in the sky. The most important test for the world's promotion is the invasion from the outside demons, because the world is the most vulnerable at this time, and it is the best time to invade the world. The so-called outside demons are substances that are harmful to the world and are free outside the world when the world is promoted. They may be ghosts or negative energy. This is the world's own rejection of external threats. The things contained outside each world are different, but they are all threatening to the world and creatures. They have no intelligence and can only attack and destroy everything in front of them. Oh, they have a lot of threats this time. The road to promotion in this world is really difficult and dangerous. In the live broadcast room, Shi Chen looked at the dark clouds that were constantly gathering, and couldn't help but gloat. Xiaoyu's world is not so easy to promote. The negative energy outside this world, if it weren't for Ban and the others, the world would be swallowed up in an instant. At that time, the Holy Lord half stepped into the fifth level, and at the same time raised the upper limit of the negative energy of the world. In addition to the thousands of years of demons' invasion of strength, these negative energies are simply beyond the standard. Shi Chen was amazed. If it was just more, it would be fine, 
but it also made him see something different. Gradually, the dark clouds above his head became more and more, and gradually gathered into countless monsters like demons. Everyone, are you ready? It's coming. Xiao Yu looked at the gradually formed army of foreign demons and said solemnly to everyone. Such an important thing, of course, is not for them to stop it. In addition to Xiao Yu, Daddy, Jackie Chan and others, not counting the few people who came to help. In addition, there are 200 people who have been ready for a long time. They selected the top 100 from martial arts and magic, and they are all real strong men. Here, the lowest is the second level. Without the second level, you can't even enter the world's 100, not to mention that this is just the entry stage. The former number one magician was the great magician, but unfortunately he had no chance to break through until his death. He passed everything to his father, so now the number one magician is the father. Jackie Chan's strength is second, Xiao Yu is first, after all, he is not as good as Xiao Yu. At this time, everyone is ready, watching countless monsters of all kinds appear, destroying everything they see along the way. Everyone, go. Xiao Yu gave an order, and everyone rushed towards the monsters together. Fire Escape Flame Dragon Song Technique Ban took the lead, and a fire dragon attacked directly, instantly destroying some monsters. Ashura Armor, Fusion Ashura Purgatory Blade Lufa took out the Ashura Summoner directly, and the Ashura Armor was instantly combined, and he rushed up with the sword. Insulation Claw, Sky Fox Flame Tushan Susu instantly transformed into Tushan Hong Hong, and the insulation claw was used. At the same time, a fox fire appeared and covered her claws. Roar! Countless monsters rushed out, but countless were killed instantly, turning into flying ashes and dissipating in the world. At this time, a huge figure appeared in front of everyone. This figure was a hundred meters tall, and his human shaped body was covered with armor like equipment. There were countless demonic energy around him. It seems a bit difficult this time. It has only been a short time since the beginning, and a fourth level monster has appeared. It must not be the strongest. Seeing this, Ban said to everyone with a serious expression. It's okay, we go first. We can't let this big guy enter the battlefield, otherwise the loss will be more serious. Seeing this, Hong Hong greeted everyone and rushed out directly. The place where this monster landed was at the foot of Mount Tai, which was still some distance away from the top of the mountain where everyone was. Look at me, Susanoo. Ban jumped directly down the mountain, then put his hands together, and a huge figure appeared in an instant. It was his Susanoo. Only with a big guy can the big guy be solved. After Ban turned into Susanoo, he instantly brought Lufa and Hong Hong to the front of the monster, which was much faster than running over by himself. Shura Flame Slash Lufa, wearing the Azura armor, flew directly to the top of the monster and slashed at it. Ding! A crisp sound came, and he didn't even break the defense. Be careful, this guy has the strength of the fourth stage, and your attack almost broke the defense. Seeing this, Ban was shocked and said to everyone. Then, he directly drew out his giant sword and slashed at the opponent. Although the opponent's body was huge, his movements were not slow. In an instant, he put his hands together and clamped Ban's sword. Demon Fox Claw Hong Hong came to its back and grabbed it. In an instant, a wound appeared, and there was a burning fox fire attached to it, causing it to continue to suffer damage. The outer demon cried out in pain, then pushed away Ban's sword, turned around and punched Hong Hong. Boom Boom a sound like an earthquake came out, and then a huge pit several meters large appeared on the ground, but it did not hit Hong Hong, who was flexible. This guy's defense is too strong. My fox claws can only barely break through his defense. The damage is not as high as the damage of the fox fire that is always added. Tushan Hong Hong looked at this huge monster and couldn't help but complain to everyone. It's not easy. Only you and I are in the middle stage of the fourth stage. Lufa is only in the early stage. Although there are many people, it can't do much harm to it. The same is true for Madara. Although they have many people, the damage is not enough, and it is difficult to cause great damage to it. 
you are responsible for breaking the defense, and I will attack its wounds to wear it down. Lufa said after hearing this. Then, he rushed towards the opponent again with the knife. The Shura knife swung out a series of light blades, which instantly slashed at the opponent's wounds, causing it to scream in pain. Although this monster is quite agile and can fight with the same body shape, it is a bit powerless when facing flexible opponents such as Hong Hong and Lufa. Good opportunity, Yasukani no Magatama. The huge Susanoo waved and threw out several Magatama, which instantly hit the body of the outer demon and made it retreat continuously. Chibaku Tensei A black sphere hit the outer demon, and countless rocks were sucked in, gradually wrapping the outer demon inside and sealing it, making it unable to move. But before Madara could finish performing Chibaku Tensei, the outer demon directly broke the rock seal it had condensed and countless earth and rocks splashed in an instant, forcing Madara to protect the two. Madara, you'd better chop him with a knife, this guy won't fall for you. Lufa complained when he saw this. This guy is not a tailed beast, and many of his ninjutsu don't work on it. Chapter, 96 Stop talking nonsense. I will attack from the front. You will be responsible for harassment and interrupt its attack rhythm. Ban spread his wings to protect the two of them and rushed towards the opponent again. Leave it to us. Tushan Honghong nodded and flew directly to the top of the opponent's head. Lufa, your attack is not good enough. My insulation claws will break its defense. You will make up for the attack. As she said that, Hong Hong directly transformed into a huge demon fox claw and grabbed the foreign demon. Shua. In an instant, several deep wounds appeared, and the fox fire attached to them made the foreign demon cry out in pain. Shura flame slash. Seeing this, Lufa did not miss the opportunity and came to the opponent's wound in an instant. The Shura knife in his hand kept flying, making the wound deepen. After a long time, everyone was already covered with wounds. Xiaoyu and others had also solved all the foreign demons, leaving only this fourth level one. Everyone gathered here again. Compared with the previous time, this time there are almost half fewer people, because these things are too difficult to deal with. I'm here, everyone hold on. Xiaoyu suddenly flew over and said to everyone. Because of the world's promotion, after defeating some of the foreign demons, they will directly turn into the most primitive spiritual energy, allowing everyone to quickly repair their wounds. As long as they don't die, they will basically recover. As the strongest person in the world, Xiaoyu has received the greatest benefits. Even though the war has not been completely ended, her strength is slowly improving. Now she has broken through some fourth level doors, which is half a foot into the fourth level, allowing her to barely participate in the fourth level battle. Qigong Wave An extreme light emanated from Xiaoyu's hand, and then turned into an energy light wave, attacking the foreign demon. Damn, this guy's skin is too thick, I can't penetrate this guy at all. After a burst of smoke, the foreign demon with no damage on his body appeared in front of everyone again, making Xiaoyu helpless. Roar At this time, the outer demon roared, and then a burst of purple-black light emanated from its mouth, and then a wave of light was spit out towards everyone. Not good, everyone get out of the way. Madara's Susano was a bit heavy, and even if he used his wings to speed up and fly over, he couldn't make it in time, so he hurriedly shouted to everyone to get out of the way. Seeing that the light wave was about to attack Xiaoyu, Lufa and others, suddenly a huge light appeared in front of them, and then a red and blue giant appeared, blocking the light wave attack of the outer demon. Hey! Brother Tiga, you are here too. Xiaoyu was surprised to see this. Before, she was only concerned with attacking, and didn't notice that Degu was coming. She just felt that someone was coming, so she subconsciously agreed. After Degu came in, he directly saw the light wave condensed in the mouth of the outer demon. After dealing with monsters for so long, how could he not be familiar with the light wave attack? After coming in, Degu instantly transformed into Tiga and blocked the attack for them. After blocking the attack, he instantly entered the shining form, and at the same time a bunch of buffs were added to his head. Shining Ring Shield, Shining Ultra Barrier, Shining Powerful Form. Not only that, 
the size of Tiga in shining form instantly increased to about 100 meters, almost the same size as the outer demon in front of him. Today's Degu is not a newcomer to the chat group. He gave Xiao Yu a replica of the god light stick last time. From then on, he couldn't stop and developed various light energies. Today's shining form is what he has researched. He can collect shining energy at ordinary times and release it directly in battle to become Shining Tiga. He got the power of shining from the light of human souls, and the light given to him by the super ancient warriors in Lului. The light of human souls can only be encountered by chance, but the light of super ancient warriors can be replicated. Through research, he found that the super ancient warriors were able to transform into ultra warriors because they were exposed to the light from Orion and then transformed into huge light warriors. In the Tiga world, some Ultraman did come from Orion at first, but more often, humans invented a light particle conversion device that can absorb the light of Orion. Through this device, one can transform into a giant of light, but if one's heart is dark, one will become a dark giant. In the era of Daegu, the light of Orion has long disappeared, but he analyzed the composition of the light of Orion by reverse deduction, and then used it as the nourishment for the transformation into Shining Tiga. Daegu, you are finally here, I thought you were not coming. Madara was quite happy when he saw Tiga appear, which was a strong help. Sorry, I am late because of some research reasons. Daegu said to Madara when he heard it. Research? What have you come up with? With the addition of Tiga, they instantly suppressed the outer demon, after all, Shining Tiga has one foot in the fifth level. So Madara can fight while chatting with Daegu. Oh, by the way, I forgot if you didn't say it. Daegu was stunned when he heard it, and then thought of something. He reached out to grab the timer on his chest, and then a ball of light appeared in his hand, and he waved his hand to throw it to the people present. The more than 100 people present were stunned when they saw this, and then they saw countless light spots flying over, stretched out their hands to take them, and turn them into transformers one by one. This is... Jackie Chan looked at the ring in his hand, and suddenly a message came into his mind, and a huge red giant of light appeared, like an angry lion, showing a sense of power. This is the one-time transformation device I made after I went to the world of Orb. I got the genes of various Ultraman in the Kingdom of Light. It can be used to transform into Ultraman once. If it is a normal battle, it can last for an hour. Degu explained casually while looking at the puzzled eyes of everyone. They will look for the right owner to transform according to their own characteristics. Now you can use them to transform. The strength is about the late third stage, which is barely enough. I see. Jackie Chan put the ring on the middle finger of his right hand, then clenched his fists and stretched his right hand forward. Leo. Suddenly, a red giant appeared on the battlefield, with a pair of ferocious horns on his head and a strong body of muscles, like a fiery red lion. Oh, this thing is quite interesting. Dad has been playing magic for so long, but this Ultraman actually has so many abilities. Dad looked at the two rings in his hand, and fell into deep thought, then clenched his fists and put them together. Ace. Another Ultra Warrior appeared, standing next to Jackie Chan's transformed Leo. Others followed suit, following the instructions in the transformation device and transformed into Ultraman. Zafi. Ultraman. 7. Taro. Edie. Gaia. Mebius. In an instant, hundreds of Ultra Warriors appeared on the field, and the scene was quite spectacular. Okay, everyone, let's go together. Xiaoyu smiled when she saw this, and then led everyone to attack the outer demon. Chapter, 97. Rumble. As countless lasers were fired, the huge external demon finally fell to the ground and turned into countless flying ash. Hu hu hu. Finally, it's solved. The group of people were very tired and finally solved this big guy. There is still one last step, don't relax. At this time, Shu Chen's voice came from the live broadcast room, making everyone stunned. Suddenly, golden light bloomed in the sky, making everyone squint their eyes. This is World Consciousness Xiao Yu remembered the world consciousness she had seen before. It was so similar to this one, but why did it suddenly appear again? 
By the way, the last step is the promotion of world consciousness. If it wants to improve, there is the most important step, thunder tribulation. Xiaoyu suddenly thought of it, and she almost forgot about it. When the consciousness of the world finally rises, you will experience a thunder catastrophe. People in this world can help you resist this thunder catastrophe. People in other worlds cannot stop it at all, unless you can transcend the world itself. Of course, this is both a test and a reward. If they can survive it, everyone involved will be able to receive gifts from the universe. Okay, everyone, cheer up. We all need to resist the last step together. If the consciousness of the world is destroyed, not only will our world fail to advance, but the world will also be severely damaged. Xiao Yu reminded everyone with a serious look. Understood. Everyone heard the words firmly, and then all the Ultraman flew into the sky together. Everyone, thank you for your help. The rest is up to us. Xiao Yu turned to Madara and the others and thanked them, and then flew into the sky. After defeating the last external demon, Xiao Yu has been promoted to the fourth level of strength. Even if he is not Ultraman, he is still stronger than others. Okay everyone, the rest is up to Xiao Yu and the others. We can just wait here with peace of mind. Upon seeing this, Daegu changed back to his human body, and then smiled at everyone. Ah, I'm tired from all the fighting. I just want to take a rest. Madara also dismissed Susanu after hearing this and came to Daegu. The other two people also released their fighting status and came to the two of them. Hello, I'm Daegu. This should be our first real meeting. Daegu looked at Lufa and Hong Hong and smiled at them. Hello, I didn't expect you to be such a powerful scientist. Lufa smiled when he heard this. His Shura armor is the strongest armor in the galaxy. It is also the crystallization of technology, so it is very important to scientists. Have a good impression. No way, I just did some research on the light in our world. The Gu said a little embarrassedly when he heard this. Stop talking, let's watch their battle quickly. The focus this time is not on us. Tu Shan Hong Hong was helpless when she saw this, and immediately interrupted the two of them. That's right. If I had known, I would have extended the time of these transformers a little longer. The Gu looked at the sky after hearing this. At this time, there were already several people who did not have enough energy and started to flash red lights. It's no problem, you have to believe them. Madara walked over at this time and also looked at the sky and said. At this time, Xiao Yu and others were facing a terrifying thunder catastrophe, which even a fourth level Xiao Yu could not easily withstand. What a powerful thunder tribulation. Everyone, please pay attention to sharing the damage and try not to bear it alone. Xiao Yu reminded everyone while resisting the aftermath of the thunder tribulation. World consciousness. I understand. Xiao Yu nodded immediately after hearing the voice of world consciousness. Everyone, all of us are gathered around the world consciousness. The main target of thunder tribulation is the world consciousness. Xiao Yu passed the message to everyone. Everyone heard the words and acted quickly. Just as they found their position, a huge thunder pillar struck, instantly making the world's consciousness tremble. World consciousness. Xiao Yu, what is it saying? Please translate it for us. Seeing that the consciousness of the world seemed to be speaking, Jackie Chan quickly asked Xiao Yu. It's better not to say it. Even if you say it, you won't be able to pass the trial. Xiao Yu was speechless after hearing this. This guy was also the first time for a big girl to get on the sedan chair. This is the first time that the consciousness of the world has been struck by lightning. In the past, it struck others, but now that the world is reincarnated, it is finally my turn, causing its language to become confused all of a sudden. Dare I ask who God has spared? Xiao Yu complained in her heart, then directly withdrew her gaze, and then looked into the deep space of the universe. World promotion is a test from the big universe. This big universe is composed of countless starry skies and galaxies, but it is limited to this world. There are countless great universes in the heavens and realms although they have different compositions, their properties and names are the same. Only by becoming a true cosmic world can we get rid of the limitations of the macrocosm and completely transcend the macrocosm. 
After coming back to her senses, Xiao Yu looked solemnly at the next thunderbolt, which was slowly gathering at this time. Everyone, let's transfer some energy to the world consciousness. It is the main force to resist the thunder tribulation. Xiao Yu suddenly thought that although the world consciousness was beaten and cursed by the thunder tribulation just now, it is much stronger than herself and others. This the initial thunder catastrophe only shocked it. Understood. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and then didn't say much. They believed in Xiao Yu's decision. As everyone transferred their energy to the consciousness of the world, a protective shield gradually formed in front of him, protecting everyone inside. Boom! At this time, another bolt of thunder came down and instantly hit the protective shield. The protective shield only trembled slightly before absorbing all the power of the thunder, and at the same time, the energy was fed back into everyone's bodies. Wow, you can still do this, you are great. Xiao Yu saw this and gave a thumbs up to the world consciousness. Huh, okay, okay, you are the best. Now is just the beginning. Keep working hard later. Xiao Yu smiled and encouraged it. Why do I feel that this world consciousness is just a child? In the live broadcast room, although Conan couldn't hear what the world consciousness said, he had this feeling. This world consciousness is just a newborn, and it has been in a dormant state, so it has this feeling. Although they don't have the thoughts of living beings, they have their own wisdom, which also makes them treat the living beings in the world selflessly. Shuchin explained to everyone after hearing this. For him, it is just a world consciousness. He can know all its information at a glance, not to mention what it says. If we look at it from the perspective of the entire universe, world consciousness is also a kind of living being. The world itself is its body, and consciousness is its soul. If consciousness is destroyed, the world will gradually go to hell and enter the abyss of death, just like a corpse will eventually rot. However, unlike other creatures, the world consciousness treats all beings in its world equally. It will not favor anyone, even people like Xiao Yu who can communicate with it. But like creatures, the world consciousness also has a fallen side, such as creatures possessed by demons, or the fallen road. Chapter, 98 According to what the group leader said, there are nine thunder tribulations we need to go through to advance to a world like ours. Now we have passed six, and we will be able to survive it soon. At this time, Xiao Yu and the others, except for Xiao Yu and Jackie Chan, still had some energy, the others had very little energy left, and the lights on their chests were flashing at an almost continuous speed. Not only that, the protective shield that originally protected everyone above the world consciousness has disappeared. Fortunately, the six thunder tribulations have passed by now. Although the remaining thunder tribulations will be very powerful, at least there won't be many. Everyone, after you transfer the remaining energy to the world, go down and rest. The rest will be left to us. Xiao Yu looked at the people who were gradually unable to support themselves and said to them. Everyone nodded when they heard the words, and then transferred the remaining energy to the world consciousness, each turned into a ray of light and returned to the ground. Uncle Long, Dad, can you still hold on? Xiao Yu turned to look at the two of them and asked. Oh, Dad's old bones can still hold up for a while. Leave the next thunder tribulation to me. After Dad goes down, you can go up again. The father who transformed into Ace nodded to the two of them and then went straight towards the seventh thunder tribulation. Ultra Guillotine A huge light wheel appeared from his hand, and then cut directly towards thunder tribulation. After it dispersed half of the thunder tribulation, it finally dissipated completely. Then Dad rushed forward directly, and the thunder pillar hit his body instantly, and then the thunder tribulation and Ace's bodies disappeared at the same time. Dad. When Xiao Yu saw this, she looked towards him, and immediately saw her father turning into light particles and returning to the ground. He seemed to be unconscious, so she felt relieved. Xiao Yu, you are the strongest among us, don't let us down. Leo, transformed into Jackie Chan, smiled at Xiao Yu, and then faced the Eighth Thunder Tribulation. Leo Flying Kick Because of his status as a martial artist, Jackie Chan became very handy after transforming into Leo, and his strength has reached the peak of the third level. He can be said to be the strongest except Xiaoyu. 
He is naturally proficient in Leo's flying kick, which is Leo's strongest and most frequently used skill. The difference is that Leo's flying kick jumps to a thousand meters in the air and kicks downwards towards the enemy. Jackie Chan attacks from the bottom up this time, which is more difficult. Leo, who had transformed into a dragon, jumped up high, his feet glowing with intense red light, gathering a powerful destructive force on them, and kicked towards the thunder tribulation from bottom to top. A huge explosion sounded, and Leo kicked most of the thunder tribulations away. The remaining thunder tribulations hit him directly, knocking Leo down from a height of 10,000 meters. Wood release, arrival of the tree world. Seeing this, Madara had no time to use Susanoo and directly launched the arrival of the tree world. In an instant, countless huge trees appeared on the ground, and then they rushed directly towards Leo. Rumble. With the support of countless trees, Jackie Chan was finally not thrown to death directly, leaving him with one breath left and directly transformed back into the human form. After falling from an altitude of tens of thousands of meters, Ultraman would be half dead, not to mention an Ultraman who couldn't fight. Leaving Jackie Chan to others to take care of, Madara looked at Xiaoyu, that was the most dangerous place and the most dangerous moment. It's coming. If I can't stop it, it will be up to you soon, you know. Xiaoyu turned to look at the world consciousness aside. This guy is also quite weak. World consciousness. Ha, huh, leave it to me, we will definitely succeed. Xiaoyu smiled when he heard this, and then looked at the last thunder tribulation. At this time, a purple-black thunder beam appeared and struck downwards instantly. Ultimate Qigong Light Wave. Xiaoyu formed a seal with his hands, and then a powerful energy light wave appeared in his hands, instantly turning into a light wave ray and rushing towards Lei Jia. As countless explosions came, everyone only saw countless lights blooming, but could not see what happened at all. Countless thunderbolts flew in all directions, crackling and hitting the newly condensed protective shield, but they did not have much power. Finally, the lightning beam of light that lasted for a full minute disappeared, and the dark clouds in the sky slowly dispersed. No, go and save Xiaoyu. Hong Hong's eyes were sharp, and he instantly saw a small figure emitting black smoke, falling downwards. If she were allowed to fall down like this, she would definitely fall to her death. Before she finished speaking, Tushan Hong Hong rushed out, but the distance was still a bit far away. At this moment, a ray of light came from above and shone directly on Xiaoyu's falling body. It was the world consciousness that saved Xiaoyu. In fact, in the previous Thunder Tribulation, Xiaoyu blocked 90% of the Thunder Tribulation, and the rest of the Thunder Tribulation was resisted by the consciousness of the world. He almost couldn't hold on and almost failed. At this time, the world consciousness immediately rescued Xiaoyu after resisting the remaining Thunder Tribulation. It's interesting, this little guy actually has feelings, otherwise he wouldn't be able to save people. Shichen took back his action to save people, and looked at the actions of the world consciousness, thoughtfully in his heart. At the last moment, the consciousness of the world resonated with Xiaoyu's consciousness, and finally absorbed part of Xiaoyu's emotions, so it took this action and repaid the savior. After putting Xiaoyu in a safe place, the world consciousness began to shine, and countless energies came from the universe, emitting everything to the whole world. The level of world consciousness was rising, and all living things were being repaired. Many people's early hidden diseases were directly repaired. This is a gift from the universe. At this time, with the feedback of countless energies, Xiaoyu and others had woken up. Those who had contributed in this battle had received more or less feedback. This kind of feedback, like the merits of heaven in the prehistoric times, can help everyone repair their bodies and improve their realms. Everyone has improved at least one small realm. Finally. Everything is over. Jackie Chan looked at the people who woke up from the ground and the world consciousness that was constantly growing stronger, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. As the world consciousness continued to grow stronger, the spiritual energy in the world was constantly rising, and the shackles in everyone's body were gradually opened. A sense of relief came over their hearts, and everyone couldn't help but practice. Finally, after a short time, the energy in the world was raised to the current saturation, and the world consciousness slowly converged its light. Then he released a message to Xiaoyu, 
and then disappeared, returning to his original space. Everyone, thank you so much this time. Xiaoyu didn't care after receiving the message, and then thanked Ban and the others. It's okay, we are all partners, we can help each other next time. Degu smiled when he heard it. Then the few people said hello to each other and left this world directly, and Xiaoyu also closed the live broadcast. Chapter, 99 The Great Qin Empire, the world where Ying Jin lives. Everyone, have you cleared out the remnants of the Six Kingdoms? Qin Shi Huang Yingzheng sat high on the throne and asked the ministers below. Now that your majesty has obtained the Yun dynasty cultivation method from the immortal, it has made my Qin dynasty a hundred times stronger. The remnants of the six kingdoms no longer dare to show their heads. Wang Jian walked out after hearing this and said respectfully to Ying Zheng. Very good, pass the order down, collect the soldiers of the world for me, cast twelve golden men, and deploy them all over the world. By then, the four seas will be united, and our world will be completely unified. By then, all the ministers can live forever with me, and my great Qin will be immortal forever. Ying Zheng waved his sleeves and then told everyone about his plan. The method Ying Zheng obtained was a Yun dynasty cultivation method. Based on his own Yun dynasty, he could choose a cultivation system and let people all over the world practice this system. Since it is a Yun dynasty method, it naturally has many benefits for himself and his ministers. After Ying Zheng has laid down the twelve martial arts golden men and spread martial arts to the world, a golden dragon of luck that ordinary people cannot see will condense above his dynasty. All officials in the dynasty can obtain the cultivation bonus and combat bonus of the golden dragon of luck. Not only that, this method can detect anyone who is disloyal to the dynasty. Civil officials can cultivate literary spirit, a word can suppress the world, and a poem can determine the universe. Military generals can cultivate themselves, their strength can break mountains and rivers, and their blood can cut the sun and the moon. As the master of the Yunchao cultivation method, Ying Zheng, the core of all coordination, can obtain one thousandth of the cultivation results of the people in the world. That is to say, if a person practices the Yunchao method, he cultivates a thousand spiritual power to upgrade to the next realm, Ying Zheng can obtain this one thousandth of spiritual power out of thin air, and other people will not be affected. So, no matter how powerful a cultivation genius is, as long as he is in his territory, he will never be able to surpass him. This is the domineering nature of the Yunchao method. Originally, Ying Zheng only practiced the Yunchao technique by himself, and collected the energy of the people to practice, so he was able to achieve the second level in a short time. Now he has reached a bottleneck, and it is time to start a new chapter. He must let the people start practicing, so that he can make better progress. After receiving the order, the generals went to arrange the casting of the twelve golden men. He had already sent out the drawings and styles, and the rest depended on the work of his subordinates. These twelve golden men have different shapes and different weapons in their hands, including swords, spears, halberds, axes, hooks and forks, and all of them. There are also golden men who use fists and feet, and golden men with the aura of great scholars. These golden men represent the future cultivation direction of the Qin state. Warriors can practice various weapons and their own fists and feet, and literati can practice righteousness. Ying Zheng returned to the imperial study, while dealing with various memorials, he opened the chat group. Everyone, I want to upgrade the Yun dynasty, cast twelve golden men, and spread the military throughout the world. As an emperor of a country, Ying Zheng is naturally busy with official duties, so he hasn't spoken here for a while, just occasionally peeking at the screen. Yeah, Ying Zheng is online, it seems that everything is going well there. Xiaoyu took the time to go online after dealing with the problems after the world promotion, and then saw Ying Zheng who had not spoken for a long time. Today, Xiaoyu has reached the fourth level. She is really a person in the lower middle level of the chat group, but she is very strong. As a modern person, and the other party is the bottom of the strength, he does not have that kind of respect for the emperor, but talks like a friend. Thank you for your concern, Miss Xiaoyu, I'm almost there, and I can also upgrade the world by then. I forgot to congratulate you on your successful world promotion. Ying Jing smiled when he heard this. He likes the atmosphere here very much, and everyone will help each other. 
Shi Chen looked at everyone and thought that it would be better to let everyone get together when he is free. A lot of things have happened recently, and many new members have joined the group. Everyone is not very familiar with each other, so I just happened to tell everyone a story. Although he is not even one ten thousandth of the original body, he still has some useful information. It should be a good idea to pull everyone into a space and pause for a thousand years to preach. Hmm. This is. A very familiar feeling. At this time, Shuchen's eyes condensed, as if he had discovered something. He looked in the direction of his gaze, but he did not find anything, but the feeling of being the same as the original body lingered. After thinking about it, Shuchen found the original body directly. He did not want to disturb the original body, but this time the thing seemed different. It was something very familiar to him, which made him a little uneasy. After a long time, the original body opened his eyes. So that's it, it was my fault in the past, but since I found it, then it will disappear completely. Shi Chen woke up from his practice and immediately knew about the clone. As he said that, Shi Chen stretched out his right hand and wiped it towards an unknown place. He he, although you are the great Tao, I have not spent all these years in vain. In a distant unknown place, a voice came first, and then a figure appeared, allowing Shi Chen to see his goal. This person was wearing a black Taoist robe, but his face was strangely exactly the same as Shurchen. Do you think that you can get rid of me and achieve the great Tao without any worries? It's not that easy. One day I will replace you, and then I will be the real great Tao Shurchen. As he said this, the strange man in black disappeared completely with the help of a black air. The man in black said something harsh, but then he ran away decisively. It was obvious that he didn't dare to face Shurchen, but since he was able to escape from Shurchen's hands, it can be seen that he is not ordinary. It's a bit tricky. Tell them about this matter and let them pay more attention in the future. Shurchen retracted his gaze and said to the clone. Is this matter over? The black air after that must have been helped by a master. Do you want to track it again? The clone asked Shurchen after hearing this. It's not that easy. Shi Chen shook his head and paused before continuing. Although that guy is the evil thought abandoned by me, he has also grown to the realm of heaven. Moreover, judging from the black air before, there is another avenue behind him, perhaps the previous fallen avenue. This matter needs to be considered in the long run. I understand. Then I will tell them about it and let them be mentally prepared. The clone nodded after hearing this. Go. I have to deal with this matter properly. It's a troubled time. Shi Chen shook his head and then closed his eyes again. Everyone, I have something to tell you. This matter is related to me, but it may implicate you. In the chat group, Shi Chen directly tagged everyone and asked everyone to go online. The group leader actually tagged everyone. It seems that something big has really happened. Hades, who had not been online for a long time, was originally still practicing, but was called out at this time. Although Hades was seriously injured in that battle, he had the support of the chat group and could obtain a lot of resources for healing, so he had recovered long ago. At this time, everyone came online, greeted each other, and then quietly waited for Shurchen to speak. Chapter, 100 Just now, I detected a person. He was the cause and effect of the original body. Now I am afraid that he will come to seek revenge and may take action against you. Shi Chen said slowly. The cause and effect of the group leader back then? How do you say it? Tong Tian was shocked when he heard this, but he was very aware of the power of time. After becoming a saint, he has a clearer understanding of the power of time. I am afraid that he is not a simple character who can make the other party take him seriously. Actually, it appeared after the main body achieved the great Tao realm. It was the evil thoughts of the main body that were expelled from the body after achieving the great Tao realm. When I first achieved the great Tao realm, I thought it had died, but I didn't expect it to return now. Evil thoughts. So you are also part of the group leader. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and then they felt that the matter was difficult. Because it's part of the main body, I can't detect the other party's location. It just happened to appear nearby, so I knew about it. Now that the other party has achieved the realm of heavenly Tao, 
and there is a Dao Dao behind him, everyone should deal with it carefully, but he probably won't take action against you personally. After all, you are just ants to him, and he will not take action against you easily. Having said that, his subordinates are not necessarily the same. He will definitely have new ways to fight for the avenue. Shi Chen said, showing everyone the image of the other party, giving everyone a general understanding. We understand, but it shouldn't be a big problem. Everyone nodded, but existences of that level would not come directly to them even if they thought about it. It is unreasonable to worry about the situation. Ding, an unknown chat group was discovered and is being detected. At this time, the voice of the chat group rang in everyone's ears, making everyone stunned. What's going on? Why is there still a chat group? Everyone had always thought that the chat group was the only one, but they didn't expect that there was a new one, which made everyone stunned. Ding, there is an unknown being in the heavenly Tao realm behind this chat group. Analysis may be related to the group owner. The voice of the chat group let everyone know that this is what the group leader just mentioned. I see, that guy is planning to fight us in this way. Shi Chen nodded when he saw this. Is the other party going to fight in the ring? The chat group is something that exists in another dimension. Except for the chat group transformed into the Great Tao and the ontology that is also in the Great Tao realm, it can be detected by other people. Now that the other party has also created a chat group, it is obvious that there is a Tao realm behind it, and they may have obtained some fragments of the current chat group, thus evolving another chat group. Ding, the chat group task is now released. All group members can take it, go to the world covered by the other party's chat group, eliminate the other party's group members, supplement the functions of the chat group, and get original rewards. Note, the strength of ordinary group members is lower than that of management depending on the strength of the members, the strongest one is the leader of the other party. Being in the heavenly Tao realm, destroying the leader of the other party can completely devour the other party's chat group. So that's it. The other party really got the avenue fragments of the chat group, so they were able to create another chat group, but there should be some flaws. Moreover, since our chat group can devour the other party, then the other party can also devour us. Everyone I saw the task announcement in the chat group and immediately explained it to everyone. Group leader, does that origin reward come from the Great Tao? Tong Tian saw the origin of the chat group reward, had some guesses in his heart, and couldn't help but get excited. Yes, the main body of the other party's chat group is transformed from the remaining avenues of our chat group, and other avenue fragments are added as supplements. So every group member has the energy of the origin of the avenue, although it is not much, but for you even just a little bit goes a long way. Shi Chen nodded and explained immediately. Except for the leader of Tong Tian cult, who is well informed, everyone else knows a lot of things from Shi Chen, so many things are not clear. But no matter what, as long as the name is related to the avenue, it is a truly good thing. The leader of the other group has been possessed by my evil thoughts, so the members he recruits will not be kind people. We don't have to hold back at that time. Shi Chen thought about it, fearing that someone would be soft-hearted and suffer a loss, so he added to everyone. Don't worry, group leader. This is a matter that concerns all of us. We will never be merciful. Everyone smiled after hearing this. It is impossible to be merciful in this kind of thing. It would be irresponsible to everyone. Ding, we found a world of hostile chat group members. The upper limit is level 3. Only two members can enter. The voice of the chat group came at the right time, causing everyone to look around quickly after hearing the words. The level is not high, so I'll leave it to you. Pluto looked at it and saw that it was only a third level world. Let the weaker ones in the group go. It shouldn't be difficult to solve. Let Kai and Tony go. Tony's armor should be at the third level of strength. Shi Chen looked at it and let these two guys who have been diving for 10,000 years go. Anyway, after checking it out, it was not too much. It was dangerous, but it had some impact on their souls. In that case, let the two of us go. Tony saw that the group leader had spoken, and it was true that the two of them hadn't been out together for a long time, so he simply agreed. Everyone didn't have any objections. We were all partners anyway and didn't care about it. I happen to be okay recently. 
I just left the earth, so let's go together. Hong Kai said at this time. After Daegu and others went to help him last time, he continued to wander in the universe while completing the tasks given to him by the Orb Holy Sword, and his strength improved rapidly. Because he already knew the original plot, and this time he grew stronger than before, so he easily defeated the Light Demon Beast in the battle when he first arrived on Earth. And because he knew that Gagra had rescued Natasha, the knot in his heart did not exist at all. But it was also because in that battle, in order to become stronger, he obtained a new upgraded equipment from the Light of Orb, the Orb Ring, which can be used to seal the Demon Beast. Because of this, his name as the Debt King was completely resounding. Now he has sealed all the demon beasts on earth, and left the earth with all the ultra warriors cards to continue his journey. As for Gagra, although this guy did not completely turn black at the beginning, I don't know whether it was the inertia of the world or something, he eventually turned into a demon and came to earth to love and kill Orb. But while Orb became stronger, he was not idle. He always had a goal in his heart, that is, Saitama, who he had met before. Saitama's punch is still vivid in his mind, but he doesn't know one thing. The less hair you have, the stronger your fighting power is, so he, with thick hair, is destined to never become like Saitama. At this time, Kai and Tony were ready, teleported to the unknown world together, and opened the live broadcast room for everyone. This should be our first cooperation, come on. After meeting, the two smiled and said hello, and then went to explore in the distance. Chapter, 101. As long as we eliminate the enemy members in this world, it seems that we can do it. Tony looked at the information sent by the chat group and walked forward slowly. The chat group gave them a general introduction to the information of this world, and at the same time sent them the location and strength of the enemy. After all, their chat group got a lot of Dao fragments, and sometimes it was normal for Shichen, a real Dao realm, to know the other party's information, and the other party didn't know the danger was coming at this time. At this time, Tony's walking figure suddenly stopped, and Kai couldn't help but look at the other party. What's wrong, Tony? Kai asked puzzledly. Who? Tony, what's wrong with you? Kai saw Tony's eyes gradually become angry, which made him startled. This rarely happens. Little. Little spider. Tony suddenly said these words, which made Kai stunned, and then he quickly looked at the world information. This is a parallel universe where Spider-Man is, and now that it has been completely controlled by the enemy, Spider-Man's fate can be imagined. Everyone knows Tony's feelings for Spider-Man. In the original version, after Tony died, it was Spider-Man who inherited his will and took on the mission of a superhero. Although the original Spider-Man was also a superhero, in Tony's eyes, he was just a child with superpowers, so he always treated Peter Parker as his own child and took good care of him. Kai calmed down and then looked at the following content. This world is interesting, because he has not only one Spider-Man, but six in the original plot. If you add the one who has died, there are as many as seven. The protagonist of this world is a high school student named Miles, who gained the ability of Spider-Man because he was bitten by a radioactive spider but there was already a Spider-Man here, so he didn't want this ability. Later, he saw Spider-Man being killed by Kingpin with his own eyes, and in a series of events, he met Spider-Man from other parallel universes. Greasy middle-aged Peter Parker, female Spider-Man Gwen Stacy, Shadow Spider-Man, Japanese girl Spider-Man Penny Parker, and a Spider-Ham Man. The six met because of Kingpin's Super Collider, and united in a series of events, finally defeated Kingpin, and returned to their own universes. However, what happened at this time made Tony very upset, because all Spider-Men were killed, even the protagonist, a high school student, was not spared. Kingpin didn't know what ability he got from the villain chat group. His physical fitness was originally very strong, and he was the best among ordinary people. This time he reached the third level of strength, and even Hulk could arm wrestle. Let's go, let's go and avenge Spider-Man. Kai patted Tony on the shoulder and nodded at him. The two of them put their moods in order and set off again. I'll give you a set of battle clothes. If there is an emergency and you don't have time to transform, you will be miserable. Tony suddenly thought of something and threw a watch to Kai. This is my latest research suit. 
It not only has the original nanotechnology, but also the elemental power of the Wendy world, and I have also added the armor function of the Lufa world. Not only can the defense attack be upgraded to the third level, but it can also release special moves similar to armor, and it is equipped with weapons. Tony said, while demonstrating it to Kai, which opened his eyes. Tony, your thing is really good, it has many functions. Kai's eyes lit up when he saw it, and he put it on his wrist directly. Although his human body is strong, it is only slightly better than human physical fitness. In addition, with the protection of the orb light, he cannot be protected anytime and anywhere. With this, it is much more convenient. The two put on the Iron Man suit directly and flew all the way to Brooklyn, where Kingpin was. At this time, Brooklyn was almost reduced to ruins. Although it was not completely broken, almost every building was dangerous. After the first experiment, Kingpin was stopped by Spider-Man and failed, and attracted five Spider-Men from other universes, but he was also invited to the villain chat group. After learning his fate, he immediately found the other six living Spider-Men and killed them all before they could unite and grow. Kingpin seems to have gained a devouring ability, which is why he was able to grow to the third level so quickly. Tony looked at the ruins in front of him and recalled the introduction of Kingpin in the information. So he may have devoured Spider-Man's ability, and flying over the eaves and walls is a basic operation. Kai nodded when he heard it. Let's go. Tony didn't say much, and took the lead to walk in front. They had already roughly understood Kingpin's strength, so there was no need to shrink back, just kill all the way in. They came directly to the outside of Kingpin's laboratory, and the two raised their right hands at the same time, and the laser beams in their palms flew out. A huge roar came, and the door of the entire laboratory was directly penetrated. In an instant, countless alarms came, letting Kingpin know that there was an enemy invasion. Looking at the surveillance screen, Kingpin had never seen these two people. With his strength, he was not afraid of ordinary small rocket launchers, so he was not panicked when he saw them. He waved his hand casually, asking Ms. Octopus and Green Goblin to deal with it. He had several powerful subordinates, but after the previous battle, only two of them were left. The two took orders and quickly found the instigators of this incident, Tony and Red Kai. Kill them. Seeing this, Ms. Octopus said nothing, and the four octopus mechanical arms behind her stretched out and grabbed the two. The green goblin who followed closely behind was not to be outdone. He stepped on the flying skateboard and threw a bomb in each hand at the two. Save your strength to deal with Kingpin, I can handle this. Tony stopped Kai who wanted to move forward, and then flew over directly. Swish. A lightsaber stretched out from each of his arms, and then the arsenal behind him opened, and countless bombs flew out. The dense bombs instantly surrounded the two opponents, but the power was not strong. This is a freezing missile made by Tony using water elements and ice elements, which can quickly freeze some creatures. Any creature with strength at the second level can be directly frozen by him, and they can hardly break free. Only people who have reached the third level cannot be afraid of this freezing. After all, those who can reach the third level have many powerful abilities and are already the top existence of human beings. It must be said that Tony's freezing missiles are quite useful, and they instantly froze the two opponents. Then Tony held two lightsabers in both hands and instantly passed through the two people. As the lightsabers in his hands flew, the two human-shaped ice sculptures instantly turned into powder. In just a short moment, the two generals under Kingpin were killed in seconds, which made Kingpin realize the danger. Then he opened his villain chat group and asked them about the origins of the two people. Chapter 102 Why are there two level 3 people coming to my world? Come on, someone help me. Jean Bing opened the chat group and yelled at him. Jean Bing, pay attention to your identity. Although the administrator and the group owner are not here, you are too presumptuous. At this time, a voice came, and he couldn't help but calm down. This place called the villain chat group, he witnessed something when he first came in. At that time, a person came in with him. That person's strength was stronger than he is now. According to what the group said, he should have the strength of the fourth level. As a result, because that guy came up and disrespected the administrator, even though he was separated by countless worlds, he was directly crushed to death, 
and it was broadcast live in front of everyone. Everyone is a big villain in each world, so it's okay to be a little irritable, but killing people at a disagreement, and separated by countless worlds, made him feel scared. Although this place is terrible, it is not useless. Every newcomer to the group can get a chance to know his own destiny, so he can kill all Spider-Man. If you want to get something here, you not only need to exchange, but also worry about whether the other party will cheat you. After all, no one is a good person, and mutual fraud is common. However, the weak dare not deceive the strong. Only the strong have the right to choose everything. The weak can only pray not to be used as cannon fodder by the strong. I know, sir. The owner of this voice is a fourth-level strong man. Because he is stronger than him, he dare not refute. I can answer your question. Seeing that Jean Bing was scared, the man was no longer so tough, and then slowly said. One of them is Iron Man from another parallel universe. There is also Spider-Man in his time and space, so he should be here for revenge. As for the other one, there is a disgusting light in his body. It should be that group of Ultra Warriors. They should all be people in that chat group. Sir, can you help me? Jean Bing knew that this matter could not be settled peacefully after hearing this. Even if there is Spider-Man in the other world, it is possible to shake hands and make peace under the trend of interests. But since they are people from another chat group, they are natural opposites, and they cannot shake hands and make peace. After all, the people on his side also wanted to kill them and get the rewards given by the chat group. The two sides were the same in this regard. It's okay, but I want all the rewards for killing them. The man thought about it and nodded, but he wanted to take the rewards for himself, which made Jean Bing very angry, but he could do nothing about it. Well. Okay, I promise you. Jean Bing looked at Tony and Hong Kai who were approaching, and had to agree reluctantly. He himself was not sure about dealing with two third-level people, and he had just entered the third level. Then, the cost of going to your world will be reimbursed by you. Yes, I understand. Jean Bing almost crushed his fingers, but had to agree. Their chat group was missing a lot, and they could not travel through the world at will. They had to pay a certain price, and this price varied from person to person. The stronger the strength of the crossing, the higher the cost. He was only a third-level person, and even the cost of the other party crossing over alone made him feel painful. Seeing that the other party was ready, Jean Bing had no choice but to take out a Jean potion to use as the cost of crossing the world. Everything has its value, as long as it contains energy, the value can be estimated in the chat group. So energy is the basis of crossing and a necessity, just like a fairy grass and an energy crystal. This gene potion was made by combining all the existing powerful genes with the world's top equipment. There are also the genes of the six Spider-Mans, which were all fused together by him, and there are only three copies in total. One of them was used by himself, and the remaining two had to take out one to provide crossing, so he only had one in his hand. As Jean Bing used the potion, a light gate soon appeared beside him, and a figure appeared here. Let's go, let's meet the people in that chat group. I haven't killed anyone in another chat group yet. You are so lucky that you are the first one I met. The man said, and walked directly in front. I would rather not meet them. It's unlucky. Jean Bing's eyes sank when he heard the words, and he muttered to himself in his heart. Warning, warning, someone from another world is coming over here, and his strength is level 4. Send him his data now. Tony and Kai were about to find Kingpin, but suddenly received a message from the chat group that a level 4 person was coming over, which made them stop. What should we do? Kai couldn't help but look at Tony, wanting to ask for his opinion. Let's take a look at the information first. If we can't defeat him, we'll retreat first. We're not in a hurry. Tony knew that the other party was considering his feelings. After all, he wanted to avenge Spider-Man, so he thought about it and decided not to take the risk. Okay. Kai nodded, and then the two looked at the message sent by the chat group. It's him. Tony and Kai knew who the other party was when they saw his appearance, which shocked them. Dark Lugiel. So, Jinga. 
Kai saw the other party's body and understood at once that this guy was a powerful monster that was one with Ultraman Jinga. Jinga is an Ultraman from the future. He and Lugiel were originally one, but later they had a disagreement, so Lugiel attacked Ultraman and monsters and turned everyone into spark dolls, which eventually led to a battle between Jinga and Lugiel, and both of them were injured. This time it's troublesome. Since Lugiel has also joined the villain chat group, Jinga is in danger. I'm going to go to Jinga's time and space later. Kai said as he looked at Lugiel's information. Today, Lugiel has absorbed Jinga's power and has completely merged with Jinga. His darkness has completely suppressed Jinga's light. I'm afraid the situation is not optimistic, and the opponent's strength has reached the late fourth stage, which is very scary. Not only that, he must have absorbed all the energy of the spark doll, otherwise he couldn't be so strong. It seems that there will be trouble. Tony looked serious, thinking about what to do. This time the enemy is not something you can handle, let Daegu go. Shu Chen said in the live broadcast room at this time. After all, the enemy now appeared temporarily, and they could not beat it. This is not something that can be done with faith alone. Then I will trouble Senior Daegu. I will give half of my reward to you when the time comes. Kai said gratefully. Me too, thank you Daegu for coming. Tony also nodded. This is not something they can handle, so there is no need to be so strong. It's not a big deal, there is no need to do this, I will have a chance to get the reward in the future. Daegu shook his head and refused. No need to do this, this is what you deserve, we can't let you help us get the reward for nothing. The two said immediately after hearing this. This. Okay. Daegu was stunned after hearing this, and he stopped struggling and teleported directly to this world. Chapter, 103 This was originally a task sent by the chat group, limited to two people, so only two people can get the reward. If Daegu wants to come, he will not get the reward in the end, but they can't let him come to help for nothing. Heh, I feel the disgusting light. Which Ultraman are you? At this time, Lukiel came out with Jean Bing and looked at Kai and said. Boob, Ultraman. As he said, before Kai transformed, a figure came out from behind him. It was Daegu. Another one. And, such a strong light. Lukiel was shocked when he saw this. He suddenly felt that he shouldn't wade into this muddy water. He didn't expect that the other party would come to help casually, and no one on his side helped. If one of them was in trouble, not adding insult to injury meant that the other party had a good temper, not to mention coming to rescue. Humph, it's just another Ultraman. We are both fourth level, and I can't lose. Feeling the light on Daegu, Lukiel felt a little relieved. The new Ultra Warrior is not ordinary. You're on your own. I can't take care of you. Lukiel said to Kingpin without looking at his ugly face. Asshole, if you survive this time, I will get rid of you sooner or later. Kingpin was angry, but he also knew that now was not the time for internal strife. Come on. Kingpin roared, and then his originally strong body became many times bigger, just like Hulk's transformation. Then a layer of black armor appeared on his body, completely protecting himself. Go, let me see how powerful this new Ultra Warrior is. Lukiel's body instantly became huge, and then rushed towards Daegu. We're on two, Tiga. Daegu took out the god light rod and then transformed into Tiga, but did not turn on the shining form. Now he has the strength of the fourth stage in the late stage of Tiga. If he turns on the shining form, he will directly enter the quasi-fifth stage, which can be said to be a rapid increase in strength. Who was it? It turned out to be Tiga. Unfortunately, I know your abilities very well. You will definitely lose. Lukiel once had a spark doll of Tiga, so he knew Tiga very well. Seeing Tiga appear, he felt relieved. On the other side, Kai and Tony also faced Kingpin. Orb. Kai also took out the orb ring and transformed into orb directly, rushing towards Kingpin with Tony. Lukiel roared, and then a black ball of light hit Tiga. Tiga jumped and dodged immediately, and the two immediately engaged in close combat. The two huge bodies quickly fought together, and the battle suddenly became white-hot. 
At the first contact, Lukiel felt the pressure of Tiga on him, which made him feel completely suppressed. Impossible, how can Tiga be so powerful? Lukiel was shocked and terrified. He didn't expect that the Tiga he met now would be such a powerful Ultraman. In fact, he had been wrong all along. The real Tiga had left this universe before 30 million, and the Tiga spark doll he got was just a part of Tiga's power, not the real Tiga. Moreover, he forgot that the Tiga transformed by Daegu was cultivated by various resources in the chat group, and now he is extremely powerful. On the other side, Orb and Iron Man also fought with Kingpin. In order to facilitate the battle, Orb shrunk his body to the same size as Kingpin, so that he could better display his body. Fiery Bomb Iron Man raised his arm and fired a very hot fire element bomb from it, and countless other element bombs were ready. Since he knew the elemental reaction of Tevat, he has studied it seriously for a long time, and later bought the god's eye of other elements in the chat group. Now that he has seven elements gathered, in an instant, various elemental reactions appeared on Kingpin's body. Melting, superconductivity, crystallization, freezing, etc. are like countless buffs on Kingpin, making him unable to move. 8-Point Light Wheel Seeing this, Orb stepped forward, and two 8-Point Light Wheels appeared in his hands, cutting directly towards Kingpin's body. Damn it! Kingpin couldn't help but roared, then clenched his right fist, and with a powerful straight punch, he instantly forced the two people out of the encirclement. At this time, in an unknown location, several figures were discussing things, and in front of them was the battle between Daegu and others. Lukiel actually went there, just for that little bit of benefit, it seems that this time he will be in trouble. At this time, a figure said. Kingpin, that human, died, but it is a bit troublesome to train a Lukiel. This time we will suffer a little loss. Another person heard the words, with a somewhat angry tone. Should we rescue them? Although Kingpin's death doesn't matter, Lukiel is a fourth level after all, and he may become an administrator in the future. His potential is still very good. At this time, another person asked. No, we can't descend into that world now, and they have people watching here. Even if we want to save them, we can't. We might even be killed. The first person who spoke refused. They would not sacrifice themselves so fearlessly for a so-called companion. That's it, don't worry about them anymore. At this time, a person who looked like the leader spoke up and ended the conversation. Others fell silent upon seeing this, and left the place at the same time. It seems that they are not so stupid that they would sacrifice themselves for a lookiel. What a pity. In the chat group, Shurchin felt a gaze staring at this place, but he did not find where it was. After all, he was isolated by the chat group and could not locate it. Feeling regretful, he put his mind aside and looked at the battle in the field again. Although the main body did not say it, he was still very concerned about the evil thoughts of the main body. That guy was also a part of himself. In fact, this evil thought was not the evil thought of him as a chaos demon god. They were originally innate chaotic creatures, and it can be said that there was no distinction between good and evil. But that evil thought was different. It was the negative emotion when he was a human in his previous life. Now, after countless years of cultivation, he finally became what he is now. Humans have seven emotions and six desires, so they will give birth to evil thoughts. When he achieved the Great Tao, he wanted to eliminate this acquired evil thought, but he did not expect that this acquired evil thought also stained his own Great Tao origin and became an innate thing, so it brought him trouble. In fact, he knew that this evil thought was just a knife of the enemy, and what he really needed to worry about was the road behind him, but this evil thought was a part of himself after all. If he was allowed to grow and develop, it would probably threaten him in the future. Forget it, if something goes wrong, I have my main body to bear it. No matter what he does, he can't make a big wave sure Chen shook his head and looked at the battlefield. The battle was coming to an end at this time. With three against two and superior strength, there was no possibility of failure. Chapter, 104 Soon, the battle ended in a ray of light from Tiga, and Tony and the two on the other side also killed Jean Bin, making everything disappear. After Tiga destroyed Lukiel, 
countless rays of light flew out, and finally converged into a huge giant of light. Inha. Several people looked at the Milky Way that appeared, and they were a little surprised that the Milky Way would be resurrected. Is this? Tiga. Ub. Inha looked at his body, then noticed Tiga and Ub beside him, and couldn't help but wonder. Galaxy, you can actually be resurrected again. Orb was overjoyed when he saw this. He didn't expect that after destroying Lukiel, Galaxy would be resurrected. Let me think about it. I fought with Luigi L before, and we turned into Spark dolls together. As a result, he was resurrected for some reason, and he also absorbed the Spark dolls of all our Ultra Warriors and monsters. After that, I can't remember it. Ultraman Galaxy recalled it, but this was all he knew. It seems that you defeated Lukiel, so you revived me. After clearing his thoughts a little, Inha looked at Daegu and the two and said gratefully. It's nothing, all this is the credit of Senior Digga. Ub heard this and waved his hand, then pointed at Digga and said. By the way Galaxy, weren't you and the other spark dolls absorbed? Why are you the only one who can be resurrected? Digga suddenly asked at this time. Because Luigi L and I are originally one, it is very difficult for him to completely eliminate me, so the other spark dolls were eliminated. I can still live until now, but if you don't defeat him, I am afraid it won't take long before it will be completely absorbed, Inha said with lingering fear after hearing this. In that case, we will send you back to your original universe later, and wait until we finish the finishing work here. Daegu nodded and said. Don't bother, I can travel through the universe. Hearing this, Inha shook his head. He thought this was the Ultraman universe and he could travel through it at will. Well, I suggest you take a look at this universe first. There are no Kingdom of Light and Ultra Warriors in this universe. Upon seeing this, the Goo kindly reminded him. Ha! Huh. As expected, I can't feel the Ultra Star anymore, and there seems to be a lot of evil in this universe, but they are different from monsters. Hearing this, Inha was stunned, and then felt it carefully, and found some clues. What's going on? Inha looked at the two of them in confusion. It's a long story. We'll explain it to you later. Now let's deal with the rest of the matter first, and then I'll send you back to your original universe. Daegu didn't know how to explain the chat group to him. I could only talk about it vaguely first. Inha didn't think much, nodded and transformed back into the human body together with everyone. It is worth mentioning that Galaxy's human body is exactly what Xiao Guang looks like in the original plot. It seems that everything is destined. Let's go, this world still needs a Spider-Man, otherwise the balance will be broken. Tony came over at this time, said hello to Galaxy, and then said to several people. Everyone nodded, but for a moment they didn't know where to start. In Jean Bin's laboratory, there is also a newly improved potion that he has improved. It not only has all the abilities of Spider-Man, but also has some other genes added by him. Shu Chen reminded at this time. New genetic medicine. Tony was stunned when he heard this, and then felt that it should be so. This guy has done a lot of things like modifying people, and even himself has changed. There were originally three parts of this potion. He used one part himself, called Lukiel over and used one part, and the last part was left. Several people walked towards Jean Bin's laboratory and listened. Following Sher's explanation, I also understood the origin of this potion. Although the method of genetic medicine is also a branch of technology, and it has quick effects and can give humans powerful power in a short time, it also has many disadvantages. People who use genetic medicine rarely live for a long time. They usually have the same lifespan as ordinary people, or even shorter. What's more, they can't always use this to strengthen themselves. They will always encounter bottlenecks and are far inferior to the way of cultivation, so Tony has never thought about this. Although he is also the way of technology, it is completely different from this. The true pinnacle of technology is to transform oneself into an immortal existence. At the same time, one person can form an army, and the truth is within range. Powerful technology such as two-way foil, which directly compresses a universe. Several people searched in Jean Bing's laboratory and quickly found the required medicine. Now everyone here has escaped, and they have not killed them all. 
After all, many of them are scientists who have to work for Kingpin. Then several people set out again, this time with Tony looking for a successor to Spider-Man to get the world back on track. He turned on his artificial intelligence Jarvis, directly connected to the world's network, and found a little boy from countless people who could take over this important task. He was also a high school student. Tony secretly injected the medicine into the little boy's body and left silently. The child had to walk the rest of the way on his own. In the rotation of the world, there is a trajectory called destiny. Even if someone destroys it all, after a few years, it will quietly bring everything back to its original trajectory. Tony believed that time would prove everything and that his choice was right. After the few people finished all this, Orb took Jinga away from this universe and went to their universe. Jinga himself has the ability to travel through the universe, but it is limited to the Ultra Universe, so as long as he is taken to Orb's universe, he can go back by himself. Seeing Orb and Jinga leave, Dagu and Tony smiled, and then left here separately, and everything seemed to have returned to the starting point. Ding, congratulations to group members Tony Stark, Hong Kai, and Yuan Dagu for completing the task and obtaining the origin reward. At this time, the message of the chat group came to everyone's mind, which made everyone stunned. Then I read the explanation of the chat group and understood everything. Before, I didn't go to eliminate Lugiel, so it was normal that he didn't get the reward, but Lugiel appeared. And Dagu rushed to save the scene, so Dagu directly got the reward for eliminating Lugiel, which can be regarded as a reward for his efforts. After understanding it, everyone went offline. Chat group, you should have gained new abilities, right? In the chat group, Shurchin's thoughts were talking to it. That's right, in fact, the chat group also has its own consciousness, but it was stimulated by the appearance of the villain chat group that it awakened its consciousness and showed an instinctive reaction of wanting to devour the other party. Because of this, it gave birth to a new consciousness, but it is like a newborn baby, and it still needs everyone to slowly guide it. If it is guided in a good direction, it will naturally be a good existence, otherwise it will be like a villain chat group. Chapter, 105 Chat group. Are you still a little short? Forget it, take your time, don't rush. Shurchin nodded when he heard it. In the prehistoric world, Shurchin's tightly closed eyes suddenly opened and looked into the endless chaos. Another old friend, but it seems that he seems to be in trouble. As he said that, Shurchin stood up and instantly came to the outside of the prehistoric world and was in the chaos. Endless chaotic energy surged in front of him, Countless worlds were destroyed in it, and countless worlds were born in the blink of an eye. This is the endless reincarnation of the world. Shuchin walked forward slowly, and in a blink of an eye, there was a violent movement in front of him. Damn it, there are no owners in the chaos, whoever gets it is whoever, and you dare to rob my ancestor. An old man with long eyebrows and green clothes was fleeing, and there were five figures chasing him behind him, so he could only keep fleeing. Hmm. That in front. Seems a little familiar. The old man was constantly fleeing, and suddenly saw a standing figure in front of the chaos, which seemed a little familiar after careful observation. As a peak heavenly Tao realm, he had never felt the other party before, which made him feel incredible. Yang Mei, long time no see. At this time, the person in front spoke, it was Shi Chen who came over. Dao Yu Shi Chen. It's you. Yang Mei was shocked when he saw Shi Chen, and then stopped in front of him. Dao Yu, no, it's senior, I'm about to be beaten to death. After all, we were born in the same place, you won't just watch me die without helping me, right? Yang Mei was overjoyed to see Shi Chen, and hurriedly asked Shi Chen for help. After all, the two of them were from the same place, so he should help himself, right? Do you know that just because you brought them to Hong Huang, I can wipe you out directly? Shi Chen glanced ahead, and then said to Yang Mei lightly. Just one glance, the five people chasing Yang Mei couldn't help but feel terrified. These five people are not weak, one of them is at the peak of Heavenly Tao Realm, and the other four are in the middle to late stage of Heavenly Tao Realm. They are also strong in this chaos. I was in a panic and accidentally brought them here. Yang Mei said embarrassedly. Humph, how come you don't know I'm here? Shi Chen simply scolded him and ignored him. 
he didn't plan to kill Yang Mei. Senior, we have no intention of offending you. Since he knows you, we will take our leave now. The person at the peak of the Heavenly Tao realm, who was the leader, carefully glanced at the prehistoric world behind him, thinking that if he survived the disaster, he would never come here again. It's so scary, how could a person from the Great Tao realm suddenly appear? I don't intend to pursue your affairs, just leave now. Shi Chen saw that the five people didn't have two strong evil spirits, so he let them go. Anyway, it was Yang Mei who provoked him, and he didn't need to solve the trouble for him. Thank you, senior, we'll take our leave. The five people were overjoyed when they heard the words. After paying respect to Shi Chen, they turned around and left here immediately. They would never dare to come here again. Huh, Daoist fellow Shi Chen, long time no see. This time, thanks to you, otherwise I would be in trouble. Seeing the five people leave, Yang Mei finally felt relieved and smiled at Shi Chen. As early as the birth of chaos, they had known each other, but Pangu failed to open the sky and fell. He was seriously injured and fled from chaos, but Shi Chen chased him and reached the Tao realm, which made him ashamed. Now countless Yuanhui have passed, and his injuries have just recovered. He has returned to the peak of the heavenly Tao realm. He has not improved his cultivation for so many years. Hee <laughs> hee, if you use your space method in full, I don't believe you can't escape their pursuit. This is the first escape law in the heavens and the worlds. Shi Chen obviously didn't believe his lies, but directly exposed him. Huh, Daoist fellow, Daoist fellow, how have you been these years? Yang Mei smiled when she heard it, but she didn't feel embarrassed. Come on, follow me into the chaos. Shi Chen called out to Yang Mei, and then walked towards the chaos in the distance. Go to the chaos. Why do you suddenly want to go to the chaos? Yang Mei was stunned when she heard this, but she did not stop and quickly followed behind Shi Chen. Something happened, and I need to go to the chaos to check it out. Shi Chen did not explain too much, just mentioned it casually. Yang Mei did not ask much after hearing this, but just followed behind silently. The chaos today is not like when they were just born. Although the chaos is still the same chaos, the people are not the same people. Tell me about your experience over the years. As for me, I have been recovering from my injuries all these years. After countless Yuan Hui, I have barely recovered to the peak, but my cultivation has not improved at all. At this point, Yang Mei couldn't help but sigh. It's only been a few Yuan since I recovered from my injuries. After that, I have been wandering in the chaos. With my cultivation, I was not afraid of anything. But who knew that this kind of thing would happen suddenly and I was chased here. At this point, Yang Mei could only sigh that he was unlucky. He had been wandering in the chaos for so long, and he had not seen many people in the heavenly Tao realm. This time, five people appeared at once, and one of them was at the peak of the heavenly Tao realm. Now the chaos is treacherous. I am afraid that soon, there will be something that affects all the heavens and worlds. Shi Chen thought of a lot. The group worlds that have been in trouble one after another, invaded by source beasts, the reincarnation team, the fallen avenue, his own evil thoughts, etc. There must be a big hand behind all this, but he is now in the Tao realm and can't even guess it. There are not many things that I can't guess, but there are still a few possibilities. The most common one is that the Tao realm covers up time and space, making everything invisible in time. Even as time, I can only find some clues. This matter is too huge. The time that I can hardly detect is probably close to the peak of the Tao. Above the Tao? Is that really a legend? Shi Chen looked at chaos and said softly, but it didn't reach Yang Mei's ears. Tao Yu, let me tell you, the chaos now is not what we had at the beginning. This chaos is much more lively. Yang Mei saw that Shi Chen seemed to have stopped thinking, and couldn't help explaining to him. Although the chaos is terrible, there are countless opportunities, so many creatures want to come. After countless years of development, some people have built cities in this chaos, each of which is as big as a small world. In these cities, it is like being in chaos, but it will not be affected by the chaotic airflow, so people can practice with peace of mind. 
Although many creatures do not need the energy of chaos to cultivate, the energy of chaos is also a rare treasure, but it is extremely difficult to collect, so that it will not be flooded in other worlds. In the chaos, the Daluo Jinxian is the lowest standard. If the Taiyi Jinxian wants to enter the chaos, unless he has a powerful magic weapon to protect himself, he will not be able to last long in the chaos. The most common one is the cultivation of the quasi-saint, but this is just the name of the prehistoric world. In the chaos, the quasi-saint is called the quasi Yuan or the half-step Hunyuan. Chapter, 106 Fellow Taoist, ahead is the largest city nearby, Tianluo City. The owner of this city is a strong man in the late Tiandao realm, and he has some friendship with me. The two of them walked for an unknown amount of time, and finally saw a huge city, which was boundless at a glance, as if it were a world in a thousand places. Yang Mei looked at the city here and smiled at Shi Chen. You seem to be doing pretty well in the chaos these years. Shi Chen smiled upon seeing this. The two walked slowly over. There was an entrance to the city at the city gate. If you didn't go through the gate, you would be judged as an enemy by the formation protecting the city, and they would launch an attack and attract attacks from the guards stationed in the city. The two came here and looked at the people coming and going in front of them. People of all races could be seen here, but almost all of them had the appearance of the innate Tao body, also for the purpose of better integration. Don't you have something to do with this city lord? Why do we have to queue up slowly when we enter the city? Shi Chen looked at Yang Mei and joked while queuing up slowly. I know their city lord, but how do these guards know me? Let's wait in line slowly for a while. Yang Mei smiled coquettishly after hearing this, and then quickly explained. She didn't care about the time and continued to wait in line with him slowly to enter the city. The chaos is endless, and he has no target for the time being. He can only look around casually, and clues will come to him by then, so he is not in a hurry. Make way, make way, Mr. Feiyu is coming, why don't you get out of the way quickly and let us, Mr. Feiyu, enter the city first. At this time, a voice came, and the crowd suddenly became panicked, causing Shi Chen and the two people to turn around and look. I saw an extremely gorgeous chariot appearing. In front of it were nine nine-clawed golden dragons that were in the late saint stage. People dared not approach it at the first sight. A strong aura of wealth and affluence hit their faces. Everyone passing by tried to avoid it, and those who couldn't dodge were unlucky enough to be knocked away. The place was in chaos for a while. This person is the young master of a place called Feiyu World. His father is the master of the world and a person at the pinnacle of the heavenly Tao realm. I have only heard of it and have never dealt with him. Because of this background, so he is extremely rampant in this chaos, and many people dare not speak out because of his father's face. Yang Mei is indeed someone who has been around here for a long time. He knows some of these famous people. Um. Shi Chen nodded when he heard the words. In fact, even if Yang Mei didn't say anything, if he wanted to know, he could know all the information about the other party in an instant, even how many times he peed on the bed as a child. Ignoring the other party, Shi Chen continued to wait to enter the city, because the people in front had all run away and now it was their turn. Yang Mei saw that Shi Chen ignored him, so she didn't care about it and prepared to enter the city with him. Didn't the two guys in front tell you to get out of here? Seeing that Master Fei Yu is about to enter the city, how dare you stand in front of us? At this time, a voice came from the Kowloon chariot, and the tone was directed at the two of them. Please let us enter the city quickly. There are some ants here that are too noisy and affect my mood. Shi Chen ignored them and instead said to the guards entering the city. This, this, this. The guards were frightened. They were just a few quasi-sages. How could he deface these people? Not even their city lord dared to provoke Mr. Feiyu at will. After all, the city lord of Tianluo city was only at the late stage of the Tiandao realm and the lord of Feiyu world was at the peak of the Tiandao realm. Oh. This is the first time I heard someone say that I am an ant. At this time, a voice came from the car, and then the door curtain opened, and two maids with Hunyuan strength came out, followed by a handsome young man. Everyone took a look and couldn't help but be amazed. This man was full of innate treasures, 
and the accessories all over his body were at the level of innate treasures. The lowest ones were all top-grade innate spiritual treasures. He was really rich. Are you going to commit suicide, or are you going to let me put you in the nine nether purgatory to stay for millions of years? The man held a folding fan of the innate treasure level and smiled at the two of them. Oh, even a Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian dares to be presumptuous in front of me. Yang Mei laughed angrily. Thinking about how he had been in chaos for countless years, when would he be so unbridled? How powerful I thought, two guys who are at the peak of Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian dare to offend me. Fei Yu could only roughly feel that Yang Mei was at the peak of Hunyuan, but did not know that he had reached the peak of Tiandao realm. He couldn't tell Shi Chen's cultivation level, but he was with Yang Mei, so he assumed that the other party was also in the Hunyuan realm. Even if the opponent is in the Heavenly Dao realm, he is not afraid. The world only knows that his father is at the peak of the Heavenly Dao realm, but they don't know that he is already halfway to the Dao realm. Even if he is at the peak of the Heavenly Dao realm, he can only be slapped to death with one palm. What's more, there is a guard at the late stage of Tian Dao realm beside him, which makes him fearless. Fei Yang, go teach these two people a lesson and take the true spirit away from me. He said that just take the true spirit away, but he was extremely vicious. The true spirit is more important than the soul. Things, this is the foundation of a monk's cultivation. Yes, master. At this moment, a figure in black appeared. After saluting Fei Yu, he looked at Shi Chen and the others. Whoever makes you offend someone you shouldn't offend, then go and die. The man named Fei Yang said, stretched out his hand towards the two of them, and then turned into a giant palm that covered the sky and the sun, towards the two of them were photographed fiercely. Humph, a little late heavenly Dao realm, dares to be presumptuous in front of me, space wheel. Yang Mei snorted coldly when he saw this, then stretched out his hand and grabbed it, a white light will appeared, and endless space power flowed on it, instantly cutting the big hand. What? Heavenly Dao Realm Peak After just one fight, Fei Yang felt the crisis, that was the pressure that only the Heavenly Dao Realm Peak could bring him, which made him suddenly suspicious. Master, this person is at the peak of the Heavenly Dao Realm, it seems that we can't provoke him casually. Fei Yang immediately stopped and said to Fei Yu. There is actually a strong man at the peak of the Heavenly Dao Realm at the gate of Tianluo City. No, there may be two Heavenly Dao Realms Fei Yu heard the words with doubts in his eyes, thinking about the time when he walked with Yang Mei, he didn't look like a servant, but more like a friend. Although he is used to being arrogant, he is not an idiot. If it were just two Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian, then he would kill them. But if there are two Heavenly Dao Realm Masters, and one of them is at the peak of Heavenly Dao Realm, then he has to think about it carefully. He thought a lot in his mind, but it was only a moment in the outside world, and he quickly made a decision. So it's the two seniors, I'm Feiyu, it was my fault just now, I hope the seniors don't mind, I will make some compensation to the two seniors. Since the other party is a strong man, then he must decisively admit his defeat, this is the way of survival his father taught him. The strong must always be distinguished from the weak, so that the strong can feel satisfied and have different treatment. After all, his father is not here. If he is beaten and killed, even if his father avenges him, it will take a lot of energy and resources to revive him. Chapter 107 Forget about the compensation. Since you are quite sensible, I will suppress you here for one Yuan Hui. Shi Chen suddenly said at this time, which made Fei Yu horrified. Fei Yang saw this and quickly stood in front of Fei Yu, trying to stop Shi Chen. But they didn't see Shi Chen's actions at all. As soon as Shi Chen finished speaking, a 10,000 foot high mountain appeared on Fei Yu's body, suppressing him directly below. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't break free. The nine golden dragons under him and the maid next to him were also pushed 10,000 meters away. Who is this person who can speak and act in the chaos? Fei Yang was shocked, but he only thought that Shi Chen was a peak of the heavenly Dao realm who specialized in the way of sealing. He didn't dare to think about the Dao realm. After all, these people are the pinnacles of the heavens and the worlds, so how can they be met casually? Unfortunately, they really met them this time. Damn it, do you know who my father is? He is now a half-step Dao realm. 
Killing you is like killing an ant. Let me go. Fei Yu was suppressed and could not move at all, but he was able to speak. Let's go, Yang Mei. Shi Chen ignored the shocked people present and just called Yang Mei to enter the city. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yang Mei followed immediately after hearing the words and walked behind Shi Chen. The guards who were originally going to register simply did not dare to stop them at all. These two were big men at the peak of the heavenly Tao realm. Even Master Fei Yu said to suppress them, and their city lord was only in the late heavenly Tao realm. Fei Yang looked at Shi Chen and the other two who entered the city with a look of doubt. He said a few words to Fei Yu, sent two maids to wait here, and left directly. Fei Yu had used the communication props before, which could directly contact his father. This time, it seems that he has to call his parents. Fei Yang did not stay here, he went directly to Fei Yu world. The props that can be used to transmit messages from the chaos to the big world are extremely rare, and the information that can be expressed is not much, and most of the time they are used to save lives. Now that Master Fei Yu is temporarily fine, he was just suppressed for a Yuan Hui, and he will be a little haggard at most after coming out, so he went directly to report to Fei Yu's father. The master of the Fei Yu world is called Fei Tian. Fei Yu is his child who achieved the heavenly Tao realm, and he is also his only heir, so he dotes on him, making him become what he is today. And from his name, it can be seen that naming his son after the name of the world is enough to show his doting on him. Therefore, Fei Yang is sure that when the ancestor Fei Tian knows that his beloved son has been suppressed, he will definitely rush over to kill that person directly, without suppressing a Yuan Hui. Dao Yu, why didn't you kill that little guy directly? Walking in Tian Luo City, Yang Mei looked at Shi and puzzled. Which of them, the Chaos Demon God, would not kill people if they disagreed with each other? In the battles in the Chaos, there were Chaos Demon Gods fighting almost every day. They fought for countless years, and finally only the last 3,000 Demon Gods were left. According to Yang Mei's temper, if he offended him, he would just kill him directly. As a space demon god, as long as the Tao realm did not take action personally, his father, who was in the half-step Tao realm, could not catch him at all. So Yang Mei was not afraid of him at all, but he was a little puzzled about Shi Chen. Did this guy change his personality so much after achieving the Tao? Nothing, just found some interesting things. I found that Fei Yu had a breath of the fallen Tao, but it was not deep. The existence that really came into contact with the Tao should be his father, so I want to take a good look at the Lord of the Feiyu world. Shi Chen did not hide it when he heard it, and explained slowly. Regarding the fallen Tao you mentioned, I have only heard about it in the chaos, and have not seen it with my own eyes, but since you treat it like this, I am afraid it is not a good person. Yang Mei frowned when he heard it, thinking about Shi Chen's words. Now is a time of trouble. The source beasts and the fallen avenues have been linked to each other. Although I am in the avenue realm, I cannot know everything. They are probably planning something that will sweep across the heavens and the worlds. Shi Chen recalled the past, thinking that Yang Mei might be able to be pulled into his camp. It just so happens that I encountered an interesting thing at the time, and also met an acquaintance of you and me. I can take you to meet him. Shi Chen suddenly said. Oh. Then I have to see it. Yang Mei was stunned when he heard it, and then he also had a hint of interest. Ding, Shi Chen, the group leader of the Heavens and the World's chat group, invites you to join the chat group. Do you agree? Then, a business appeared in Yang Mei's mind, which made him stunned. Yang Mei did not hesitate and directly chose to agree. Ding, the group leader Shi Chen invites the Hunyuan Wuji Daoyuo Jingxian Yang Mei Laozu to join the chat group. All group members come to welcome him. The voice of the chat group sounded in the minds of all group members, asking everyone to quickly enter the chat group to check. Everyone has known the name of this ancestor Yang Mei for a long time. He was a powerful man who once lived in the same era as the group leader, and he was also a powerful man who controlled the laws of space, and his existence was almost parallel to the laws of time of Shi Chen. Who was it I thought? It turned out to be fellow Daoist Yang Mei. You were also found by fellow Daoist Shi Chen. Pangu also appeared at this time, and he felt quite cordial when he saw Yang Mei coming in. Although they had fought a life and death battle, 
it was an unstoppable catastrophe of enlightenment after all, and there was no grudge between them, so Pangu was quite happy about Yang Mei's arrival. So the acquaintance that Daoist Shirchen mentioned is Daoist Pangu. I didn't expect you to be alive. Yang Mei saw Pangu and immediately understood this acquaintance. This guy didn't die after experiencing such a terrible catastrophe. Although he only has the strength of Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian now, he is also very lucky. I have to thank Daoist Shirchen for all this, otherwise I would have died long ago. Pangu shook his head when he heard it. Daoist was really ruthless at the beginning. I didn't recover from my injuries until recently, so I didn't make any progress in my cultivation for so many years. Thinking of the past grievances and hatreds, Yang Mei couldn't help shaking his head. Now everything is over, all the causes and effects disappeared in that battle, and they no longer mentioned the past. Others in the chat group looked at the newcomer Yang Mei and felt that they couldn't join in the conversation between them, so they simply went offline. This was a communication meeting for the big guys, and it was not easy for them to disturb them. Fei Yang rushed all the way and returned to the Fei Yu world in just ten years. At this time, Fei Tian Patriarch had already received Fei Yu's message, but because the information was incomplete, he only knew that he was suppressed. But his life was not in danger, so he did not take action immediately, but waited here for Fei Yang to come and report the specific situation. The largest sacred mountain in Fei Yu world, Luoyu Mountain, has a huge temple on it. It is the Feitian Temple where Feitian Patriarch is located, and it is waiting for Fei Yang's arrival. Chapter 108 Report to the Ancestor, Fei Yang failed to protect the young master, please punish me. Fei Yang came to the Ancestor Feitian and immediately knelt in front of him and said. Get up and talk, tell me everything in detail. The Ancestor Feitian did not blame Fei Yang too much, but just said lightly. Yes. Fei Yang responded quickly after hearing the words, and then told the whole story without any exaggeration. After a long time, Fei Yang finished telling the whole story and waited quietly for the ancestor's order. Okay, you go down and get a hundred soul-breaking whips first. I have made a decision on this matter. The ancestor Fei Yang waved his hand and sent Fei Yang out. Yes, ancestor. Fei Yang's body trembled obviously after hearing the soul-breaking whip. That is not a good thing. The soul-breaking whip is something created by the ancestor Feitian to punish his subordinates. It can get different pains according to the other party's cultivation. The stronger the cultivation, the stronger the pain, and it is a kind of pain that goes deep into the true spirit. After Fei Yang left, Fei Tian Patriarch sat quietly on the throne, as if thinking about something. Two guys who are suspected to be at the peak of the heavenly Tao realm, this is something that has not been seen for many years. Who could it be? Fei Tian Patriarch flashed through countless characters in his mind, but he passed them all one by one. What are you doing here? Does that person have something to say? At this time, a group of black shadows appeared, which made Fei Tian Patriarch come back to his senses from his thoughts, and he looked at the other party and asked. Some people have noticed our affairs. You should be more careful in the future and not be too ostentatious. A hollow voice came from the black shadow, like a machine without any emotion. What's going on? Who discovered it? Fei Tian Patriarch was shocked when he heard it, and asked quickly. It's just because of a fool. He insisted on getting close to time, and was discovered directly by it. If it weren't for the master, I'm afraid he would have been gone long ago. The black shadow explained after hearing it, but he didn't dare to mention the name casually. Time. Are you talking about that one? What a fool, originally just the thought of an ant, only with the help of time can he achieve the realm of heaven, but he still retains the thoughts of humans. When the black shadow said this, Fatian Patriarch immediately understood, after all, he also knew something, otherwise he would not be so angry. They were talking about Churchen, because as the great Tao, no matter where he was, as long as his name was spoken, he would be known. So for countless years, they only called him time. And the so-called fool was naturally the evil thought discovered by Shirchen. Shirchen was originally a person who traveled from the modern times countless years later. His original soul was integrated into the time demon god due to some coincidences, so he became the current Shirchen. 
And that evil thought was the dregs of thought that he had as a human soul, which was eliminated after he achieved the great Tao. But because that evil thought was contaminated with the breath of the great Tao of Shurchen, a new spiritual wisdom was born, and it has always wanted to replace Shurchen. But as Fakian Patriarch said, his essence is just the thought of an ant, so he did such a stupid thing, but now it is useless, so he had to be honest. After the black shadow left, Fatian Patriarch fell into deep thought. He always felt as if there was an invisible big hand surrounding him, which made him hesitate. Looking at the chaotic direction where his son Feiyu was suppressed, he decided to stay put for the time being. If this is the enemy's conspiracy, he would die. Feiyang, go to the place where my son is sealed and guarded. After the Yuanhui, let him leave on his own. It's time for him to remember it. Fatian Patriarch thought for a long time and decided not to take risks. Compared with the legendary Tao realm, his son is not that important. At the beginning, he just entered the Tian Tao realm. Although he was also a strong man, he was also restricted everywhere. Later, he met that person, who said that he could make him achieve the Tao. At first he didn't believe it, but he had to obey because of the other party's strength. But now he has experienced so much, so he has to believe it. After all, he is now half a step into the Tao realm, and he only needs the final step. It's almost there, it will take some time, that person can achieve the supreme position, and I can also achieve the Tao through this. Fei Tian Patriarch looked at the direction where Fei Yang left, thinking silently in his heart. In Tian Luo City, Shi Chen and Yang Mei were sitting in a huge restaurant, each room in which was a world of its own. The two were drinking the chaos wine, a specialty of the chaos, while chatting. Hmm. Suddenly Shi Chen paused while drinking, and then countless invisible lines appeared in his eyes. At this time, one of the lines suddenly broke, which made him feel a little strange. What's wrong? Yang Mei saw Shi Chen's action, and he couldn't help but be stunned, and then asked. It's okay, but the original plan was interrupted by someone, and I need to replan. Shi Chen shook his head and then drank the wine in his hand. Did you see anything? Yang Mei asked in confusion. After all, I am not at the Tao realm, and I don't understand his methods, so I can only understand half of it. Yes, his causal line is broken. Shi Chen nodded when he heard it. The lines in his eyes just now represent the causal lines of countless creatures. And he planted a cause for a creature in a certain place, and then it will bear fruit at a certain time. Because he himself cultivates the Tao of time, he can control these causal lines through the timeline. If he cuts off the causal line somewhere, then the cause of this matter will come out, but there will be no result. Now the cause he prepared for others has appeared, but the line of the result has been cut off by someone, which makes him understand that someone has taken action. Since the causal path doesn't work, let's talk about the timeline that I am best at. Shi Chen thought about it and decided to use time to take action. The reason why he did that before was just that he didn't want to be recognized as the one who took action. Now that it has been interrupted by someone, just take action directly, anyway, the snake has been alerted. I just don't know who is the snake. Shi Chen smiled, and then his eyes turned to Fei Yu outside Tian Luo City. Not long after, Fei Yang returned here again, and after bringing the words of Fei Tian Patriarch, he guarded here with peace of mind. Fei Yu heard that his father had spoken, so he could only wait painfully for a Yuan Hui. Thinking that there was another Yuan Hui, he almost went crazy with pain. Shi Chen reached forward and grabbed, and got a trace of blood breath from Fei Yu, which he used to track his father. Fei Tian Patriarch. Then a long river of time appeared in his eyes, and he put this trace of blood breath into it, so that it could directly find the timeline of Fei Tian Patriarch, so that he could know what he had experienced. If it was just a saint, he could know everything about the other party at will, but this kind of heavenly realm, and the existence of half-step Tao, would be more troublesome. Although after achieving Daoyuo, everything will return to the present body, without the past and future. But he is the Tao of time, so he can naturally track everything, which is an ability to break the established rules. After achieving the Tao, the rules can be changed, but this will lead to unpredictable consequences, so few Daos will change the rules, at most temporarily change the rules somewhere. For example, changing the meaning of up to down, changing the meaning of cold to hot, 
these are changes in established rules, or changes in cognition.